this broadcast going here. Mm -mm. A soda from the fridge. Hey, how are you the first person in the chat? First person in the entire stream. Twitch included. Mm. Updating Steam. What is there to update? What is there to update, I ask. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Getting this started here. I always do my stream setup manually. Reflex is getting better. Put the Twitch chat link over there on YoTub. We leave it in half an hour. Yeah, Squid, I know, I know. Hopefully we can get you get you some gamer time here. Oh, oh. Mr. Types, 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 Mr. Types. Thank you so much for the tier one, Nils. I really appreciate the continued support. Storm Guide, why don't we just throw out all the homework and then And then you can play Bloons, huh? McCrazy? Did you change your username? Or are you a crazy lurker? Because anybody who's been subbed for 15 months, that's a name I'd recognize. But McCrazy is new to my eyes. Unless I have just really messed up. Oh my god. You haven't typed since 2022? What? No wonder this name is so unfamiliar to me. <laughs> I'm scrolling through the messages right now. I got a sub alert and then hi in November of 2022. Oh my god. Well, welcome back. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, Squid. Hopefully your eyes are okay. Holy moly. Someone's had a fight with a lawnmower. Wow, Soda, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, so, Streaming Tool Shop, I'll probably be doing... I'm gonna hop straight into my voice channel. This is gonna be a relaxing stream. I'll probably be doing balloons until... Till shop, and then... Or until before shop. I, I think we'll do a little Ant Legion at some point. I just don't know when. Yeah, I'm gonna send a crate, okay. Because I haven't noticed this number going up at all, and I want to know... What's going on? Is a 20 watch... Yes, it is. Yeah. Yes, it is. This game is awesome. It's pretty addicting, actually. Yeah. In a good way, too. Like, it's not... It's not a financial sink. You can play this game for zero dollars and have a good time. Mm. Well, Squid, hopefully you get good news. Is Nightbot still down? Is this a Nightbot thing or do I need to reconnect a Nightbot? Um, this game has no ads, no. Let me just log in tonight, but... Hey, Shnamly! I had to reconnect Nightbot to my Twitch. Does that make it work on Discord? Uh, YT is the... Okay, well, Nightbot works now. Okay. Yeah, I think Nightbot... 
It was down all of last stream. I just assumed it was Nightbot, but I guess I had to reconnect it to Twitch. I don't know why that disconnected, but... Oh, a hype train. Well, I don't know how many people are hanging out here today, but... Uh, hype train, 40 seconds left if anybody wants to kick it off. Bloons content, yeah, Ragnar. Yeah, Bloon Jitsu is the best tier 4 upgrade in the game, in my opinion. Um, it is really, really good. So it's not like it's the strongest, it's not the cheapest upgrade, but the price to performance is unrivaled. Bloon Jitsu is stupid. Bloon Jitsu, like, unlocked, like, the rest of my... The, the rest of the map for me. Does, does it curve left to right? What? Hmm. Um, Ricardo... You don't need to be subbed at all to add me, but I do it through channel points on Twitch. If you want to go the route of subscribing for three months, then I think YouTube membership counts. Yeah. Bloon Yitsu? No. I'm, I'm fairly certain it's Bloon Jitsu. And I got the monkey knowledge. So it throws six shurikens instead of five. It's really... Really strong. Yeah, so this game, it's been so satisfying. I've been playing it so much. I appreciate the support, Ricardo, by the way. I think in May I can gift more memberships on YouTube. I don't, well, I've been great, McCrazy. Where have you been? Where have you been? I have. I don't follow Fortnite leaks usually. It just doesn't matter to me. I don't understand the excitement a lot of times. Like in Fortnite, what's gonna come out is gonna come out. <laughs> I don't usually get terribly excited in advance. But yeah, Monkey City's kind of like been selling itself. It's similar in that regard to Ant Legion, Lincoln Chat, where it's just free. <laughs> For zero dollars and a short download, you're gaming. It's uh, pretty easy. Shamley, are you still in chat? But yeah, Demon Gamer, if you're trying to get through, yeah, Super Wide Funnel is really expensive. I think Bloon Jitsu is more attainable early on, but Super Wide Funnel just deletes the big ones. And I'll probably be using that here. The Shack for road spikes, so you can place them on the map. Shamley, have you checked out Ant Legion? I know you're kind of a mobile gamer. Yeah, that makes sense, Squid, if you're trying to save money. I guess I, I don't really care about leaks in Fortnite because I usually sit on a pretty big stack of V-Bucks 24-7 anyway, so... I don't really mind what leaks. Yeah, the big events have become so normal in Fortnite. Yeah. I'm not really... Yeah, I don't want to talk about Fortnite. I play a lot of BTD5, so I'm familiar. Oh, perfect. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so Bloon Jitsu is probably the most attainable. Honestly, the Juggernaut is one of the best in the game. <laughs> Juggernaut for your Dart Monkey, really solid upgrade. Village just boosts all towers in its range. Well, Village is only a discount initially, but then in what I'm doing right here is I'm using another village to discount this village. So I can get the upgrades cheaper. Jungle Drums makes everything shoot faster. The range increase gives them more range. The fort 
lets them pierce more, so it ups their popping power. So if a dart monkey can only pop one balloon before the dart goes away, now it can pop two. That is huge for like the balloon jitsu, for example. This is throwing six shurikens that can, that can all sink an extra balloon deeper. It's it's pretty big. That's awesome, Ricardo. I, I imagine that's been going well for you. College work and other stuff, haven't had much time. You know, that's what I always hear. I appreciate you stopping in though. What brought you by? Was it the balloons, Monkey City? Sucked you in. About to cook up some hot dogs. Haven't checked that out yet. Well, it's a current sponsor, Shnamly. I'd appreciate it. Um, obviously optional, but if, if the game looks fun to you, it would help me out. And that's true for everybody. Ant Legion in chat. They got the, uh, the goals on the top right there. As those are reached, I get uh, financial kickback and you get a fun game. It's a win-win. So yeah, Juggernaut right here. Juggernaut is hard to tell right away if you know nothing about the game because it just throws a big projectile that only does one damage to normal balloons and it's actually really bad on its own but when it's got support towers like these two the juggernaut does five damage to ceramic which means two juggernauts set up like this will instantly remove the ceramic layer and they've got something like a hundred pierce which means they can just sink through crowds and crowds of balloons and that's really effective. So Juggernaut Spam is something I actually use fairly often. You do need to spam them though. Like you need at least two Juggernauts for it to really do its job. But it's a cheap tier four and it really works. It's not infinite pierce. Uh, in the end game, 100 pierce is actually not enough. But it is funny. These upgrades over here are like one or two extra pierce. It's not even worth it. Going from 100 to like 103 is absolutely not worth that extra money. But yeah. So since I got the uh, mib set up here, let's just get an Arctic Wind going. And of course, the most powerful upgrade in the entire game Ice Shards. Ice Shards is so powerful, I can't use it in contested territory because it'll crash my game. That thing will delete everything. Look at the pop count on the bottom there. Just watch that chunk. Ice Shards is the most powerful upgrade in the entire game. I mean it. Uh, your cat's trying to wear your shoes. <laughs> um. Almost level 28. So Storm Guy, do you have does he do you have audio? Does he have audio? He said he didn't have audio before. And now I don't know where he's at on that situation. But I just don't you can hear you yeah, what why are you still 28? Like I'm not I don't know. I wasn't <clears throat> grinding terribly hard to we got 20,000 pops. That ice shard came in in like the last few stages and it's going to get more right now. Just deletes that ZMG. Yeah, I'm wondering why you haven't leveled up faster. Because I don't think I'm leveling up that quick. But I just hit 34 yesterday and I'm making good progress to 35. Oh, just logging on. The po okay, yeah. I guess playtime varies. And then I've got more monkey be monkey. See, I can't send anymore. I need ZMGs. I cry. I cry. Ray of Doom is infinite period. Yeah. I actually just got this tile. First try. I was so proud of myself. This is probably the hardest tile in the entire game. But I waited a long time. So check this out, you guys. This is what I've been doing. Look at this long branch. So to make this game more interesting for myself, I have set in place a rule. It's not a hard rule. If I want to do anything else, I will. But you see the XP here? I will not generally queue any tile under 500. So you can see that one's 410. And I mean it, 500. Some of these are like 480, 490, and I won't do them. So I'm just like outlining a city border. It's not a flat line like I thought. 
Because sometimes you'll have 500 right here, and then 500, and then right next to it's 480. Not where you'd expect it, though. So I've just been, like, outlining this border of 500 XP tiles. Now, there are exceptions. Like, if I want to do a volcano tile that's within a cheaper range, I'll do it. I like these mountain tiles, so I'll do those if they're not 500. Um, like these ones, I'll probably end up doing, although that one's 500. So, I've just been making the game interesting for myself with little stuff like that. I know! You say one more level, but... You say 36. So... I don't know. You said infinite power at 35, but that... might be inaccurate. I'm actually stunted on power right now. I cannot get more power to build buildings, and I've barely got the extra power from like a windmill and this thing. So the two upgrades I'm flipping between, you can see I've cleared the space here. The two upgrades I'm stuck between are the temple complex, which would be two thirds of my money. Or should I go for the Gargantuan Vessel? I know Ant Legion's covering it, but you, you get the idea. Because this thing would turn on Monkey v. Monkey, and Demon Gamer was just asking. So, Monkey v. Monkey is awesome. You can send attacks and attacks and attacks and attacks, and if they, if they don't defend it, you get a bunch of money. And... And you can send these attacks out a lot if you have the correct research. So, I have gotten, oh man, I don't know, over 100,000 monkey money at least, just from sending out those attacks. And if you defend them, then you get a little bit of honor. Honor is mostly just good for like, steam achievements, but it's a fun thing to go for. And you get bloon stones. Yeah, so every attack you get, you get two bloon stones, and I think your first one of the day, you get five bloon stones, and that shit adds up. It is so nice. I like the monkey team. So I can't do volcano with half, with two of my towers banned. And I can't do the snowy area up here because uh, the boomers are banned. Heading out? Yeah, hopefully your appointment goes well. Definitely check in if you can. And then even jungle, two of them are banned. So it's really simplified my opportunity here for my session. Uh, Zinni Walker, welcome. Check me out. Okay, yeah, so I had 56 before. I still have 56. And then, got me a balloon stone. And then sending, like, it doesn't seem to do anything. I didn't, I don't lose a crate when I send. But if I accept the one, it's still 56. Like, I don't actually ever see this number go up from people. Anyway. I always keep on boomerangs. Do they just suck or am I deeply in the wrong? So, Boomerangs are one of those slow grind towers. They are really bad right away. They have three piers, which is nice, and the arc can be a little useful, but it's a tier three boomerang that really does something. I'll show you right now. My grapes have been tasting metallic, but I'm pressing forward. Tier three. Observe. Yeah. So the bionic arm is really strong. And the glaive ricochet is really good for big pierce. So this is a regrow rush of death tile. Look at the way this thing just shreds. Now I'm obviously not using it properly, but... You get the idea. This needs a little bit of support though. So what you can kind of do is put this on last and then have another one back here for cleanup. Lightning guy OP. Yeah, and I actually have the monkey knowledge where 50% of the time it'll strip off the regrow. So that'll be useful in this style. But you can see how a really crappy a 2-2 boomerang is garbage, but as soon as you pick one of those tier 3s, woo! Go shopping and completely ignore shopping lists, we end up with third carton eggs and no butter. Fun times. Oh my god. That would strain my patience if a partner went out 
said, yeah, I'll do the groceries, and then they come back without the groceries. Okay, so... I always put the wizard preemptively, because I'm terrified of camo leads, because they sneak up on you sometimes. But honestly, camo leads aren't a problem here, so I'm just going to get... I'll do this one. I'll put him on last. I know, 0-3. Like, that multi-target is definitely worth it, but... Getting the second boomer up quickly is good. And these guys have lead popping power, which is really nice. Yeah, so boomerangs can't detect camo, but they can do lead and group. Lead popping and group popping at the same time is really good. Mm. Okay, I thought I could afford them both on the first round. Well, I didn't expect to. The best tier four is AC-130 bomber. Uh, I disagree. I, I think you can get a lot more damage from something else, but I hear you. How can I do this without... Ooh, Ice Monkey actually goes so far. Just to break it up. Maybe this will catch a lead. Actually, Permafrost might have been a bad idea. Because if this stops a regrow, and then it slips through, it'll just slowly regrow after this. I'm not gonna restart, just to see if that happens. Yeah, see? They just slowly regrow. <laughs> now, I could spam some spikes and get through this level easily, but I'm kinda just being stubborn right now. I actually wanna try this one, right here, this spot. I used to do this back in the day. And then maybe to break it up, I can just do... I can just place preemptively. You... 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 This looks like really dumb, but I promise that's... actually probably useful to clean up the extras. So this one's on last. I'll put it on strong. Uh, yeah, the only thing that can make... Um, camo visible on other towers is the village. I know in Bloon CD6. So here we go. So this will break it up and the other babies will just chip away at it. Easy. So in Bloon Star Defense 6, wizards actually have the um, the camo shimmer where it removes the camo. Oh yeah, the sub. I always forget about that. Sub camo for other towers is not something I've ever relied on. It's never impressed me. Needs ninja. So I'm doing the monkey teams. All day. All day I'll be using wizard, boomer, and ice. It's a really fun combo. And gets me 10 bloom stones per run. Which I really like. Yeah, so that's the fun thing. Tower defense 6 and monkey city is completely different. Here we go. How are we doing now? Yeah, all these baby boomerangs are actually cleaning up a lot. So... I'm gonna get one more boomerang. I'm scared of camos, so I feel like I should be getting a wizard soon. But typically in the regrow rush tiles, they don't put early camo, so... We'll see how that experience treats me. This is such a fun spot, by the way, because it'll shoot up and around, and it'll hit them on the return. So, it's shooting against the grain here and here. This is such like a such a weird, weirdly good. And chasing's never good, but this is still a good arc for the boomerang. Like there's actually a lot of coverage here. You haven't played any tower defense six? Wow. Wow. So you can see how the bionic boomerang just cleans up. Regrow Rush Tiles are probably good for this monkey teams because the Ice Shard eats them. My Lightning removes the Regrow. Boomerangs can handle the high speeds really easily. Well, 6 is an amazing game. If you like the tower defense games in general, you should play it. But playing it simultaneously with Monkey City is a weird combo. I don't know how to pronounce your name. Nykrik, I think. That's my best guess. Ninja Bomb Tower Spike Factors and Bloom Shivers are probably your favorite towers. Yeah, I've had an interesting experience where my favorite towers have shifted. Oh, uh, I know what to do. Uh, 
All right, new plan. Don't talk to chat as much. <laughs> An ice tower would have eaten that easily. All right, we're going to do some mad greeting here. Village. Village start. Need a lot of money to do that. Then we'll get that, and we need to spam the second boomerang ASAP as possible. Yeah, boomerangs need help. I'm not playing well right now. I'm kind of just being distracted talking to you guys, but... Yeah, you see how I got it on the return there? Ah. Yeah, I'll just road spike. Nothing wrong with some road spikes. I always pester myself. Like, I always get mad at myself. I'm, I'm mean to my, myself if I road spike, but... It really helps. So now that I think no camos are coming, I think what I should do is go for that ice shard. You guys will see it. Ice shard is so, so strong. Restarting levels is not something I do often, and it's uh, why I like monkey teams, I think. Because it gives me that extra challenge. I appreciate that. No, Trey. Yeah, boomerangs need to be playing with the map. Ninjas just simple. Yeah, so I use ninjas all the time. There's nothing wrong with ninjas versus boomerangs. Um, but boomerangs are just something you shouldn't be sleeping on. As you put it. Both are good. That's the beauty of this game long term. When you play this game enough, you will get bored of certain strategies. You will ruin the game for yourself if you play smart. So... Again, why I really like monkey teams is because it, it it highly encourages me to play outside my comfort zone. Normally on this map, a boomerang ninja ice game is not my main strategy. Ninjas are discounted and they are really good. A ninja in this exact spot, by the way, with the range increase from the village, can reach down here and over here. It's a really, really wide coverage and... Uh, it does very well. Okay, so this isn't tight placement, but I'm trying to reach this corner. Ice Shard will eat that regrow rush like it's nothing. That ceramic push earlier, like, that can make you feel desperate, you know? When the first six levels, the first six rounds have no indication that something so crazy is coming, and then suddenly... Is it just those ceramics? Okay. You can see we're getting pierce capped on the boomerangs, but the ice actually did help a little bit there. Get that, and... There we go. Ice shards ate most of the ceramics. Easy! No lives lost! Here we go, more ice shards. little messy, but monkey teams usually is. Alright, now the ice shards can really just do their work. That's good coverage. Oh no, rainbows. Oh no, not regrow rainbows. Ah! You're supposed to pop the rainbows. Ah! Ah. <sighs> ice shards are the great equalizer. Uh, let's do... Something extra here. I want to get camo lead ready. There we go. Give everything some range. Man. <laughs> it's always amazing to watch regrow ceramics just get eaten. Always so satisfying. Yeah, rainbows are terrifying. I'll stop being greedy and just get this one set up. Regrow ceramics on full auto. Ice shards also eat uh, Moabs. <laughs> yeah, we need to clean that one up there. 
So... Moabs are going to be coming in more and more. We'll just get Dragon's Breath. And then we'll increase the pierce on that Dragon's Breath. Normally I'd buy a village to make this cheaper, but I don't care. And Jungle Drums. Yeah, you see that? The first layer pops, and then the, uh, the ice comes in. I've actually never gotten Absolute Zero before on this game. I think I can do that if they get through my defense again. So, let's do... Let's do this. I'm going to put this over here just so it can reach the other parts of the map. Man, that Arctic Wind has such crazy range. So the Arctic Wind will slow down everything in range, uh, except for the Moabs. And now all we really have to do is focus on Moab popping power. Does this affect BF? Oh, it does. Absolute Zero slows down the Moabs? That's so great. So watch this. It looks scary, and then they're gone. <laughs> they're gone. Road spikes are 30. Every time I come here, I will be possible. Kratos? Oh my god. Kratos is a trigger for me at this point. Because I feel like it's silly. I don't understand why Kratos is so important. It's a very, very, very spammed question from anywhere on the internet where people talk about Fortnite. That is the biggest ask I've been seeing, and I nobody knows, okay? Epic's just being really weird with it. It'll come back when it comes back. Just keep V-Bucks on hand and check the shop. That's all we can do. I did not know Absolute Zero slowed down Moabs. That is so nice. That's like a hidden ability. It doesn't tell you that it does that. Now it's easy mode. At this point, we've got enough money for Dragon's Breath and we can just wait here. Yeah, boomerangs are really big. Their footprint is huge. Hmm. Is it too late for Monkey Town? I don't know. Probably not. I just have so much money, I don't know what to do with it. Yeah, I do. I got summoned Phoenix recently, and it's a really satisfying upgrade. Uh, also, Springer, welcome. I'm doing great. All right. I'm caught up on chat. Oh no, ZUMGs, what are we going to do? This is fast forwarded. That's the Arctic wind down there. Just slowing them down. So that giant leg spike where all the ZUMGs getting deleted by the ice shards. So satisfying. Yeah, this is a fun monkey team. It's expensive to spam these guys, but worth it. Yeah, Springer, you did nothing wrong. You just asked a question that's been spammed all over everywhere. I guess it just triggers me because it's not like a... a meaningful question. It's like, when's the skin coming back? I don't know, okay? There's no leak. We don't know. I think that's what set people off on this questioning is that... Apparently, it should have already come back, but then didn't. Like, uh, it'll be back when it's back. I don't know. It's nothing you have to do. It's nothing you have to be ready for. I guess if you have the V-Bucks on hand to buy it, then... It'll be the first thing in the title on my daily video, I'm sure. Whoever's covering it, it'll be frontline news. You will not miss it, Springer. <laughs> if Kratos comes back, the hype is so intense, I am certain... You'll hear about it. I love ice shards so much. I have these $10,000 monkey phoenixes, and these ice shards are just dunking on them with, with, with the pop count. It's not even close. Ice shards also scale late game. The more balloons they pop, the more that shard outwards. Basically, when it freezes a balloon, if that frozen balloon gets popped within the shard, it branches out um, five shards. And that is a lot. Yeah, Springer. I I would be a silly YouTuber not to 
mentioned Kratos. I did not know Absolute Zero closed slow down the mobs. I'm very excited about that. I'm gonna hit Viral Frost just because I can. Um, another Arctic Wind left of the formal. So there's no need. One Arctic Wind is so effective that I think you just let him come in. Man, is that a permanent effect? Those ZMGs are so slow. That was nothing. Uh, Pig, there's nothing to miss. Hit the road, will come back. Next season, right? That's that monkey team's bonus. Look at that. That is six times the amount of bloom stones. All that work for no lives lost would have been two bloom stones. But you use the monkey teams and early game it's five. But as you level up, you get more and more. So, so nice. Yeah, Absolute Zero is similar to Sabotage. Sabotage is actually worse in the older games, as I understand it, because it only slows down new bloons, which is next to useless, but... Uh, that seems like a crazy tile for this team. DDT? Fuck yeah. Yeah, I thought so too, Shnemly, but it didn't seem like it. They still seem to move slowly. Hmm. Let's be greedy again. We'll be greedy again. That paid off last. Oh, wow. I get a 2 3 boomer with this. Um. Yeah, I guess I'll just start with boomerangs. Hope I don't get camos early. If I get camos, I'll have to start with a wizard and we can work from there. I have, sol I have a solve to this problem as the number one monkey game nerd. Give me 45 seconds. What is he solving? He was saying, use the Phoenix ability, you silly goose. That ability, I don't like spamming it when I don't need it. I like to save an ability when it might actually be usable. And I did use the ability. <laughs> Yo mama, hello. Aren't you gonna play Monkey City with us? No, I'm checking out the new map expansion on the test servers on 76. This guy's probably like, nah, I'm not a loser like you guys. I always make uh, Archer yeah. way meaner in my head. Prepare, prepare <laughs> for the the most annoying round of. Did you hear this? Did you hear this? Because so earlier, earlier, well, later yesterday, a fortune leak about like a timeline of what's coming to Fortnite or whatever and it looks extremely real and you know how 4chan is so they started posting more shit and you know how dumbasses are they believe anything if one thing is true um so now there's a rumor going around that save the world will be discontinued in 2026 so uh and it's fake i know it's fake i can confirm that it's fake um fun and prepare to get that in your comments and twitch chat for a while because there are already a few multi-thousand follower twitter accounts that are posting it and even after being told it's not real not deleting it let's see if i've gotten any comments on youtube um... seems like we're good just a guy complaining about the pistol tier list because I didn't show the names of the pistols. It was a long comment too. It happens occasionally when new players watch my videos and they don't know everything. Of course they don't, but yeah. So Absolute Zero did not increase the range. Are you talking about... Oh shit. Fucking reading chat. 
figure about this LMFAO. <laughs> 43 months. Yeah, I looked over. I, I was wondering why I why my ads my ad swapper kicked in on your stream and I was like, oh I forgot. <laughs> I just wasted so much money on road spikes. If I was paying attention, I could have just bought a lightning. Uh, okay. Uh, all blue ones are still 20%, 33% of the flash version. Well, within the ice tower's range, in the mobile version, the only effects last longer. Here's absolute zero. Gains an activated ability that freezes all balloons, including white balloons, zebra, and camo. Really? That includes camera camo applies the effect of permafrost and deep freeze so they will move slower and it affects multiple layers okay so that's probably what i was seeing so i imagine it was slowing the zomg layer and then see how much more effective this boomerang is once it's shooting with the arc like it has to let everything leak but it's so much more effective. So that's probably what I was seeing. It was slowing the ZOMG layer, but also the BFBs below it. I need to get some range over there. I'm sick of wasting spikes. Um, so it's probably slowing the BFBs and the Moabs just popped too quickly for me to notice. Uh, this is DDT. I'll get radar scanner. Yeah, I'll just get the full thing. Do I need that? No, I really don't. Like everything's already got camo lead, and black won't be a problem because I'm not using bombs. Okay, so let's get my favorite tower in the game, Arctic Wind. And my second favorite tower in the game, Ice Shard, and Absolute Zero now. I like Absolute Zero, I didn't know it affected Moabs. In the mobile version, this ability, special version of Permafrost. Making them move at half speed for four seconds, yeah. Yeah, that's actually really useful. Because you can see the Moabs are obviously moving slower. I mean, that's clear as day. I'm just gonna keep getting Absolute Zero, it's so useful. Where the problem is playing the the game of my city? I don't understand. Did I typo somewhere? What is my city? Is this your city? I don't understand the joke. Um, say the world gone, but founders codes expire. No, yeah, that's annoying. So, I don't, I don't think. Yes, Carl. Yeah. Monkey City Day. All right, continue. Founders. Founders codes, I don't think they have an expiry date. I know the codes in the boxes don't have expiry Kara dates. Kara underscore the underscore evil wants you to do ASMR for one minute. I, th I think the ones that you get in like purchases expire after 10 years, so. Wait, oh my fucking god, 2017 will be 10 years ago in 27, in 22, in uh, 2027. That's still three years away. I gave the card Holy back, Kara, because of bad timing. Oh my god, I just clicked in that... It... What the fuck? You feeling old yet? A little bit. Uh, 2017 will be 10 years ago in 20... Uh, 27. I had an old person moment when I got back into this game. I was like, yeah, I used to play this when I was a kid. Nine years ago. Oh, shit. That woke me up. Oh, so the Founders discs had expiry dates on the box, apparently. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if they will expire, because, like, other codes that, uh... Actually, yeah, it was 10 years. So I know uh, in 2020 they did a few co collaborations, and the codes expired in 2030. So yeah, they the codes do expire after 10 years and not being used. That 
that's weird to think about that that, that Fortnite would have released ten years ago in twenty twenty seven. Yeah, I don't know if the slowdown is for four seconds, because it seems longer. Dude, this map expansion is crazy. It's the Shenandoah area. And it seems like permanent. A huge storm. That seems permanent. See, like it's moving slower. Looks like the pop layer went quicker. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, that's so loud. Yeah, Schnelly's pointing out the fact that 2024, like 2027 is not that close. <laughs> I think Archer is getting, I, I think you're getting your existential crisis a little too soon. You have time. To be a youngin. I'm. I'll be 25 next year. Same. I'll be 25 in two months, actually. Now you're making me feel old. <laughs> I'm gonna text Emerald to come balloons with us. If I can find her before I lose this game. Okay, maybe I'll sh maybe I'll pay attention on the last wave and then text her. <laughs> A summon Phoenix ability for one red balloon. <laughs> oh my! This this. This one's a little laggy. I hope Bethesda might just be because the public test servers are on like lower end machines, being hosted on lower end servers. So they, it's very laggy though. I should buy some packs, you guys. Somebody want to donate twelve dollars so I can waste money on packs? That's a joke, Jen. All right, where next? See, this is what happens with monkey team. Sometimes you reach a border here where it's like... Actually, this tile... Oh, it's 490, though. It's too low for me. Kara's the Grinch. Kara underscore the underscore evil is the Grinch. Why would you be looking anyway... You're supposed to focus on the game. I think that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard, actually. Why would you even look at the skin you paid money for, bro? You should be playing the game. So I would counter that, Zilla. Why would you ever buy any skin ever? You should just focus on the game. So this map is tough, even with all the towers available. If you have Shard of Everfrost, you could be affecting the duration or monkey knowledge. Oh, I definitely do. Remind me after this game. Nah, dude said specifically looking at the skin's ass. I am a heterosexual male. If I'm wearing a skin that is female, now, you know, Jaffe comes around. that's true. Well, actually, Jaffe forsook you gay guys. He found himself a lady and settled down. I know. My gay best friend abandoned me. He, he, he let me down. That was Jaffe, just gay nerd and giraffes, all since I knew him. And now he's a bi nerd and giraffes. Yeah, whatever, I still love him. Now the same hitbox, right? Yeah, I don't like my screen getting covered. There's like a bunch of reasons I use female skins in game. Smaller on my screen, uh, easier to look at, um, you think about this more than I do, Zilla. I don't, I'm not ready for this conversation. 
Uh, Kara, I don't know. I think that's like the love thing. That's what they call it here. Let me pause so I don't randomly die. If I go to my... Where the hell do I even find this? My community? Yeah. So, Emerald's got the most love. I guess. <laughs> I think that's because she's like... Purchase the most packs or gift it. I don't know how she got so much. Jake's up there though. I can't sort this by packs purchased. I'm actually shocked that Kara's not on here. Am I blind? I am. Yeah. Really? Only 10 packs purchased? That seems wrong. I feel like I've personally witnessed you buying more than 10. I swear. Hey, Fodic, we're doing some balloons. And then later I might do some Ant Legion, and then... Yeah. Okay, so the V-Bucks gaining from missions are permanent. Yes, yeah, if you've activated Founders, you're getting V-Bucks forever. Yes. Um, I've been seeing... Oh, Alcaro. Wow, um, the Fallout show has, like, renewed entrance and people wanting to play the Fallout games. And I, so yeah, maybe I you've just been subbed longer than anybody, anybody Emerald. Emerald I'm not sure. The Fallout fan base has a very uh, aggressive uh, feeling on Bethesda's games. I'm sure they do. So, um, like people, people are getting mad. Like all well, New Vegas fanboys on Twitter are getting mad that Fallout Four it has like hundreds of thousands of players playing it because they're not playing New Vegas instead. And it's like, dude, five chests. have you tried playing Thank you so much, by the way. Without any mods, it's impossible. Yeah, Ranger in chat. Highly recommend watching it. That's one of my better videos. Because with Fallout 4, you just download the game, launch it, and it plays. So <laughs> Archer... Do anything special. Archer is currently shadow boxing. Fallout players in my balloon stream. I just touched poison water, I guess. I died. Okay, so that's interesting. Kara's count went from 10 to 11. So, the packs purchased is how many purchases have been made, even though Kara just bought five at once. I'm going to report that so they know. That's probably a bug. One second, everybody. I'm getting a little... One second. I'm going to say little bug report. I just purchased five packs and the count went from 10 to 11. I think it's... Counting purchases, not packs. Okay. There we go. Do you have it? Yeah, I sent the video. Most games they have the same hitboxes. Yeah, in Fortnite, I think everybody has the same hitbox, especially because there's a competitive aspect. There's definitely an ass packed. Um, yeah, I've seen that other ways as well. Like, a, a lot of females that play Fortnite, it's not universal. Nobody's ever universal, but it is more of a trend that females tend to wear male skins. <laughs> Guys like to wear the female skins. We're just wearing what we like to look in. In general, with exceptions everywhere. Nothing's 100%. This easy map. This is not an easy map. I think this is like an easier map than it seems because there's actually a lot of track, but it's yeah. Kara underscore the underscore evil is the Grinch. Fortnite has six different hitbox sizes? That's fucked up. Do they restrict them in competitive? Or is it just a free-for-all? Oh, Springer, you shouldn't worry about things like that. Okay, I need to move my laundry. It finished like half an hour ago. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Archer, do you want to talk about Fallout? 
Uh, the the new map expansion. It's live on the public test servers on Fallout 76. It's only the Steam, bro. You can only Emeralds play the public test servers on Steam. Uh, it is fucking crazy. It's the Shenandoah area uh, of the world, and it's this crazy red storm is above the the map, and uh, there's like ghouls that are taken over by some like mine hive mind thing it's it's they're like they they released everything and said you'll find out the story in, in like two weeks it's like what the you just you just drop all this on us yeah this is like insane this is one of the biggest updates that 76 has ever had Was the Fallout show? Uh, it did, uh, one out of ten. It was a solid nine, like nine and a half. All right. I I give it a nine and a half because there's some like weird lore implications that don't make sense in the show, but the rest of the show is good. So. Okay, I'm back. I'm back for real. Archer dot mp4. I don't know. Oh, is that in the YouTube chat? I don't have the YouTube chat open. Is that a real thing? Fortnite having different hitbox sizes? Um... Kinda. It, it, it's a yeah, but it doesn't completely matter. Kara underscore the underscore evil wants you or your- Ted Fun! Assistant Thank you so much! Or ask a trivia question. I will not play Fortnite with you. I appreciate the donation though. If you need help on Save the World, our Discord is full of wonderful people. Playing with me is really tough though. I got a hammer lodged in my esophagus and the doctors can't remove it. They say it's the worst case of a Thor throat they've ever seen. Why do you- why do you guys let him do this, chat? <laughs> That's some quality stuff. Thank you for the card. Thank you. I see Kara's laughing. A Thor throat, get it? Cause of the hammer? Cause Thor, the god of lightning? Dude, wizards also suck until tier 3. Or lightning. Look at that. Without the lightning, it's struggling on blues! Blues! Is he gonna do it? Wow. It popped the blues. Barely. Um... According to Epic, there's no advantage or disadvantage of any cosmetics. Right. I imagine if there were actual different hitboxes, then there would be, like, everybody would use the smallest. They only claim no advantage. So I can imagine the default skin would be, like, the smallest hitbox. It would have to be, otherwise it'd be a huge scandal. And then maybe, like you guys said in chat, maybe the massive skins actually make it easier for people to hit you. That could kind of make sense. But you just need one weird gameplay mechanic where a larger hitbox gives you some kind of advantage. I don't know. Fortnite's a big game with a lot going on nowadays. Balancing that shit must be a nightmare. Yeah, grilled chicken? Oh, nice. Yeah, model sizes make sense. I knew that. Everybody can see that. Actual hitboxes where bullets get detected. That's where things get serious. I actually eat crow. The hitboxes are all the... What is eat crow? Is that a term for like being wrong? I have never heard that in my life. Ooh. That's what I was thinking. Ugh. Tired. Oh, 
that good sleep last night, so I think I'm just tired to be tired. Kara underscore the underscore evil says hands up for 10 seconds. Where did... Where's the nuke? They dropped a nuke and it's just not there. Woo! Still got it! Still got it! You know, it always... What the hell? Always confused me that ice was allowed in the desert. I don't know. What's up, Archer? I'm reading this. Well, don't read. Insane chat message. Oh, they who? fired like 900 employees because some people leaked the rest of 2024 things that are going to happen. I would have heard about. Where do people get this people information? Mail. What in the world are you talking about? That is not true. That's not. <laughs> I don't want to talk I about Fortnite. Heard, I would have heard about that. Oh, I see. Emerald, hop in voice. Come talk balloons with me. Archer doesn't want to talk about balloons. Because I'm playing new content. I'm playing new content. You know, that's actually what I really love about this game. It's so old. Like, this is a done game. But... It's still so good. And there are so many people who have never played this game before. And it's a surprisingly enjoyable game for a game that's quote unquote done. I think a lot of people think like Archer does too, where if a game didn't just come out, they don't give a fuck. Where are you seeing anything about laying up i'm looking at twitter right now i don't see anything well he's already been wrong twice so i need to check out the monkey knowledge though emerald hop in voice uh have you ever heard my voice do you remember talking to me like two days ago did you just forget am i that forgettable am i that unimportant to you you can have a conversation with me <laughs> pretend you even got it Let's forget you said everything. Oh. No, it wasn't that huge. It's not that big of a deal. Gotta move over to my laptop since I play Monkey City on mobile. Oh, okay. I said like a couple of words. Yeah, I don't remember what you said. <laughs> it's like a joke or oh, you told Storm God you were the Grinch, something like that. Oh no, can I not hear you? Emerald, hello. Oh. Oh, there you are. Okay, I was like, I can't hear you if I'm in I can't game. imagine oh. you wouldn't be able to hear me when I talk like this! <laughs> I'm really awake today. I can enjoy for the longest time without laughing. <laughs> like, I was actually running upstairs earlier for no reason. I, like, I just... I don't know. I'm in a good mood today. I sprung back to life. Because I was... I'm real depresso because I got a dying family friend and a dying cat at the same time. And it's all hitting me, and I don't have a lot going on when I'm not streaming. I'm a very relaxed kind of guy. And Monkey City was not distracting me from my woes, but... Saw the lady friend yesterday, and now I'm feeling better. Oh, I'm I'm drinking Advanced CG. I got the raspberry lemonade going on here. I haven't plugged Advanced CG in so long. I haven't made a sale in like a month. I was actually wondering about that because we were going to do our order and I was like, wait, I wonder if there's anything going on. Because well, actually, just now, like 20 fucking minutes ago, we've got a spring cleaning out going on right now. Ooh. Yeah, check it out. Let me go to the site, get you guys a link. I mean, obviously, the Advanced CG link in chat is how you get there. I do believe partner codes are active for it. Okay, let me just not fail Monkey City. This is so cool. I didn't know Absolute Zero slowed ZOMGs and other MOABs. Like, that's... That's so much power for... How expensive is this? 4500 Something like that? Okay. Explorer formulas... What am I looking at? I saw anime no, titties, now I'm distracted. I want to say that this boss feels super dumb and out of place in the Fallout universe, but Liberty Prime exists, so... Ooh. 
Ooh. I'm scrolling through this Robotech stuff, actually. This boss is using like wow. attacks that the uh, which 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 blight was it? The thunder blight was using in in Breath of the Wild. It's like summoning lightning bolt, like little markers on the ground, and then striking them with lightning. Hey, Inferno! As you said that I just bought. Wait, did you really? Was it the spring sale, Inferno? <gasps> Literally, my last sale was March twenty fourth, and then dude just spent ninety bucks on a VCG. What do you get with that? Peach mango, the hopium bundle. Oh, what's that? Are you guys talking about the layoffs from September? I know about that. He, was part of that. I don't know Everyone if it's you guys. I think it's one guy. So here's a spring cleaning sale. Blueberry acai for 25 bucks. I'm assuming these are discontinued flavors if they're just trying to get rid of them. Mango lassie pairs really well with guava berry. Yeah, peppermint candy. That never sounded good to me, but for 20 bucks, maybe you want to give it a go. Pumpkin spice for 15. That's the, oh. By the way, uh, oh, this is strawberry peach. Sorry. That's my favorite. Oh, it's out now. <laughs> Oh yeah, Tropical Splash. I, I, oh it's sold out, oh yeah. I was just thinking about the, the other Smite one. I'm drinking the, I'll just go find it. I'm currently drinking. Where's the Raspberry Lemonade? Is that out already? Yeah, whatever. Thank you again, Inferno! I just bought the Centaur's Cup and the Peach Mango. Oh, well then who, did you That's use my code? Because somebody else just bought something then. And it wasn't you. This was literally three minutes ago. This had to be... <laughs> this had to be you. Actually, the Hopium bundle. Hopium is what I'm drinking now. Well, where... Where is it? Yeah, the commemorative Hopium bundle. So I'm drinking this flavor right now. And, um... There's a shaker in here. Was this not you, Inferno? The only flavor I like is sold out for clearance. Yeah. I imagine clearance is, of course, going to be the less popular stuff. But still, trying out of ACG. Honestly, Tiger's Blood is really good. Um, that's just a flavor name. It's not literally blood. It's uh, coconut, strawberry, watermelon. Darn. It's a yummy combo. I don't taste the coconut that much. Mango Lassie is a bit... Creamy, but it's still mango. Pairs well with other flavors. Blueberry acai is pretty good. Yeah, if you guys have wanted to get in on Advanced CG, this is a a cheap way to do it. These are not my favorite flavors. I'll say that, obviously. But, yeah. The bundle comes with a cup. Yeah, I see. I see. Yeah, it had to be you. Should I just stop drinking water? Okay, I drink water with Advanced CG, because water is... Well, we're all alive here, watching this stream, so I, uh... I can imagine we all know the importance of water. I don't have the advanced CG money right now. After I get paid, you might try it. Well, I'd appreciate it. I mean, obviously, like, I got 10% of your purchase, so... If you're just trying to support me, there are more efficient ways. But if you want to get something for your money, advanced CG is a great choice. <laughs> or, if you want to support me with zero dollars at all, you can install Ant Legion for free. Get your queen to level five, I get a kickback. And if you rally an attack, I get another kickback. It's a cheap way to support me. Emerald, have you checked it out? I know you were talking about it. Yeah, I just actually downloaded it. I appreciate it. Yeah. And there's some other people that were already in there, so it's like, oh, I can go into someone. See yeah. My friends already know. Mm hmm. How long is a cat stream? Well, if there was a timer on screen, I'd point you to it, but I guess we'll never know. I'll have to go on <laughs> holiday and all my powder is dried up. Inferno, they should be fine. I, I drink powder from a year ago or more sometimes. That's not recommended, by the way. If ACG, it, it, they got like a 90-day best buy date on that. But between you and me, they should be fine. But I'll trust him. If his flavors aren't tasting the way he thinks they should, then... Yeah. You can bring them with you when you go on holiday. I totally do that. I always pack... I used to like pack a little bit of advanced CG into smaller containers, but now I just bring the whole tub. It's just way easier. I don't drink the whole tub, but it's way easier to just bring the tub. Pretty sure it's gone bad. Well, shoot. I mean, don't drink it if it tastes bad, but if it tastes fine and it wakes you up, you should be good. 
Although on a public stream, I will say privately, I'd say whatever. But in on on the internet, look out for your health and safety. Don't. <laughs> Always. <laughs> you know the shit I have to say as a streamer. Storm God, hello. You know, hello. human to human, ah, they're fine. On the internet, <laughs> definitely look out for your best health and safety. Don't drink anything that seems like it's gone bad. Blah blah blah. I did bring some, but the rest is bad. I'm sure it's not bad. But if your tongue says it's bad, then, well, you would know best. I have definitely tasted flavor distortion once tubs get over like eight months old, but, but that's normal. I mean, the best buy is 90 days. That's so it wouldn't taste normal. <laughs> I always love watching that wizard struggle with blues. I actually love Cluster Chaos. It's way faster than normal. The the balloon sends come out so much quicker. Uh, backing up in chat here. Is your favorite tower in all of BTD the Ninja Monkey? I say, oh, the Ninja Monkey. I love it so much. Although my new answer is the Ice Shard. No, the Ninja Monkey again. You can't even break it up anymore. So I'll just crunch it like Inferno. I was drinking something. What the hell did I have? And I like I took out like a chunk of it and I just dropped it in my drink. Shook it up as good as I could. Ugh, ice shard. Watch the ice shard, everybody. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Boom. They're all gone. OK, that was not the biggest bump, but look. Look at it just chunk everything when it pops. Okay, not not there. Here. This is not a good ice shard showcase. I promise this tower is better. Oh my god. Oh my god, there aren't enough road spikes in the world. Ah! <sighs> okay, I don't know what the fuck happened there, but ice shard is better than that. You're better than this ice shard. That was embarrassing, Chad. This is like fucking Elon with his sledgehammer. That should have done a lot better. This is embarrassing. It's like when Deadpool was kicking the metal guy. Like, this is embarrassing. He's embarrassing. There we go. Now we got some ice shards doing some stuff. I'll get the absolute ability. Absolute zero. Then I'll slow down the Moab. And then as soon as those ceramics pop out... The whole Moab dies. As soon as those ceramics pop out, the whole... As soon... What the fuck? Okay. This, this dude. Ice Shards was shredding! You guys saw it! I mean, I am... Nothing tops solid food. No, I don't... What? what? Game? 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 El Rado, this is Bloons Monkey City. I'm just trying to figure out what that was in reference to. Yeah, hang on. Are we comparing solid food to advanced CG? Because that's not. You're so, oh, yeah, those are the icicle ones. How cute. Yeah, th this is the ice shard. So when it pops like a frozen bloom, it Aww. shards out and does a ton of group damage. Highly effective. It'll lag your game like crazy. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> that looks cool. It's extremely strong and it scales to the end game in a very effective way. Boom! Oh, that's what I'm talking about! That is the exact example I was hoping to show you guys. It just crunches all of them. Wow. Yeah, this game is fun. Um, it's... The guy with the um, jacket, is it different than the other two? Yeah, so that one has a, an okay. ability called... Absolute Zero. And when I Got use it. that ability, it freezes every balloon on screen. Oh, and the Arctic Wind pairs. So the Arctic Wind slows everything in radius, even if it doesn't freeze it right away. And that gives the Ice Shard here all the time it needs to do everything. Look at the damage number. Look at it just go up by thousands. So then I can use that ability to slow down the Moab. So I need some Moab popping power. I am currently using Ice, which barely affects Moabs at all. Like, I think the Ice Shard, like, it technically does maybe one damage to Moabs. It's literally one damage. Kara underscore the underscore evil wants you to close your eyes for 10 seconds. Oh. It's better not kill me. I know, I was like, uh-oh. Oh. You got it, you got it, you got it. Alright, we're good. But yeah, it also affects the Moabs, which is really good. What, Storm God? I cut you off. Sorry, no, you're good. 
Or don't. Nothing. You have the floor, we're waiting on you. Come on, Storm God. What is it, Storm God? It's okay. <laughs> no, the, the stream leads card for closing your eyes popped up just now, because my stream was delayed. Oh. Aww. Yeah, you were talking about it earlier. I didn't- I, whenever I hear stream delay, I just ignore those comments, because I'm like, well... I, it, it <laughs> refresh or something, I just hope it works itself out. Stream delay, but then I realized it was because my stream somehow paused. Oh, yeah. The pop sound is very satisfying. Jay plays welcome. Kara underscore the underscore evil is the Grinch. Bless the gamer, appreciate you stopping by again. Let me just show you what it looks like. Yeah, sure, Inferno. Because I've had flavors get stuck. You got to leave those little little packets in there that stops it from getting that way, or slows it from getting that way. How old are the tubs there, Inferno? You need to see it. Okay. I mean... All of these are empty. I've, uh, I've drank some advanced CG before. Really? <laughs> Oh yeah, that's bad. No, that's that's so bad. That is that is way past edible. This is not powder anymore. That goes down the garbage. Oh my oh. god, you were so right. I take back everything oh. I've said. You know better. That's oh. how my lemonade looked. At a certain point, I was like, "Ooh, let me just go from lem." It looked like a fucking hockey puck. I was like, "All right, never mind." There's like. There's like a chunk of powder, and then there's that. That looks like it was left in a sunny spot in the house. You should not have your tubs directly... Not next to a window. Looks fine to bite in. Ugh. Yuck! <laughs> uh, let's move on, please. <laughs> well, I guess if you lick it enough, it could be like a dry oh, ice cream good. cone. There you go. <laughs> Sorry, Strong God, you're right. Not a dry one, but like a dry, warm ice cream cone. It's left in a cabinet? Oh, that's so weird. Is your cabinet, like, above the stove? How did it get like that? That thing's gotta be, like, over a year old. BRB. Glavelord has camo? I had no idea. Because every time I bought Glavelord, by that point, you know, camo's figured out in some other way. What was way too bad? My stream lagged. Um, I'll show it. His advanced CG went bad. Um, like, this doesn't even look like powder anymore. You can see on the right here how it has, like... It has... Uh, maybe it got liquid in there. Uh, it looks like... Maybe. I don't know if it got wet. But that definitely looks like it melted together. Like, that looks like it caramelized. That's what I'm looking for. What do you guys think of that? Caramel Advanced CG? It's a yummy combo, right? Yummy? Yeah. <laughs> I was kidding. I did not expect you to go for that. That's like car like a caramel coffee. Like if they if people like pumpkin spice latte, they might like caramel coffee kind. I'm also confused that Inferno's on YouTube today. He's just chilling, I guess. Inferno, the top sub gifter on Twitch, is just talking on YouTube for some reason. It's unlike him. It's like gum. Yeah, that's strange. That does not normally get like that. I've had some very old tubs and they still don't look like that. You just scrape out the powder. It's not at its best when you do that, but... Scrape out the powder. I gotta get my money's worth when I drink my Advanced CG, you see? I almost spent money on it, so... Gotta... Gotta make sure we get it all. I think that's the best thing about being sponsored by Advanced CG is that I don't have to buy it. <laughs> I totally would though. I guy did buy it before I was partnered and I was like, I need to talk to these people right now. This is so fucking good. But it's limited, so we have to make them last. Like I can't just get unlimited Advanced CG forever. It's periodic little bumps. Um, caramel coffee is good. Ain't no way my chat lagged to get Photic. Do you have access to the VIP channel? Oh, I... Long range darts now. Oh, good. I mean, your dart monkeys yeah. can throw darts at each other from the other room. Yeah. 
again. Oh, I gotta get some new tubs. Yeah, Inferno, what flavor was that? Was that lemonade? You swore that's like three Hail Marys. No. Can't drink coffee, it upsets your stomach. I don't like even smelling coffee. Man, I'm just saying I love Bloons games. They're so nice and peaceful. I remember it said Ice Row. Yes, it's Ice Row. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. See, you let me say it wrong for a long time, Ice Row. It's, it's going to take a bit. You can't just let me say it incorrectly for a month and then finally be like, oh, by the way, <laughs> I can't turn on a dime. I need a, a little bit. Um, that was Peach Mango, so that actually makes sense to me, because Peach Mango hasn't been back in stock in a long time. Is that the new flavor or the old one? If you don't know the difference, I'll take a picture of the front and that, that could tell me. Um, because the original Peach Mango is an old flavor. That has had plenty of time to go bad and probably went bad before your vacation actually see that's the thing i that happened to my lemonade because i wanted to save it like oh it's so good i just want to not drink it i guess that's what saving is you can't save food you guys you can save it for a certain mood but if you're ever craving a food or a drink that's in the fridge consume it it won't stay good forever and like i'm saying that's totally what happened to my peach mango i uh or my my lemonade I just didn't drink it, didn't drink it, didn't drink it, didn't drink it, and instead of enjoying it, it went bad. <laughs> so, task failed successfully. Um, I'll be back in a bit. I gotta go do something. Okay. okay. See ya. Yeah, I think he heard some stirring in the back, and he's gonna make sure she's dead. Uh -huh. <laughs> he left already. <laughs> I wanted him to hear <laughs> Hold on, somebody is awake sooner than they should be. You can hear the hammer get picked up. <laughs> yeah, I was saving it, right? Like, if you want to send a, uh, send a picture of the front, I can I can see. But that can just happen. You gotta drink your advanced CG, everybody. Uh, make good use of it before it go. Are they not having cotton candy anymore? Goodbye, Rado. What about cotton candy? Are they not having that anymore or what? They've had a lot of flavors come and go. A lot of limited time flavors, new flavors, old ones returning. I don't know. I don't know what the plan is. Cotton candy is in the sample sachets if you want to get that. Yeah, I think I'm going to get that too. Ready punch, I regret reading your message. The reason I don't correct you is after I watched the Breath of the Wild Bot and they were saying Ice Arrow over a hundred times. It's after I watched the Breath of the Wild VOD and they were saying Ice Arrow over I'm not sure what that I don't know how that relates to our situation. <laughs> So let me just explain what just happened, chat. Um, I got greedy. That actually worked. Like, freezing everything. Giving me a second to breathe and just grab some floor, some road spikes. So I was saving money. That's what happened there. I was trying and trying and trying to get this monkey village that would give me more money in the end. But instead of affording it comfortably, I did not. And then the balloons got through. But you know what? This is why we have the road spikes. Just to save me from my own greed. Like, it would be smart of me to just get an arctic mine. Let me just do that, actually. And the game's over. Oh! Damn, that Moab got far. 
Hey, Tucci, it's going great. We're talking about Advanced CG, letting everybody know what a wonderful product it is. I'm actually glad that enough people have tried it where, like, I can actually... I can get some backup. I can talk about how delicious it is, and Emerald and Inferno can be like, it is, it is. See, like, look. I'm not just a sponsored streamer shilling. Like, it's actually yummy. I mean it. I mean it. Uh, I was explaining the reason for why I didn't correct you. No, I, I don't understand why that explains it, though. And a Breath of the Wild VOD where they said Ice Arrow? Were they talking about Ice Arrows? I don't know why that wouldn't... I don't get it. I don't get it! So, Arctic Wind plus the, uh, the... The other boomerang, the Glaive Ricochet right here, is a great combo. Because the Arctic Wind will stop them in place, and this will pierce a bunch of balloons and do a really good job. Okay, I need some lab popping power. I don't know why I'm being so lazy about this. Oh, cars out there flexing that subscription. <laughs> Yeah, subscribing on Stream Loots is actually a really good thing to do now. I updated it so it gives you three packs and you subscribe instead of one. Because one for five dollars is less than my normal rate and I didn't like that so I made it three. And I've made it a an ongoing thing that I'll, I'll gift two packs to anybody that subscribes. So to mention, I'm doing the monkey teams. You can see the little fist next to the monkeys over here. If I do the monkey teams thing where I only use these monkeys, I'll get I'll get bloom stones. And I want the bloom stones. I want them bad. So no more Mauler. Yes, cluster bombs are so good. This game looks like it would never get boring. It absolutely gets boring. Um if you play the same type of map over and over and over, the game can get really grindy, but you can make things interesting for yourself and all the different upgrades. Like, I still have not unlocked all the upgrades. I have 140 hours in this game. I have not unlocked all the upgrades. There's a lot to do. It's really, really, really fun. Like, Demon Gamer is talking about how nuts Bloon Impact is, and I haven't even gotten it. I haven't even unlocked it yet. Well, I got bad news about the cost of this game. So, like, a lot of people really like to buy games, but you can't buy this one. Like, they actually won't let you have it for any amount of money. You just you, you just have to get it for free. I, I'm sorry. If you want to spend money on a game, it's also optional, but you can spend money on Ant Legion. If you guys get the first top-up pack in that game, it'll support me directly. <laughs> So if you want to take the money you saved on balloons, it's this pack in the upper right. It gets you that orange ant. <laughs> I'm only half kidding, too. That's where TD6 comes in and gives you a new upgrade path. Six different... Yeah, exactly. So Blue Star Defense 6 is obviously an excellent successor, but I really like the way Monkey City plays. It's unlike any other monkey bloom popping game this idea of building up a city and progressing that way is really really enjoyable it was a bit triggering when i heard it and thinking it was a mispronunciation of the name kind of like how you said aka ice arrow was the breath of the wild vod talking to you because ice arrows are just in the game like, Ice Arrows and Breath of the Wild are a thing. I'm just not following, I'm sorry. What? Those are so cool! What happened? Did you just doing the, like, the eagle-looking ones? You got those? <gasps> oh, yeah. So this is the ability for the... the fire guys. You get them that to that... 
max upgrade and they have a phoenix. It's very effective. Thanks for hanging out, Photic. Oh, Photic said... I was watching the May the Horror video part where... Oh, I asked if Photic had access to the VIP channel and I never got an answer. Because that's where he posted the picture of the advanced CG gone bad. So this is what I mean, where once you clear a few tiles like I just did, it can be a little tough to figure out what to do next. Like I've done all the special treasure chests that were all the way out here. I've done every special tile on the map. There's nothing obvious for me to go after, <laughs> which can make the game a little grindy, but I like to set little goals. Like I see this mountain range out here and I think, damn, maybe I should just do all those mountain ranges, you know, or maybe I should clear this river tile and do these mountain ranges. I don't know. Lots of different ways to entertain yourself. He was abusing the words ice arrow, which I was not in that stream, which I could explain a bit better. Okay. Have you connected your game to your Steam, Emerald? Yeah, I'm playing off of Steam. And it won't let me buy, like, a little hmm. starter pack. I don't know. That's weird. Ow, ow, ow. Hey. Okay. The game does not want me to touch anything metal during this event. I like to set little challenges for myself. Like, I want to get up to this mountain range from this starting point you know like i could connect right up here probably but this looks tough to me because i think i can barely do this map this is a cash starve map that does not synergize well with the boomerang it's just that the monkey teams makes it a little tough maybe i'll leave that one alone i could do desert tiles because of the boomerang discount oh sure i got plenty of both Plenty of that. Yeah. I think that's a plan. I had this thing with my friend where I go up to him and say, Nanner, ringer, nanner, ringer, nanner, ringer, over and over. I don't understand. The VIP channel is where the picture was, Photic. Cause I know you've been subscribed before, or at least gifted. I don't know if you still had access to the VIP. Oh boy. You guys want to see one of my weirdest favorite spots on this map? Right about here. Like this boomerang has better coverage than I feel like a boomerang should. Oh, it's a Fortnite emote. Like, this spot looks really random. But, like, look at the way that it loops back. It's actually a, a highly effective position. Everywhere it turns, it's arcing here, arcing there, arcing here, 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 here. This loops back in on itself. Like, this one location was clearly designed with the boomerang in mind. You don't have access? All right. Well, thanks for hanging out, Photic. It's just a picture of dried up advanced GS all was. Are you coming back after dinner? This man's trying to leave and I just keep asking him questions. <laughs> like, bro, food's cold, dude. Yes, I'm coming back. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck off. He's going to start watching a bigger streamer that doesn't talk to him so much. So I never know what to do first, because like, I want to keep getting boomerangs, because they're awesome, but you got to get that camo detection. So I like to sneak a wizard in there, just because they, they do a good job. I did all the 140 Ventures missions yesterday and only went up two levels. Might have to do that later, I can't be asked. Yeah. You were, were you doing your quests as well? You'll come back, alright. Yeah, that's a Fortnite emote. Okay. Oh, 
Kara underscore the underscore evil wants you to time out the first person to talk in the chat. Hmm. Well, I guess Stream Loot's bot is going to get timed out. <laughs> I'll watch your stream. I appreciate it, Photic. Maybe I should time out Photic so he can finally go eat. That's perfect. That's perfect. I'll, I'll give him like a one minute timeout because of the, the stream loots card. <laughs> and then he can go get his dinner finally. Perfect combo. Yeah, when those Easter cards first started being available in my chat, people were like falling on the sword. They'd be like, time me out, time me out. I'll take the bullet. Oh, you're cooking. You guys are making me hungry. See, I had my breakfast sandwich and a bowl of fruit and that's it. I've been live for an hour and a half. Holy shit. So when there's like a little treasure box like in the in jungle, you want to go towards that, right? Oh, you definitely want to go towards that. Okay, got it. The treasure boxes are high value. High value. Japiaz wants you to don't move for 15 seconds. Well, that doesn't translate well outside of Fortnite. Kara, the Easter pack is discontinued. What state do you live in? Uh, constant anxiety. What are the chances you'll add the metal pipe falling sound effect? I don't, I don't know. Probably not. I can't find the pack. I can't find the card. Um, yeah, Easter packs are discontinued. As you might have noticed, it is not Easter. Oh, come on, Ice Shards. Carry me. Carry me, Ice Shards. That was dumb. I'll just lose lives. I care a lot less about lives lost at a certain point because because two balloon stones is kind of whatever when the monkey teams is going to get me 10 anyway and I've got hundreds of balloon stones I can get more. I just don't like restarting an entire level for two balloon stones. I used to do it when I was a lower level, and it makes sense when you're a lower level, but not anymore. I feel like we're out of those woods. Absolute zero is so nice. That is such a good ability. Wow. I'll take normal that? Sure. When's the next Fortnite stream? Uh, yeah. My next Fortnite stream would be Wednesday until I know more. <laughs> Unless Epic decides they want to drop a Save the World update in Tuesday's update, which they probably won't. Because there is an update on Tuesday. A lot of money on what? Uh, I got a lot of money on that one. Oh yeah. Did you get the 2000 city cash from the treasure chest? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they can also give you permanent bonuses, which are really powerful. Like one of them I got made my ninjas universally shoot like a little faster forever. And I'm quite a fan of that. Monkey stream, welcome smoke. I wanna go on one of these days for the horde mode, but I never... Yeah, I always do it right after shop. As soon as I'm done with my video. I can imagine if you're not available, then it's kind of impossible to line up. 
Adventures mission out of that. Help those people. That's nice. Yeah, if you're running high level missions anyway. Oh, you got all your quests done. You finished all your quests and you're not level 50 yet? That's unfortunate. My quests are never done before 50. Look at those phoenixes putting in work. Hmm. Horde isn't all that fun to you. What? Horde's great. It's extremely rare though, match. Yeah. Well. Be around on Wednesday. How about that? Oh, Demon Gamer is the top cheer of the stream with 10 bits. <laughs> I just noticed that. See, having my defense in the middle of the map always creates this awkward point where I'm just waiting. Waiting for the BFBs to get closer. Oh, not at all, Smoke. Yeah. The only promotion we have built in, actually, is if you have your Twitch linked to your Discord and you go live, there's a streaming section on the right. So... Yeah, other than that, no. Slowing down that ZOMG. Man, these wizards are expensive. It's kind of nice losing lives, though. Like, I never like losing lives, but once I have committed to not caring about lives on this match, then I can just play normally. <laughs> but I can lose a couple and not care. Welcome back, Ballistic. Yes, asking first is highly appreciated, because some people don't, and then they get banned, and then it gets messy following that. This is Bloons Monkey City. Free on Steam and on mobile. Zero dollars necessary at any point. It is so great. Hell yeah, Dimension. You're making me making me hungry. I wonder if he still have hot dogs or something. Yeah, smoke. Definitely good to ask first. It's free to ask. I can show you my map after this game. I like Monkey City because every single tower is linked to a building on the map. Every upgrade is something you had to work at for a long time. Every map you're doing, like right now, this map I'm clearing, is going to physically clear space for me on my map so I can build more buildings. And then the different type of terrain matters. It's a surprisingly involved game. And I really enjoy it. I really enjoy it. Yeah, it's one of those free games, just like Ant Legion, the current sponsor of the uh, the stream. Not today's, not this stream, but the channel, the Twitch channel for the next week. <laughs> I'll be letting you guys know. It's a great way to support me for free. If you install Ant Legion, get your queen to level 5, rally an attack, or get an orange ant, I, uh, I get directly supported. So, Smoke, this is BTD5 mechanics. So, yeah. Balloon Jitsu might as well be the mascot for this game. <laughs> Balloon Jitsu is so good. But... There are a lot of tiles where ninja might be banned, or other towers might be better, or monkey teams in this game is super worth it. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm using ninja, I'm using wizards, boomerangs, and ice. No ninjas.
You used to fill your maps with ninjas? Oh my god. Thanks for hanging out, Kara. Appreciate the packs, by the way. You're gonna go, pig? I appreciate you stopping by. Any monkeys in this game like heroes and save the world video ideas? No. <laughs> I don't know that I'll be making Bloons videos. I might do like one video overviewing my city once I decorate it, but. Allie, welcome. So, this is kind of what it looks like. Every single one of these blue huts is a dart monkey that I can build in game. Every one of these wizard towers is one of the wizards I can build in game. So all the wizards I'm spamming are because I have wizard towers around. I think I have a couple down here. A couple over here. This is one of the wizard spires that allows me to have the whirlwind wizard. There's a lot. It's a lot going on here. If you know if you press alt when the game is windowed mode. Uh, Ice Roy, you didn't, uh, say anything there. I do play I other think, games besides Save the World. Mm -hmm. I think they meant to say Alt-Enter. What does that do? It'll put the game in full screen. Yeah, I don't like this game in full screen. Doesn't that just do F11? I... I, I don't know if that game has F11, but all enter works for just about every video game in existence, so. Yeah, that, that, that's just F11. Wait, what? Why can Emerald send me a gift and I can't send her one? I don't know what I did wrong. I can't buy nothing. I can't do anything else. <laughs> uh, share your screen on Discord. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna wait for her to share. But yeah, I have not organized my city much at all. In fact, I might do some of that today. I think it'd be fun to just organize as much as I can. I've done a little bit. You can see, like I've fenced in this special tile where there's a rabbit jumping around. I think it'd be really fun to just do, just to do some city management in that way. I might need to reorganize a lot here. But that's like one of the major components of this game is just reorganizing your shit. Like in the middle here, I plan to have all nine farms because I'm going to close the game just to demonstrate. When you boot up the game for the first time, you'll see in a second. This is what you see when you just load the game up quick. So I want to be able to boot up my game, grab all nine farms, and then just close the game because I do that a lot. All right. Let me see here. You're in a, you're in game. Yeah, sorry. Um, do I go? Where do I go? To do what? To like look and see why I can't. Can't do what? Send like a uh, buy stuff. I don't know what's going on. Hold on, let me go out of here. All right, let's see here. Do I go here? What are you trying to buy? Well, when I was sending you, where do I go? I don't even know how I got there. Friends. Friends right here. See, I was able to send you stuff, right? But I can't send anybody else stuff, I don't think. Oops. That still says 34. Yeah. See? Like, I could send you stuff. Uh, that's fine. Oops. Dang! You got lots of stuff. That's what our other one looks like. But I don't know if I can... Yeah, it looks like my Steam is still... And then if I go here... Oh, maybe that's why. No, I'm already linked. If I go to, like, the starter pack right here, I can't... I can't... See, I can't buy it. Uh, hit later. Go to the monkey in the bottom left, and then go to the friends in the top right. Are you on a trackpad? 
what's that? <laughs> You're on a mouse? Uh, yeah. Oh, I bought Emerald. the other ones that you guys use, but then um, my son didn't want to use it, so I just started uh, to use I'll put this off screen. Click your name in the bottom left. Okay. And then... Oh, your Steam is linked? Yeah. Very confusing. Right? Maybe it's my email? I don't know. You're just instantly spending money on this game. Well, I thought it'd be fun. Uh, that's true. Spending money on this game does. Do I have to go to my Steam? Because I can buy stuff on my Steam. I will say, buying Bloomstones and money does not help you. Aww, okay. Yeah, you and Maddie are the only ones I have in here. But I don't even know if I can send him anything. So oh, that, now I'm able to send him. That explains a lot. So it seems like you guys are still seeing my old account. So when you guys send me gifts, it goes to my old city. Oh. I need to tell support because I've been trying to fix this for a while. I checked with a friend and in Oh shit, I'm level 34 right now, which is the same as my old level. Oh, that tells me nothing. Never. Actually, can you visit my city real quick? I want to see if it's actually sure. linked to mine. So go to the monkey in the bottom left. Maple's welcome. Go to friends, go to me, click me, yeah, visit, yeah, whatever you want to do. Oh, that's totally my current city. God damn it. That's a lot. Yeah, scroll down. Holy cow. Like, yeah. Whoa. How cute little airplane thing right there. Aww. Yeah, that's those branches down there was me going for the yeah. golden chests. Because <laughs> they're way out there. Wow. Is this where those big blimp thingies come in right here? That's the way how you made them right here? That's how I do them in Monkey v. Monkey. Oh. oh my gosh. You're taking over the world. Oh, the lady's messaging me. Oh. The lady's experiments weren't going the way she planned and was very upset. But apparently one of the plates she was using wasn't sticking properly. It was equipment malfunction. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to revamp my city a little bit. Oh, actually, is my balloon crystal ready? I think it's time to organize, chat. Here's the deal. I want to decorate my city. Uh, that's two hours ago. I want to decorate my city, but I don't want to spend tons and tons of money I don't have on... On stuff I don't need so yeah let's just put all the buildings away <laughs> it's always so weird to do that every time and let's just start with the basics so farms in the middle that's what everything branches out from I know that much 
And you know what I can do? I can just select farms and put them there, 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 there. That's going to look the same for now. And I'm going to want all my upgrade buildings in a specific location. I've been putting them up here. But I don't know if that's where I want them to stay. Try making a 5x5 five five of any group of... Oh, one step at a time here, one step. So... I'm trying to narrow down stuff that... So like my upgrade buildings, I liked having them all in one location. That was a big deal to me. So I guess I can just put them here. Uh, let's do dart there. This is the town hall. This is the tax sprayer, I think. That's boomerang. Ninja. Uh, this is for bombs. No, like, particular order. Just trying to get them all down. This is a camo building. So these are the buildings I physically click on to actually upgrade my stuff. Blue, ice, mortar. The naval yard. Engineer. Wizard tower always looks super cool. And then... Man, the Super Monkey HQ looks so big. I'm gonna put that lower. And I do actually like this over here the way it was. I actually don't know where this was. I should put it right next to my... Actually, I should put it right next to my farms. Because I send monkey attacks all the time. Or, I try to. Hey, Tana B. My eyes seem to be okay other than... Oh, that's good. Other than having, having astigmatism. Well, I don't know if that's your eyes or if that's your brain. You know? Stigmas are just born within humans. <laughs> that was a joke. Okay. Let's get the... This is the upgrade for farms. I know I just said I want all those buildings to be next to each other, but that one actually makes sense to me. Get the track down. I don't remember how this was laid out before. Crap. I don't know. And then we got the dart ship up here. I can put that next to the plane. And then I always like to have the little monkey farmer barn. See, Emerald, that's the one thing I bought. You're still sharing, by the way. Oh, my bad. Sorry. That's the one thing I bought was the monkey farmer. So that collects your monkey farms for you in game, not the city cash farms. But when you're putting farms down in the middle of matches, that'll collect them for you. And... I just watched a hawk fly, and I heard a woo, so I think somebody else saw it, too. I just heard a woo. <laughs> and that was, uh... That was, like, $2, but it also increases the amount of city cash you can hold at once, which was kind of nice. I think I hate this. Because I laid this out in a certain way, and I don't remember how it was. <laughs> Benz! Come talk in voice. I miss you. Whoa. Hmm. What? Is that the famous Benz? That is the Benz. God, I still can't believe he made that sound. Removing pathways is... fun. I'm enjoying this.
This is fun. I'm, I'm, I'm liking this. Ah, oh, just cleaning out my city, everybody. You know the drill. Ben's hello. Jay plays hello. Smoke hello. Squid outy. Maple's hello. Demon hello. Ah, oh, yeah. Ice row. Somebody go to Ben's war cry. Cause yeah, somebody did the Ben's war cry before you could. Mm hmm. Well, somebody did it. That's that's all that matters. I haven't heard Ben's in a voice call in too long. All this removal. Ugh. Okay. I think those are the outstanding pathways now. Now I can move back on. I have so many Moabs over here, huh? I think this is for the frost and the glue upgrades. I don't know. I'm kind of just putting anything mechanical like over here. Even if it has nothing to do with monkey v monkey. Evident. Thank you for the uh, like. Four monkeys, four friends, four heroes, four weapons. Are you trying to get likes on a super chat? I've never seen this before. Also, thank you. And then I can be silly and put some airstrips right below this hangar. I mean, that would make sense, huh? Yeah, this city editor is really satisfying to use, I must say. Emerald, you're probably not doing much city editing yet, huh? No. Mm -mm. Yeah, it was a bit before I actually had <laughs> stuff to mess with. I had so much help in the other one when it was on the on the phone and, and on the iPad. Uh oh, I didn't do the right one. No. Hey, there it is. Thank you for the super chat once again. I did a boomerang one, though. Fun. Because I saw you have those, and they seem pretty... Boomerangs are good, yeah. Yeah. You need to upgrade them eventually. They can't just stay normal, I oh. guess. So, what I was using were the tier 3 boomerangs. Oh, okay. And that was... Those are highly effective. Man, I could I could just have a big building district. This is getting crazy. I think this needs to be on a water's edge. I still hardly know what that means. There we go. Just a video idea, not likes. Oh, I see. Four monkeys, four friends, four heroes, four weapons. I'm not sure how to translate that into a video. Alright, well, subs are easy. They can go in river tiles, but... It just feels wrong. <laughs> But I don't have that many water tiles. It's actually shocking to me. I feel like I've done so many water tiles, but I really have not. It's 
kind of surprising. But it is a little fun to just go out throughout my entire city and try to find where I might have put some. Is this in range? Okay. Uh, is this only available on PC? No. This game is crazy. It's available on mobile, Steam. The accounts there, they link. So when you get it on both of those, you can... Save the progress between the two. It's crazy. It's cray cray. It should be cray. I don't know why I like to put my windmills on the turns. So this is how I decorate my city. Like right now I'm just generally trying to organize it. I'm not thinking of this as any kind of final layout. Did I say windmill? I don't care. I generally try to put things in spaces where I can relocate them. If I ever need to find certain things. That's why I started with my upgrade towers up here. Because I regularly interact with those buildings up there. Oh yeah, my cat came in a while ago. What is this shit? It's Bloons Monkey City! I was so late to that reply. <laughs> that was five minutes ago. I didn't even realize. I'm just so distracted. Do you think he hates me now? Nah. He was probably looking at his clock, just counting down the seconds, thinking this bitch better fucking reply. <laughs> if he doesn't say something in two fucking... I'm out of here. I'm out of here. And I won't come back. He's still here. Yeah, so in Bloons Monkey City... All of these buildings I'm placing translate to buildings that I can play with in game. And it is awesome. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I could put the comms tower. So now these are all just like my gray mechanical buildings and juggernaut. Kind of fun. Pick four monkeys, like Wizard and Glue, and then a hero that fits that, and using a corresponding weapon. Yeah, I don't know if merging Save the World and Bloons is what the world needs from me. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure how popular this game remains, but... I did not know I had a little baby bank still. I think that one's being upgraded currently or something. Yes, Ben's well said. So like windmills, for example, are nice to have laid out because then I can keep track of all of them. Make sure they're all upgraded. I'm so glad they added this city manager. This used to not be a thing. Before, you used to have to pick up the windmill one by one and move them at a at a glacial speed. It was awful. Um, like city management, I remember thinking, gee, I might want to do that. This sounds kind of fun. And I got seconds in before I was like, oh no, oh no. <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> this is... This is brutal, and then I gave up forever. But now... Now... It's not so bad. Benz, I am not intending on making any smaller versions of myself birthed from the loins of my partner. No. Or anywhere, for that matter. 
No, I am uh, I am not a kid haver. That's that's not on the agenda. I'll put these village towers back here because they look like they provide Wi-Fi. And I want my super monkeys to have the best internet. I'll put the mortars just so we can protect our elite. There we go. It'll be bananas. I appreciate the donation, Evident. I I only wish I could share your vision. Sleep? Benz, it's the middle of the day. What are you talking about sleeping? So this is where things get a little cramped. I'm not really sure where to put things now. I'm a very busy man. Mm. I'm sure. I am not a kid haver. <sighs> I don't know why I'm taking this outside in approach with all of my buildings here. I just don't have a plan. And I you can see I don't have like a lot of vast open square space for everything to go. So it just kind of needs to be somewhere. The more space I'm clearing out here the better. So I guess there's that. Oh, that fit nicely. Hello. Or are you playing Bloons Monkey City? Yep. What was that? Yep. That sounded like a no. I don't I believe. Got it. What did you got? I got the first one over the water this time, so I'm excited because that took a little bit more figuring it out than mm -hmm. what I was used to. Dang. Okay. Are we doing stream loots or is this more of a chill stream? I am letting the stream loots go through. It doesn't always translate well to this game, but... I have $3,000. What? From a summer job, or how'd you get that? I was talking about balloons. Oh. I thought he was talking about balloons too. I was like, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have 3,000. I was like, yeah, I told you. Three hours on that corner. All it takes. Oh, uh, I guess I'll get I mean, I'm just kind of like stumped right now because I I can only really get the first two upgrades for each path, and then it's just like, well, gotta wait until you get uh, at least like 7k. Bucko. Underscore biggest move <laughs> says hands up for 10 seconds. Hands up for 10 seconds now? Oh no. For what? So I can't I can't build my city now? Mm hmm. I don't like the layout of this. But, I don't have unlimited space. 
so that just encourages me to clear more land in a usable space. You know, I keep doing these large branching offshoots where I just venture off into nowhere. I don't think that's helping me. Unremarkable Squid confesses they are secretly a fan of furries. We what, knew it. Run out of space to play like one of the four tile stuff. No, I just wanted to organize things, and I think I've made a bigger mess of it than I started. Yeah, it's looking that way. Ah, <laughs> uh, I made a sandwich. Hello. Yummy. You don't know that. Sandwiches, all sandwiches are good. All sandwiches are good. Right, Archer? Uh, I don't know about all, but... Oh, come on. They all are. They're so good. And they're so easy to make. I mean, okay, I'm doing this balloons one, and it looks like the Chick-fil-A logo. Yeah, that's the, uh, the jungle tile. Loving it. Oh my gosh, they're going so fast. What? Oh. <laughs> I, uh, I think she's yeah. encountering the fast balloons. Dang. Okay, I got my boomerangs out. It's on. Yeah, you need leveled up boomerangs to handle the fast ones. I'll pay v back in like six hours. See ya. Fuck you, sandwich. Okay, Benz. Thanks for checking out, Benz. Are you willing to draw now? No. No. I want to be gaming. This, this has taken significantly longer than I thought it would. Or at least it stopped being fun a while ago. Now I'm just putting my buildings back. Like, I organize the stuff that I can organize, and... Now I'm... Not sure what to do. Yeah, I like to leave this little space for future farms. Did somebody just sneeze like a speeding car? No, that was me coughing. Wow. I think your cough could be a ringtone. Uh, I'll take that as a compliment. I do like the wood sawing effect, though. It's very relaxing to just hear it go and go and go. I need to find three plots of land. And I'm trying to keep, like, special tiles open. But it's hard. <sighs> Why do you want to keep the special tiles open? Because they look neat. Oh. All right, that's enough of that. I am. I am in need of more space. I've always been trending like left of the river. But I don't know. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a long stream today. That's kind of why I went live early. Wanted to let you guys know about Ant Legion more and more, and I want to get some balloons in. Yeah, this feels so cramped. Like, I know this is where I need to venture out. But my rule of 500s is uh, affecting what I can do here. Hmm. Oh my god. 500 XP is so far away. I'm trying to think about where I want to expand my city next. Do I want to go up? I do. I like all of this surrounded by the water. You can see these are all easy tiles, so I guess we'll just continue. This desert is where I was already playing anyway, so... This map is brutal! Hard and heavy is no good with my current 
monkey teams. Wow. A lady sent me a Snapchat of her big one. Mm -hmm. uh... What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Needs an entire room. Uh... <laughs> She's working with a custom-made microscope. All right. Fodic, welcome back. Play Save the World. Antoine, why don't you just accept me for the human that I am? Why don't you hang out with me while I play a game that I enjoy for a little bit? Instead of... Instead of dancing to your tune. Cracks a whip. Dance, monkey, dance. Play the game I subscribed for. Whoosh. Whoosh. You're not a real life human with personal interests. You're a machine for my entertainment. Whoosh. Play Save the World. How you doing? I'm doing great. Because I'm playing Bloons Monkey City. Game I'm having a lot of fun with right now. And I'll be doing not great if camos come early. But yeah, you guys can see the city management part. Ninja. What? Free play down ninja. No ninjas today. Monkey monkey teams has me doing boomerangs, ice, and wizards. Monkey teams. Yeah, Fodek. I I I thought that was perfect timing. Yeah. So if you use the Monkey set aside for the monkey team. Unremarkable squid wants you to pose for a photo. <laughs> I'm always posing for a photo. Um, yeah, the monkey team allows you to use certain towers, and it's quite limited, but you get extra bloom stones for it. Yeah. Redeemed this card. That is a card you redeemed. Maples underscore biggest beach canceled the last card play. No Except photo. If it was a legendary card. <laughs> All right, no photo then. <laughs> Aura, have you checked out Ant Legion? No, I'm not. Are you going to? Did you know it's free? You can get it right on your mobile device. And if you reach those different rewards, it supports me directly. It's pretty good stuff. Maybe. He's thinking about it. He's on the hook. He's just going to say maybe, so I never bring it up again. I, I know, never do that. I know his tactics. I don't know what you're on about. He's gaslighting you, chat. Don't let him do it. Is this the most greedy ice shard spot ever? That barely reaches. Gaslighting isn't real, people. You know this. Oh, so many ceramics. Scary, scary. Ice shards are so strong. What's the new Save the World update? What are you talking about? You said go watch Big Mirror, you are being. <laughs> I appreciate your confidence, Fodic. I think I do not count as a big streamer. Whoa, that ice shard just got right to work. God damn, that 
That one has a lot of range. Yeah, oh. when the Arctic wind gets built, it reaches. <laughs> it reaches. Satisfying. Yeah, I'm just used to my uh, my ice tower just. Upgrade them to ice shards. This isn't my tower. You can have it too. Got to work for it though. Yeah, just, uh, I don't have the money for it. I appreciate that, Ragnarn. I am a professional gamer. I actually am. That one's not a joke. Lately, she's also complimenting my confidence, Dan. Wait, what are you talking about? text my mom and dad and say hey so has anybody got any food plans I can leech that is one of the benefits of living with my parents still is that I can just say I'm hungry is anybody else also hungry who wants to feed themselves and then bring me back stuff while you do that Do we have any food plans? That's what I'm gonna say. I think we still have hot dogs, but I don't know. Lately, I haven't been in the mood for anything, so that sucks. All right, got my phoenixes going. Who's been complimenting your confidence? I'm very confused. I like these desert tiles. That reduced cost on the boomerang is such a nice buff. And then the wizard phoenix. You just dropped an egg on the floor. That's not how you crack an egg. We taught you how to crack eggs. Some of these waves are really weird, because in the early game, camo lead is like your worst nightmare. But in the end game, I think there are entire tiles without camo lead. It's kind of weird. Oh, living with your parents. Got it. I didn't know you were referring to your mom. I was confused. I assume it's your mom. Unless you've got a really, really nice stepsister, in which case, I think I have good news for you. <laughs> Your mind is corrupted. <laughs> you said you appreciate my confidence, and she, my fiance, has also been. Okay, all right. So you've already you already picked up on that. Gotcha. You didn't need me to help you. If you're living with your parents and a fiance, that's gonna be... That's crazy. That's gonna be a combo. That's one of like, the top marriage tips I ever heard was never, ever, ever living with your parents during that. And there's like a ton of reasons why not. Surprised me to learn. Cause then like, you just don't have the privacy a marriage needs. And I don't just mean sex, I mean like, Issues, conversations, interests. You just need to... You gotta have that space. Yep. Photic said, no way. And I just said so many things, so I don't know what they're referring to. This happens a lot as a streamer. Somebody responds to me and I'm like... Uh, what? 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 I'm kind of stuck with my parents now because I don't know if you guys have looked at housing prices. Not with fiance right now, and for reasons I'll not bring her in. Not with the fiance. Oh my goodness. I'm going to assume your night terrors have been awful. 
You've been waking up and you just will not stop dancing. Singing out loud, waking the whole house. So you're probably in isolation just to save everybody from the madness, right? I think I nailed it. Well, this was easy. Fire and ice with a little boomer in between. Those ice shards are so good. I said it's not bad living with parents because you mentioned it. I got you. Housing prices last eight years under Trudeau. Increased by four times, yeah. After all the hype train talk, I started getting recommended clips of pirate software. <laughs> and he made a short looking at his own house that he paid 200000 for. And in like, I don't know the time frame, but in a very brief period of time, it ballooned to like 500000 And his point was that he cannot afford his own house. <laughs> like if he tried to buy his house again, he couldn't. And I was like, wow, that's... Fun. So yeah, I'm not really looking to move out now or soon, but I couldn't <laughs> if I wanted to. And it's scary as well because <clears throat> housing prices are so nuts right now that if I did move out, I would likely be drastically overpaying for whatever I got. MS isn't showing where I said to do it. Yeah, I did see the steps this comment, yeah. I just let it go because you mentioned the fiance. I was like, all right, well. <laughs> You're gonna lurk now. Maple, that's it? You're done? You're leaving us? Yeah. I could talk about housing prices all day, but I'm gonna spare us all, and you're welcome. I can't find a comfortable position. Don't you just hate that? You just woke up. Well, shit, go eat. Go get a go get a shower. I can smell you from here. Ugh, get out of yesterday's clothes. You know that's start. That's something I started doing. So I have always and forever slept with a shirt on because I just I just did. I never thought about it. And. I wear a lot of t-shirts, so some are pretty good quality, but even the nice quality ones still get, you know, they get rolled up and squished and they're not as comfortable as my blanket, my blankies. I don't sleep on a sheet, you guys. This is, this is life tips, all right? Biggest, this will improve everybody's existence immediately. Don't sleep on a bed sheet, okay? Sleep on a soft blanket. It's awesome. I got a giant soft blanket from Costco. I don't know how they could do it, but it was $15. The thing's freaking massive. And my life has never been the same. So, there you go. Is Nothing, Emerald? That day. I thought she'd have my back. Blankets, um, pretty much, yeah, that's pretty okay, much good. correct. All right, yeah, good. All right. Absolutely. Whew. I thought she'd be on my side here. No, definitely. Should be in a balloons I'm gamer. To, yeah, I'm trying to figure out where my what to put next. <laughs> but yeah, I started doing that a long time ago, and it's just so much better and easier because the blanket is so big. I just sort of, I sort of lift it up in the air and gently settle it onto the bed, and it drapes over the sides, so I don't need to like tuck it in. There's no wrestling my mattress. It just just works. Beast, have you, uh, I know you don't browse Twitter that often, but you, have you seen the pictures of Mark Zuckerberg? No. Oh, shit. <laughs> you, hold on. Let me just see how easy it is to find it. Yeah, it's just, the first thing on Google Images is, is the picture of him. Now you got me intrigued.
I'm not gonna Google this myself. You're gonna have to link me. So like he posted, he posted like an Instagram story the other day, and he's he's wearing a chain and has like I I don't know what hairdo that is, and then like he's got a stubble or whatever, oh. and then oh. someone edited it where he's got like a like a full mustache and he looks it it does it doesn't look real. Why did it because it isn't real? Wow, we're editing. Mustaches onto I'll, Mark Zuckerberg nowadays? I'll put it in uh, my narrow VIP. Wow. You know... And then... You always manage to make me regret version. using Twitter less. He does look like... He looks a lot more normal, actually. He might want to consider a beard. He probably will after. <laughs> you He's know... Come in with an introduction video. So I took a lot of you guys' feedback, and it turns out I'm gonna be growing my beard out. Even though Mark Zuckerberg loves harvesting people's data, he's like probably one of the least obviously evil billionaires. Like you know, all the other billionaires are like, we are going to fund uh, murder. Uh, we are going to make everyone's lives worse. But Mark Zuckerberg just like post videos of himself grilling and shit like that. <laughs> it's weird. Cause he's like, it's Mark Zuckerberg. So it's Facebook. It's data yeah. collection, like hell. But he doesn't make himself look evil. It's, it's like, it's weird. Um, yeah, I just agrees with the blanket. Does anybody in the audience sleep on a blanket instead of sheets? Cause I have never felt a single sheet that was more comfortable than a blanket. You sleep command. Oh, I don't need that information. But yeah, I stopped sleeping with a shirt because my my blanket is so much more comfortable and soft than my. And I thought it was silly. Once I looked in my my own reflection, I gazed seriously into the mirror and I thought, "Do I need a beard?" Wait, no. And on a different day, I gazed in the mirror and I thought. You know, why am I sleeping on this soft as fuck blanket and then covering it with my shirt, which is arguably less comfortable? That was the day it all changed for me. It's been great. I have no sheets. I sleep in a futon mattress. You can put sheets on a futon. I slept on a futon for years. It's probably where I got the blanket idea. Yeah, I wanted a futon that like sat up, so I got a bed that sits up with a remote. Best thing I ever did for myself. Okay, maybe a girlfriend's a close second, but a bed that sits up is real. That was... That was a life changer. Gotta go now. Thanks for hanging out, as usual. Have, like a hospital bed. It's awesome. It is really cool, yeah. She and I will do some gaming, and she has uh, a tricky neck, so I always just leave the room and like wash my hands or whatever and I'm like you just sit the bed up figure it out she'll have that shit like a couch but the best part is it can it can be a couch remember me am I supposed to remember you or is this a question <laughs> you try that tonight yeah do it if you have a really soft blanket big enough to cover your mattress I highly recommend just going for it and then, best of all, you'll think about me every single night for the rest of your life. Which is the real win. That's the real takeaway. That's terrifying. You were here yesterday. See, now that's interesting, because I didn't stream yesterday. I think I'm being gaslit on YouTube right now. I do remember you, by the way. As much as I tease. About to make a pound cake. What kind of pound bunt pan should I use? Okay, you're speaking a different language. The flower one, if you want to be a little, more, a little bit more fancy, or the other one, and you could always put like powdered sugar over top or whatever if you want to be fancy. Oh my god! Simple. I thought we were still talking about bed sheets. I was like, what? 
powdered sugar? <laughs> that caught me off guard. <laughs> it's like, don't be putting powdered sugar. Not on the, not on the precious blankets. <laughs> I was like, flower one. I mean, it doesn't matter what the blanket looks like. I'll sleep in a Princess Elsa blanket if it keeps me cozy. 14 hour drive, keep me occupied balloons. Okay, well I can't cover 14 hours, but I got you for a little bit, easy. And the Horde playlist has got you for the rest for sure. The Horde and Frost Knight playlists are functionally like podcasts. If you just want long form beast content for long hours, that's the place to go. Those are the places to go. Uh, oh, and talking about not privacy, I'm from a Desi family and there's no such thing as... What is Desi? D-E-S-I? I don't know what that means. If you close the door and someone sees that it's closed, they'd go crazy and think it's... Ask why it's closed. Yeah, I wouldn't like that. See, if you start swinging open closed doors and you've got a male in that household... You learn to knock. <laughs> what best... What weapon's best for 140... Ugh. My least favorite question about a game I don't want to talk about. Uh, there is no best weapon. Check out my videos. I talk all about the stuff you want to know. Trying to watch as much as I can. Are you... I assume you're not driving. Are you are you in the passenger seat of a uh, of the vacation drive? Cause if so, I mean you got you got plenty of time to chill out, watch all the games, all the videos. Through the frost night? I appreciate that. That was something I considered when I made those videos. Cause the frost night videos were not getting good views, but I knew that people like to watch them throughout the year. No, no passenger? Wait, are you driving? Don't fucking type in my stream while you're driving. Pull that shit over if you're gonna have a conversation. <laughs> oh my god. Why why is this NPC naked? What the fuck? Don't complain. Just enjoy it. She's holding a minigun at me. That's kinda cool actually. I don't know if that makes her better. Uh, I guess it her depends gun's on her bigger than Definitely his. Definitely better. Desi people are from X and India, so it's kind of a cultural thing. Interesting. I learned a thing today. Ugh. Autocorrect, I'm in the passenger seat. Okay, okay, all right. All right, you're good. <laughs> Something I uh, I need to yell at the girlfriend about is, like I'll text her when I'm gonna be there and she'll always respond with, okay. But what she doesn't consider is that when I say my ETA, I'm on the road now. And so when she replies, okay, I, there's a small chance there could be a reason that that my ETA is bad. <laughs> so now I'm like really like I'm obligated to check my phone, which is not safe when you're driving. So it's a uh, that's a routine problem I encounter. You guys want to see the most cursed thing ever? Daisy, gotcha. Look at this. The ice tower fits, and down here too. It is down here. You gotta get it just right. Look at that. That's what she said. <laughs> that is what she said. If you get it just right, you can pixel perfect fit the ice cube right there. Does freeze trap with three knockback perks perma stun? No. Impact knockback doesn't stun for any longer. Bad habits. Sorry. Do not look at your phone and try to silence mine. Yeah, I, 
I'm a very attentive driver, so I'll allow a glance, but I really try not to text while driving. That's no good. Chicken nugs, it uh, it makes them move back far farther when they unfreeze. That's about all it does. Yeah, the best way to freeze for longer is effectoration. That's exactly what it does. It goes from a uh, four. It's a three and a half second stun to a four second stun. Three and a half to five. Three and a half to five. Three and a half to five. Half to five. I was distracted. Sorry, I was texting while while driving. Hmm. One thing I've noticed about this is that uh, pack shooters are not as strong as they are in. Uh, no, glaive six. storm. Whatever they call it. Maelstrom is pretty much the only thing that's worth it. Unfortunately. Um, if you place the ice traps directionally properly, you can perma-stun fatties, riot huskies, but little else. How do you feel about the venture season? Uh, it's a venture season. I've checked. Oh, shit. Okay. No, really, it is. Wow. That... That wizard looked like it was struggling, but it... It got them all. Man, that ice shard's really put in work. Ice shards is my favorite tower. What time is in your country? 3.04. That's the only time it is in my country. There are no other times that exist. Ooh. That's a Moab. Oh no. I need better Moab popping power. Yeah, the boomers get most of their damage from Pierce. Just like in real life, the boomers get their effectiveness from the amount of... ...people they can affect. PM? Damn, I'm 10 PM! Yeah, America has like six time zones. Kind of funny. It's 9 p.m. The oh gosh. Attack being so strong. What with attack speed? Uh, the attack shooters. I'm used to them being mm. so strong that, like, when I notice that they aren't doing much, I'm like, oh, well, this is not normal. <clears throat> Door is inaccessible. Not if I have any save. Oh, it's just an empty room. Okay. All right. Nice to see the Buccaneers are still strong. Yeah, not as much as six, but they're good. Getting the village with Monkey Fort helps a lot because it increases their pierce by one. That means the grapes can go through a blue and hit hit one behind it, which is huge. <clears throat> It's my favorite upgrade because it sounds so boring. It's like, wow, I get to pop one more balloon. Okay. But it's massive when the Buccaneer gets its damage from fire rate and having five grapes and one main attack. But when the grapes can pierce an extra shot, oh my god. That's for group damage, it's like buying a second Buccaneer for an 890, well, $900 upgrade, whatever it is. I've been playing balloons since I was a kid. Yeah. I got really into this game when I was younger, and that was nine years ago. I've not done any three. I've done like a few three-star uh, tiles, but I mean, this one's trying to clean up all the two-star tiles I have left. What kind of tile are you saying? Uh, the the two-star difficulty tiles. Oh, two star. That's very easy. Yeah, but I'm trying to clean those up, and then I actually I'm start doing the three star tiles. Yeah, go into your comfort zone. You can actually clear trivial tiles without having to beat them. So you can save a lot of time by branching out as far as you can comfortably play, and then just skipping the earlier tiles later on. I did not know that. Yeah. That's why I'm not even touching Moab tiles. 
There's a whole thing. Like, once you hit level 40, which is in the way off future, you can skip up to 220 XP tiles. You're gonna have to clear some tiles, but skipping as many as you can and just branch out. Go out into a straight line until you're hitting, like, I don't know what would stop you. Ceramics, pinks, whatever. Um, just go as far as you can until you can't, and then do those tiles. Best bows that mm. I can do bow for damage, you know, bow general. Yeah, Fodek, I understand. I just ask people to repeat. I'm being short with the Fortnite questions, because I don't want to talk about Fortnite. Unremarkable Squid wants you to pose for a photo. I am so dark right now, because it's so much brighter outside than it is in here. Alright, after this tile, I need to just get up, go get a food plan, and I'm not coming back until I have one. I get screen share my game if you want to put it on screen so there's nothing. Sure. So there's not nothing going on. I'll or... stream Aura's game. Or Emerald. Jeez. I'm being Bloons biased too. today. <laughs> Or is probably much farther than I am. You can just open. You can just open all three, and just let let them all play. Let people <laughs> watch whichever little one they want to watch. Can I do that all on one easy screen? Yeah. Uh, click click on everybody's. Like there, there's an eye. There's a little eye symbol next to people's streams, and you can watch multiple streams at once. Oh. But they can't all be big screen. Uh, they... You... Oh my lord have mercy, that was loud. Aura's screen share is going crazy. Yeah, Aura, your screen share is no good. What? It's black and... It's going black and... In and out. The whole screen's black. Which is very jarring. Uh, it's like your whole screen is winking at me. What was that? Is that better? Yes. No. No. What are the you hell? playing in full are you playing in full screen? Oh, that's probably it. No. Okay. Before, I don't know, he's probably not gonna unmute my stream, but let me turn off. There we go. How do I... Oh, there we go. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> so I can just leave it like this. That's perfect. That's cool. I might have that on a mm. side monitor. I think I'm just gonna watch you guys. That's actually a great way to game together, is if everybody just pulls open a stream and can see what's going on. I is my stream better, Archer, or still not? Uh no, it's still completely broken. What the fuck? Wow. I have found that with tech issues, getting as angry as possible always solves it quicker. Yay! Well done! Yay! Oh, no lives lost either. Easy. Unremarkable Squid wants to put the chat on only emotes mode for 30 seconds. Silo Bravo is Emotes open. only, huh? I do like Bloonstar Defense 6, one of my highest played games on Steam. Remove face cam temporarily. I would remove. Or your screen share is working now. Alerts. Oh, thank God. Yay! Don't thank yeah. God. Thank yourself. You did it. <laughs> this is part. Oh, that actually moves my face cam in a good spot. <laughs> I'm gonna leave this on a side monitor for myself. This is great. Emerald, your cursor is huge. Oh my gosh. 
Oh. Emerald bloomstones are... You can get money. Clearing tiles, collecting your farms, doing those quests. Oh, you're doing this? Oh, okay, then I'll do that. So, yeah. you see, before you fight, 140 plus? Uh, where? Oh, yeah, right yeah. there. Yeah, you get gold for those tiles. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. And No Lives Lost gives you bloomstones. And... You don't have monkey teams yet, but... No. But look, I got this little guy, an ice one. Just because I was like, oh, maybe. So, Boomerang's throwing an arc. So it's not good over here? Well, just pay attention to how it throws and try to place it in a way that makes sense. Aura's oh, up there, I... just not giving a fuck about lead balloons. Your other monkey would have reached. For another couple rounds. Nah, you're probably good. Lead on round five became a rule of thumb for me for a long time. Mm. I don't see the 160s on my map. Oh, you gotta be 124 to see the 160s. Gotta be the 124. What's this? Yeah, chat is always so calm until emote only happens, then people start spamming. It's great. <laughs> wow, this is cool. This is. See, I like to just keep up with it. Like, instead of just knowing we're all playing a game, it's nice to actually see what's happening. Especially when someone like Emerald has not grown up with these Bloons games. Exactly. It's nice to share the knowledge. Uh-oh. Ooh! Yay! So you might want to get sharp shots. Upgrade your towers. Oh, sharp shots? On like your dart. Guy right here? Yeah. Oh, and you got razor sharp. Trying to rush AZ-130 oh, and basically level 20, I make a progress. Yeah, the Spectre is really fun. Oh, your stream cut, Aura. You just, have to, you just have to click weird. the I again. It does that sometimes with Discord. It's weird. You didn't know Bloons existed until I started streaming them? Oh my god. Bloon Star Defense is so popular. I just like Monkey City because it's so different. Oh, Emerald. Oh. <laughs> right at the end. Okay, I can do it. I can do it though. Yeah, you can just go right into a different one. Go. Actually, before you cue that, the uh, volcano on the right. Your Anxie wants you or your oh, intelligent yeah? assistant to tell a joke or yeah, ask check it a out. trivia question. I'm scared. Okay. You should be. So these are extremely hard. No, I don't think you can do that one. Oh. Okay. But you can see the rewards if you just look at the rewards are really high. Uh, oh, nine wow. balloon stones is great. XP is good. I need those guys, huh? All right, I'll tell a joke and then I'll go secure a food plan here. This is stupid. What do you call two birds stuck together? Velcros. <laughs> Sorry. Unremarkable squid wants to put the chat on only emotes mode for 30 seconds. <laughs> Why did Kieran enable emote only? Because of the uh, uh the badge. <laughs> what did one boob say to another? If we don't get support, they'll think we're nuts. <laughs> That's not appropriate for a dad jokes book. Yeah. But it is funny. It's pretty funny. It is hella funny. I like it. Okay. Alright. I need food. Everybody uh, ask Laura about Bloon's questions. He knows everything. Uh, I am knowledgeable about Bloon's. Mainly Tower Defense 6. I don't really know much about Monkey City. I'm launching a nuke. That's what that's what's happening on my screen. Oh, that sounds fun. Uh, anyways, how's Jeff doing today? Chief, what? what? Oh, my launch chief got destroyed already. Ah, oh, I doctor. Hope everything went well. Did they make... 
There's no way they made it harder. Oh, I messed up. My fucking Wait, what happened? Uh, I didn't put the monkey in the right spot. Oh. Oh. Okay, there we go. I think we got it now. I didn't know we could put them at the top, like at the... It looks like a bridge. Oh, so the monkeys, like, go under the little bridge, and then they come out, and they just keep doing that. Oh. And then... Oh. And then when they get, like, up to the little... Uh, when they get past the last bridge, they'll either go to the bridge, or they'll go, like, to the top. Oh. Or do you black border in Blue and Tower Defense 6? Uh... I haven't really black ordered any, uh, any of the maps. Like, I've done a couple of the beginner maps, but I haven't really done, uh, that many. But I want to get more done, it's just... I'm lazy. I'm doing okay, how are you? I'm doing good. I think they buffed the damage that robots are doing to the launch chiefs, because... I can use dude, this is like a joke in the live servers, but why is this so abnormally difficult on the test servers? I'm glasses again, I need to find my own pair, old pair, so I can put on the strings on them to prevent them from flying off. Oh! I did not know. Okay. What does it mean when it says one remaining with the little thumbs up here? And the uh, that means something is done uh, building or an upgrade done and you need to claim it. Oh, so if you click you. on so if you click on like the little uh the thing, it'll take uh -huh. it'll take you to uh the thing that's upgrading or like the thing oh. that you need to click on. I got some hearts. Oh, Yes, I can store more money. Nice. Okay. Yeah. So okay. whenever you level up, you get uh, you get, you get uh, you obviously like get more stuff that you can place down in your city, and then uh, you also get more starting cast, which is really good, and you also get more hearts, which is, eh. But most of the, it seems like most of the time you just you don't want to take any damage at all, so don't really matter sometimes. At least that's how it feels oh, to me. Oh, okay. Let me see here. But I haven't really used a balloon stone yet, so I don't know really how good they are. I just know I need to use them. That would make me lots of things. There we go. Mine is so... Completely unorganized compared to beasts. It's crazy. Uh, so Emerald, um, I did notice something. Hmm. I think you're gonna want to get your other power towers placed down. What's that? You're to... so, so, so you know, whenever you uh click on, click on like one of your tiles that you have, you know the electric vault one. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. right here. Yeah. If you click that one, it'll show you like all the uh, power stuff. Uh, the top two you want to place down, but you have a banana farm, so you might want to place that down first because it's four tiles farm? and you have four tiles. Yeah, banana. One. Oh, okay. But I don't have more. I, I need two thousand, right, for that one. Uh, yeah, it shows the price. Right here. And I have yeah, seven fifty-seven, so... so I need to go do a few more tiles to get the money, or no? Uh, yeah, you should probably do a couple more tiles to get the money. Okay, Because you gotcha. always just want to have farms. Oh, okay, I'll do that, okay. I wasn't quite sure, okay. Because so more farms just means, uh, more farms just mean, uh, more money in general whenever you log on. Oh, cool, okay. I am all too familiar with, uh, getting new glasses. Like, the main issue is just trying to pick out a pair, because I want them to look good. Oh, yeah. Someone sounds like they have food plans. 
What are we talking about? Food glands and pairs of what? I said food. I said someone sounds like they have food plans. Oh. I'm talking about getting new pairs of glasses. Glasses. And yeah. <laughs> I have chocolate cake and. Oh shoot! Real food. Uh, hold on. Or here plans for food. Uh, I don't think he actually got actual food. At least that's how he's making it sound. <laughs> the most nerdy glasses I can get. Nice. Okay, I do not fucking know how this is going to work, though. So... Oh, gotta hope and pray. Hello, dear two. How are oh, you? Oh my god, I forgot how laggy this event is. 19 FPS, we are gaming. I need to wear glasses, but they hurt my head whenever I do. Oh. I'm back. That's right. Welcome back. Do you have food? I do. Yeah, actually, I don't like to wear my glasses. You know, Aura... I think that ninja could have had more coverage. How so? By placing it a little lower, it would have seen more of the track. Oh, yeah, probably. That's what I'm gonna do, chat. I'm just gonna critique this gameplay. Emerald, what do we talk about, boomerangs? I know. Try placing that other boomerang by the upper left dart monkey. If you put it... No, 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 no. Below the track. Keep going. No. On the left. Right here? On the left. By the dart monkey. You see the bend in the track? Yeah. So put it... right? No. The left dart monkey. Upper, yeah, see the bend in the track? Put it below the straight part on the... Yeah, right there. Nope. Oh, yeah. okay. So then if you put it on last, you see on the bottom there? It says first. Bottom of your screen. Right here. Yeah, click. Don't sell, yeah. See how it's shooting in an arc now? Oh, yeah. So that's making better use of that arc. Does Emerald sound broken for anyone else? She is having a bit of a robot going on. Yes. Interesting. I have Doritos because my meal wasn't healthy enough. Doritos are exactly what you want for a more healthy meal. Also, these, your com your computer's not lagging or the stream's not lagging. It, this, this event is legitimately running at 20 FPS. I believed that. No, no, no. Oh, I did it. Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. So I'm gonna do sharp shots right there. Okay. <laughs> Emerald's a robot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I think I can. I think I got him. Come on, come on. Okay. Ah, oh, Three streams, I appreciate it. Emerald, you're a robot. Yay! <laughs> oh, I am a robot. Yes, yeah, sorry. I go, I go in and out with my uh, headset thing in the bobber. Quite a bit. Doritos are vegetables. <laughs> Let's see, 
I need two thousand. I got right? Doritos, two hot dogs, and chocolate cake. A well balanced oh diet. Gosh. Okay, well, that huge thing that got leaked last night is real. That's interesting. Alright. So, last night, someone on a 4chan thread just dropped a picture and, like, nothing else. Says, that was it. If you they just dropped an internal roadmap for attack? what Epic has planned for Fortnite uh, for the rest of the year, and it, it, it's real. It's real. Wow. Oh. Now, the stuff about Save the World, that was in a completely different 4chan post by a completely different person, so it's it's fake. Also, I asked, and it is fake, so. A uh, sand attack, okay. Yeah, Emerald, no! Down here? Mm-hmm. Okay, that was my first intuition, but then I was like, mm. I see the circles and I'm like, oh, would it be best in the circles? But no, because it's boomerang, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, come on, because I really want to get this one. Uh, Give me money. Oh my lord, okay. I, I forget. That the people, the only people who really play on the public test server of 76 are like the diehard in game players, so we're all running super min max builds and we're just destroying everything in seconds. Oh, oh, right. That, okay. Oh, that took that... a while. Alright, do you want some notes? Sure. Yeah, uh, restart. Okay. So, you might uh -huh. want the spike factory at the bottom of that stretch. No, in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then, um, Ninja Monkey would probably do really well down there on either side. Uh, yeah. yeah. And then, of course, you want Seeking Shurikens, of course. Mm. And let it run. Mm. Kieran, I got hot dogs. I got cake. I got chips. I'm having a good American meal. That reminds me of going to the fair or something. America. 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 I love my frame rate jumping right back up. <laughs> Obviously, you're gonna want to upgrade that ninja, but you should probably put your towers down there. Mm. Wizard. You're gonna lose lives. Okay, okay, okay. That's all right. Just gotta be a little quicker. Where should I put this one? Like right here or down here a little bit more? Probably Speak right your here. food. I am cooking a lot of stuff right now. Speak your food. I am cooking a lot of stuff right now. Do you want me to say what I'm eating a third time? <laughs> <laughs> or is he right telling in everybody chat. in chat to say what they're eating? <laughs> I'm currently consuming my... uh chocolate protein powder in my recent drink EG cup. Mm -hmm. oh my god. <laughs> Aw, how cute. Oh, no, 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 no. Ragnar's using oh, okay. speech to text. So, what are you eating? Hot dogs, chips, and cake. I'm not saying it again. Yeah, you might want a ninja spam, or dart spam, or upgrade that spike factory. Mm. Emerald, we gotta work on these lives losing you're doing. The what? 
keep losing lives. Oh, I am? Whoops. <laughs> My game's not closing, so I'm just like happy as can be doing this. <laughs> yeah, if you donate, I'll tell you what I'm eating. Okay, let me see. 2010 and 200. Emerald, you might want to get that farm ASAP as possible. This right here, right? This uh this thingy right here? Yeah. I need that many more. 800 more monies. 770. You should yeah. clear some tiles. Oh, there's a treasure chest right there, Emerald. I'm scared to go in the jungle. Look what happened. Are you, oh, I but, see. No, don't do that. I see what's going to happen. Yeah, um, I made it that far, but then I was like... Well, go to the corner ones, then. This one? Yeah, click it. Oh, boy. All right. All right, a little early yeah. for those ones. All right. Something to work for. Well... Yeah. I'll do this one, maybe. Um. Yeah, sure. That one looks mm -hmm. good. Okay. I knew I could do that one. I think I spent too much money in them. How much? Well, if you're using Super Chats, YouTube likes to take 30% of that. For $3, I'll tell you what I'm eating. There you go. I'm expensive. <clears throat> hey, Audie. Bold of you to assume I'm a human or a streamer. Okay. I finished my finger foods. Time to eat cake with a fork while I pop the balloons. Not before I hydrate. Why are you acting like eating cake with a fork is like a weird thing? <laughs> Every time I use a fork, you guys just try to well, no, you, act like it's, it's a big deal. You, you use utensils on finger food. So it's Jesus like Jesus Christ, you can't be that greedy. No, that's right. All right, five dollars, and I'll tell you what I'm eating. Or when you eat pizza and you like chop it up like a steak. He does like pizza. He eats it with a fork, though. I eat pizza with a fork. I did not know that. No idea. Yeah. <laughs> But I eat it because I only eat the top part of it. I don't like, I can't eat the crust. I don't know why. I can eat the crust at the very end, but the below crust where all the toppings are on, I don't eat that part. Boss fight is going to happen on the server soon. Okay. Ooh. God fucking damn it. You know what? I better tell them that that's going on in case they don't know about that in that game. I'll be right back. Okay, two minutes till nuke goes off. I do want to go see a thing, though. Because I know the Vault 63 door got blasted off. Blasted its history. I'll never see it again. And I, like, the Vault 60, the door on Vault 63 got blasted off and is now just, like, here for some reason. <laughs> I made it all the way up here. That's an acting. Oh, nice. The right way to eat cake is with chopsticks. Okay. Give me a faster production.
Hopefully this round I can get the lightning bolt. This is NPC City. Oh, come on, you horse. You're so close. Nothing yet. I guess when they do the PTS next week, it'll... So, to explain what I'm doing on the game, uh, Bethesda puts new content on uh, a testing server on PC so players can, like, bug test and try out features before they go on the live servers. This... This... PTS, this public test server is exploring the new ex map expansion and um, and trying out two new events. And then next week's PTS is going to be all the story content. So all the all the crazy shit's going to be all the crazy lore is going to be in next week's. Or I think it's next week's. They said like soon. So if I eat a cake by licking it like a cat, is that the proper way? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? Ask the king. Ask, ask dead. Well said. It's time okay, for a boss fight. Wow. You just like capture Discord and then put it in the corner of your screen. I think I should. <laughs> I mean, you could. It would work. You're Look playing at all your bullet. me! Sorry. Well said. Mm. I'm gonna get this right here. City renovation was a bust. Yes, I'm back. I'm back from my disintegration. Still waiting on my money so I can tell you that I'm eating cake. Oh, shit. Alright. We gotta be greedy up front. That's what the village is for. Blue chippers banned! What? Alright. This is like the worst map for boats. Like, boats is preferred, but it's... Basically... You, you, you can't really use them. Yeah. They're not gonna do much. So, we get leads on round one. Yeah, I don't fuck around in the end game. I told you I'm broke, man. Hey, you're the one who offered to pay me to tell you what I'm eating, so I don't know why you're telling me you're broke. Hooray! I'm gonna beat this map with four lives left. That's fine. Hey, Wazzy, welcome. I definitely don't think you're supposed to eat cake with a chopsticks. You don't need... No lives lost in this, but I'll try to go for it anyway. Dude, I feel bad for people who invest in uh, Strangle Heart Power Armor. It's so ass and it's so expensive. That's what I always say. I lost lives. What the hell is this map? Oh. Mmm. He's on the windy forest tile. Milk first or the cereal? I put the bowl first, upside down, then I put the milk, then the cereal. I'm trying to figure out what the weak one is. 
Is it the back panel or the face? Wow. What? I like the bird. I love the phoenix. I want one. I lose money if I give up. Oh, maybe that I'm confused. Like up. If I retry, I'll lose money. I'm confused. I'm also confused. So if I just give up. I've never lost a monkey be monkey. Be monkey work. You send and receive attacks. No. Oh. Says some buildings have been damaged. I don't even know what that means. Are they these ones? Because like the I the thing is like I send attack, but it's just like nothing's happened. So I'm like. What the yeah, so that on? sends it to a player, and then they have to defend it at some point. And if they lose, like I did, you get a bunch of money. I think you lose money either way. Yeah, I think so. Because I'm pretty sure I've retried monkey attacks before. Where I'm like, oh, okay, that didn't work. Let me just try this again. And I, I didn't lose anything. This confused me too. It said some buildings have been damaged, but I see no evidence that anything is missing or broken. Uh, well, see, I've got videos on superchargers. I highly recommend checking them out. I'm trying to see what it looks like when a building gets damaged, but I don't see any evidence that anything happened. Oh! Tax shooter storage. Well, I guess there's the evidence. Weird. Okay. It's really inconvenient to look for if you have a big city like yours. Especially one that's not... Organized. Well, that was a bummer. All right. What was I working on? I was going up. Yes, I was doing these. DDT tile. Easy. Let's go. Hmm. <laughs> oh, that looks fun. You can see the tax shooter. See, this is where the game can get repetitive. Because now I'm playing the same map I played earlier with the same monkey teams that we've got going on as before. I'm just going to do the exact same strategy. I see no reason to change. What the bounty? Adi, I'm trying to do the monkey team, so I have to use certain towers. You're close, Emerald. Not yet. Ah, I know. I'm just watching her try that. to buy a banana farm. She wants a banana farm. So bad. More money. She's going to write a rap album. <laughs> oh, my banana farm. Like so fucking mad. Exactly. Whoa. Oh, that one just gives you wild cards. Okay. Ancient pack. Whoa. You got monkey tycoon. Collect them. Not like that. You gotta go slow so we can see. <laughs> How are you just opening an ancient pack all quietly over there? Those things are rare as hell. Oh. Wait, how did I even get this one? 
I'm trying to remember. Did you open up a chest? Oh, probably. Oh, yeah, that's why. I have so many wild cards right now. Yeah, Rado, you gotta upgrade your support. And save the world, support characters go a long way. It's raining right there. We know it rained in here, that's cool. Okay, we'll do this one. Yeah, it's kinda cool. The game has like light weather effects. Just a little storm cloud periodically. It's not a lot, but it's neat. Oh shit. I have a lot of money. I see. Um Do you got all your farms? Wow. Let's spend Aura's money. Mm. That is the most disorganized city I've ever This hurts to look at. Don't don't trust it. Please for the love of God. It's okay. Aura's is much more better than mine, right, Aura? So, go to the- yeah. Have you upgraded know, your windmills? Uh, I have not. Can you upgrade them? I can. Um... I don't know if that's worth it for you, honestly. It looks like you have about 600 power. Yeah, like, I have a lot of power left. Okay. Let's look at your main upgrades then. How are your ninjas looking? <clears throat> Ooh, double shot for sure. I know it's all your money, but that's like the most powerful upgrade. That and then Bloom Jitsu is incredible. Mm. Yeah, that's my recommendation. Well advised, yeah. That's one of the strongest upgrades you get early game. Because that is way cheaper than buying a second ninja, and it's a very powerful upgrade. After that, you're going to want to get distraction on that. Very oh, powerful. Oh, yeah, definitely. Because you're going to want the cross pass. Cross pass is always better than one path, as they say. Do they say that? I don't know. I was just spewing stuff out of my ass. Uh, I want to get Dragon's Breath, but I have to wait until level 15. Well, by then you'll have enough money for it. Oh, an air rescue. Hello there. One of your monkeys has a... Oh, what the heck? Oh, am I supposed to rescue all these engineers? Uh, Turns out my neighbor was doing a controlled burn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I smelled something burning BRB. Which is a great message from somebody in chat who you know is cooking. And then they come back moment like a while later. Never mind, false alarm. Look at these ceramics, it looks so cool. All synced up like that. That's just a money round, if you can handle it. They are actually cook- yes. When cooking becomes such a normalized term that... ...creating food with heat... ...becomes a pun. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's like, bro, they're cooking. <gasps> Literally, bro, they're cooking! Oh shit! Humor. <laughs> That's why I'm never gonna have kids. Because they're gonna get really cringy once they get on TikTok, and I just don't need that. Just don't let them on TikTok. Yeah. My neighbor's kids playing with kerosene. Yes, exactly. I'll use the fire breath in solidarity with Archer. With Aura. Too many A names. Too many A names. 
Was there a greet, everybody? I did miss it. I'll, I'll greet everybody who said hi. Uh, Bob, hi. Audi, hi. <clears throat> Shade, yo. You know, when somebody redeems a greet everybody in chat, you need to participate. That's not on me if two people say hi and I miss it. That's not my fault. It's your fault. You made me do this. <laughs> Freezy is I get called out for forgetting sometimes, and I'm like, I didn't forget shit. I didn't see it because you were all so quiet. I don't have kids because I don't want to give anyone else the burden of human conscience. Oh my god. Also, it's too much money. Squid, hello. Kieran, hello. Time to be hello. Shade's trying to get doubles. Greedy bastard. Springer, hello. White boy, Dylan, hello. Oh yeah, I should probably build something in game, huh? It's always really awkward to die with a ton of money. The worst feeling in uh, Tower Defense 6 is whenever, like, you just have uh, your monkeys, like, completely reset. And whenever you think you, you have your monkeys completely reset and you're just, like, looking at something else and you look back at the screen and it's like, Oh, you died! And you're dead, yeah. And then it's like, oh, now I have to spend a bunch of monkey money in order to continue because I don't want to redo this again. That's literally what just happened to me. I took a bite of cake, of Aura. Cake. Yep. <laughs> I took a bite of fucking cake and a DDT ran through my defense. I was literally just... I, I was literally talking about it, and then as I'm done talking, I look over to my side monitor, and I see that you died. That Every is... word you said synced up with it happening to me in real time. <laughs> oh, I can't get more perfect I took a that. bite of cake! I didn't even, like... Oh to those who might not know, DDTs are the... It? No! It? No, it wasn't, actually. Aww. It's a delicious cake, but I'll take 20 Bloonstones back over that bite of cake. <laughs> you are free, Engineers. Yeah, Engineers a great tower. He's doing that Engineer tile. <sighs> so it's cake, huh? You're right. out here offering to pay me to find out what I'm eating, but I said to the stream that it was cake, like, a lot. This was not a secret. What do you do, buddy? Do my a favor and hydrate. Very simple, very simple, <laughs> there is, so that's something I the massive nails that pop eight balloons at once. What the nailer? Fuck? I hardly know her. <laughs> but I've done it. <laughs> you know, the 20 balloon stones to continue is actually not that big of a hit. <clears throat> not that big of a hit with monkey teams, because. Because I'm getting about uh, 12 balloon stones per tile right now. So 20 because of a bite of cake is. Really not setting me back that much. I'll be fully refunded after this tie on the next. But my ego will be forever bruised. Not ego. <laughs> my... My trust in my defense will be forever bruised. I'm going to have a kid for many reasons, but one is the evolutionary purpose of me being alive. <laughs> so you need your life to have value from a kid being born. Is that what I'm getting? Yeah, Dylan, the, the continued support. Super appreciated. Gets you that nice looking badge. Oh, it's thundering now. This is so cool. Okay. And you know that DDT ran through? All I had to do were two things. One, remember it was a DDT tile. And two, oh. get camo on my village. That's the only thing I did to defend, was put camo on my village. That's all I had to do. Oh. 
What level are you in Ventures? Uh, Ventures isn't a thing in Bloons, so I'm not sure what you mean. Yeah, that's a thing with a big city is you, you click the little thumbs up to figure out where that is. And then you travel across the entire map slowly. All the way down. I thought I had lead taken care of, but apparently not. This is so close! How do I place a watermill? says river terrain. So you need the water, the river right here. It's kind of awkward, but yeah, it needs to be right on a river. It can be on the straightaway as well. I just like to put my boats there. Nice, Alan. Here is out here doing balloons with us. We got a whole a whole thing going on here. I got this on a side monitor, just ready. I'm just watching Aura and Emerald. Emerald's hard to watch. I don't think she's... I'm kind of clueless, but I'm learning. <laughs> but look, I got my little banana farm. You did get your little banana farm. That's true. What time is it in America? Yeah. Well, 3.59. I'm going right there. So I'm making progress. I feel like I'm... Yeah. Why not make it like aim assist? So it would correct us automatically. Oh, heroes. I've returned. Hello. Hey. I don't know. Why can't they just... Although she's an actual programmer, so she has a better idea of what these things take. All right, Emerald, are you looking at my stream? Oh, on two windows. Hold on. Let me bring up the bigger one. Yes, go. Look at how this boomer fires, all right? Watch. See how that arc gets utilized? Oh, yeah, yeah. So there you go. We've been trying to teach you how to place oh. boomerangs. This is the upgraded version, obviously. You can see it shoots a lot faster. And I feel like a boomerang on the lower tier is not so great, but once you get it upgraded, it's it's a real, real treat. You didn't hydrate? Oh my gosh. That's a good reminder. I'll hydrate. Not what I want. Mm, oh, okay, the I'm hydrate gonna... is meant to remind me to hydrate, so I suppose if I don't, then that defeats the purpose. Thank you for the reminder. You know what? I'll just I'll just refund all the hydrates in the recent history there. Did I ever gift Kara that stream loot spot? I don't think I did. I think they went ahead and bought some and then See this is why I don't claim the rewards when people redeem them because then I look at it two hours later and I'm like, oh yeah. Okay, there I sent them that. Hey, you ain't welcome back again. How close are you to number one? I don't know what that means. I've always been number one. <laughs> you are number one. Hey. What? I was making a reference. How old do I need to be to know that reference? Do you not remember the song, We Are Number One? No. Hey, Diggo's girl, welcome. Yeah, I found that two of these bionic boomers really uh, take care of a lot. Something that was changed in Bloons Star Defense 6 is that... The boomerang is only right-handed in this game. There are certain parts of the map, like this lower section right here, where a left-handed boomer would be so much better. But, alas, we are without. Is that gonna reach? With the village upgrade? I don't think so. What buildings are best to start with Monkey City? Oh my god. Um, dart monkeys, ninjas. Get the ninjas upgraded, get the dart monkeys upgraded. Spike factories are pretty strong. Get your boats going. Find the balloon chipper cave as quickly as you can. I do not see the names of the people in my stream, no. I mean, I see your usernames in the Twitch chat if you speak, but if you don't choose to participate in a Twitch stream, you are anonymous. There is a list of viewers, but I don't know if that's 
everybody or just people chatting? Getting, using Spike Factory is so much nicer in this game because you just have so much starting cash. Mm hmm Yeah, that gets bigger and bigger. Right now, I think I'm starting with 3,350 or something. It's ridiculous. I can start with a village and a farm, plus towers to defend. And there's some stuff you get later on, like monkey knowledge, and one of the prizes from those golden chests is a free dart monkey at the start of every game. Oh my god. And I got monkey knowledge and that chest, so I start with two free up. I, I start with two free dart monkeys. Wow. I I need that. I'm too used to tower defense sticks where I have my free dart monkey. It's really, really not that big of a deal, <laughs> but it's so nice anyway. I don't care. Even if my defense involves no dart monkeys, you gotta place it down. It's a free dart monkey. It's free. Free damage. Free damage, free defense, like, there's literally no downsides. Are all towers in- No, actually! The Bloon Chipper! The Bloon Chipper has been literally thrown in the trash in Bloon Star Defense 6. That new map, Scrapyard? In that map, they literally put the Bloon Chipper in a garbage can. Because they said, like, it's really overpowered, and it's impossible to balance. So they Wait, just what does the balloon chipper do. The balloon chipper sucks balloons in, and that includes a zero zero balloon chipper can suck in a ceramic and hold it there until it breaks. What the fuck? And the tier four upgrade on the left side sucks in Moabs, including ZOMGs. It's Jesus. really the balloon chipper. Okay, no one tower can just do everything, but like. I genuinely would say the Bloon Chipper is the best tower in the game. It is very good. So yeah, Bloon Chipper. And the Bloon Chipper is available. Once you guys get to your map, I can point it out to you. It's a special tile, you have to go and unlock it. Which is, again, one of the many things I love about Balloons Monkey City. It's not just about playing the game and getting upgrades. You have to, like, go and defeat the tile. It's neat. You have to go free the Balloon Chipper schematics. It's cute. I like it. Is there only two upgrades instead of three? Yes. I love it, because it's one of the older Balloons games. You know, there's a lot that's changed in six. But it's also familiar enough. And it's a good enough game on its own that it's just not even... It doesn't even feel wrong, you know? This game is so much different, but not in, like, a terrible way. Like, I recognize what most of the towers do. Although, Sniper is definitely not as good as it, good as it is in sex. <laughs> um... Sure. Sniper is so good in sex. But it is good. Yeah, Yoin. I like Monkey City. It's just simple fun. It's not a forever game. There's a pretty definite end. But... But I don't mind it. I mean, it kind of can be a forever game. Because... of Monkey v Monkey, and if you really like the city building aspect, which I do, that's there too. Yeah, it's definitely a relaxing game. That's part of why I got into it. So, the way this journey started for me was I was, uh, I was really in demand for just a really chill game. I wanted something that I could play at the end of the night when I'm on the call with the lady. I wanted a game that I could play when I didn't want to think too hard. Just wanted to clear some tiles and pop balloons with my monkeys. And then I remembered, back when I was a kid, I thought, man, Monkey City was so fucking awesome. I missed that game. Whatever happened to that? And I thought, well, nothing happened to it. And I thought, ooh, nothing did happen to it. I guess, Mon I guess BTD6 came out and everybody forgot about it, but like... 
I remembered it wasn't on Steam, so I went to Steam and I thought, did they ever, uh, ooh, they did. They did. They did fix that. So then I saw it was on Steam and I've been thinking about little else for the last three weeks. You can absolutely move buildings around. They have a whole city editor where you can take all your buildings off the map and relocate them. Hey, Mystics. So where's the shipper at? You shouldn't be throwing gasoline everywhere and lighting it on fire. You're supposed to have some kind of... <laughs> I'm worried about what it's going to do. Crazy neighbors, huh? All right, let's find a balloon chipper on your map here. I uh, scroll around. You're all you're all the way scrolled out, or that's good. Just just circle your map for me, quick. Oh, on the left. Left. That's the middle. Uh, it's a cave. Okay, right side, right side. Keep going. Um, go up, 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 up. Oh! Oh! It's right next to your wizard tower. Right above your wizard tower. That. Oh. It's been sitting right there. Oh. <laughs> You've also got the submarine and the heli in range, by the way. Like, literally next yeah. to your city. I should probably do those. How's that feel that you've got basically oh. the best tower in the game just right there? Emerald, you I'm want me to point it out? Ignoring it. Emerald, you might be muted. Yeah, what do I... Scroll oh, out. Am I? Scroll out. You, we okay. can hear you now. You still sound like a robot. Okay. Scroll out. Zoom, 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 zoom. Oh, there it is. Chipper's right next to your heli. She has so many volcanoes. God fucking damn it. This man. one? Yeah. No, right below it. Below it. This one right here, huh? That's, that's the balloon chipper. Oh, cool. She has so okay. many volcanoes. Volcanoes are some of the best in the entire game. They're a fun challenge, and they give you great rewards. Is there a max amount of tiles you can get? So each map is 60 by 50. Okay, I'm on my way over there. Uh, why don't Fiona did? Um, just check the timeline. She comes around annually. Yeah, I love the city building aspect, like I was saying. I, I really, really love the fact that this game is so... I don't know, so grounded. Like, every tower I place is rooted in a building on my map. Every upgrade I have was something I spent time on, money on... In-game money, people. In-game money. <laughs> I've spent $2 on this game total. That blows me away. I'm at like 150 hours played, something like that, and, or 141.5, sorry, and it just is shocking to me how much fun you can have from a free game. It's the same feeling I had from Ant Legion, the sponsor of the stream, if you guys want to check it out. I'll be checking that out later in the stream as well, playing Ant Legion. Um... That's a sponsor right now, so if you get to Queen level 5, that supports me directly. I'll be playing that maybe a couple hours before shop, I think. Maybe an hour or two. Hour one. Uh, hour or two, I guess, are the options. Yeah, paying attention is an excellent way to be alive. I'm aware. Yeah. I don't want to tell you how to not die or anything, but paying attention helps. Look at those ice shards putting in work! Ow! Goddamn! Cluster <laughs> chaos! Yeah, I got four boomers. I wasn't fucking around. I know what cluster chaos means. I think in this case, it means death. Okay, let's... Oh, your freezy guy will get him, huh? Yes. Look at those ice shards just chunking. Putting in work! Oh, that was a good one! Yeah, they're not the most consistent thing in the world, but they are very powerful when they trigger. Man, these boomers are barely hanging on. Monkey Ford helps a lot, because that'll help them pierce an extra tile. Or an extra balloon. So that's good. Alright, 
Absolute Zero can slow that Moem. Now we're moving. I don't want to say cooking anymore because the kids made it weird. Motherfucker. Oh, yeah. I didn't mean to exit out of that. Oh, no. So not every not every one of those challenge tiles is going to be immediately possible, but you know, just letting you know there are good rewards there once you can do it. Something you can work on, look forward to. Some of those challenge tiles really messed me up. So I just kept like coming back to them periodically. Well, it's strange because I'm having like an easy, I'm having like, it seems pretty doable and then uh, just out of nowhere, the balloons just start coming in hot. Right? Yeah, that's, that's why this game really demands your attention. I hate that cooking is become a slang word because I love to bake and cook. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna use bake. What's like a different synonym for cooking that's like technically accurate? I'm just out here caramelizing. It's no big deal. Just caramelizing my meat, sizzling my dogs. Mm -hmm. Although grilling. <laughs> just grilling in my oven. People are gonna be like, what? Or maybe just steal, like... Here, British people always have weird ones. British word for cooking. Cookery? cook -a ring okay. Grub, nosh, scran. I'm learning words. Hunky-dory is a British slang. Hunky-dory. <laughs> the ice monkey was not Oh, that totally... Makes me want to do the cards to have you fucking different accent now. <laughs> I'm a hundred percent going to say I'm grilling in my oven. <laughs> you can have it. You can have it. <laughs> a new a new slang has been coined. There we go. Yes. Progress, people. Let's take the internet by storm. We also say roasting. Interesting, because roasting is a specific thing by I, by my understanding. Can that just be a synonym for cooking in general? Oh, there are DDTs. Look at me paying attention. No cake for me. Look at that. I caught a DDT. Yeah, I pay attention. You know, I look at my game periodically. It's what I do. I'm a gamer. It's fucking impressive, dude. God damn. Fuck <laughs> Okay, let's see. I don't know if I can do this one, but I'm gonna try it. I wanna get my wizard down. DDTs always fuck. Yeah, DDTs, you gotta be ready for them. And I was. I left that village upgrade just right on the edge. I was edging that upgrade just so that I could bite if I need it. Wow, I got a bounty card and I got very excited and then it was Bloomstones. <sighs> it's not what I was hoping for. We'll try this tile on a different occasion. We say Kana Banana for cooking. Huh. I don't know why I got so unfocused for a second. It's like I forgot what I was doing here. Oh, here we go. Another round of desert tiles. Like I said, this is where the game could get really repetitive. Once you're doing the same type of tile over and over. So I might have to do myself a favor and stop doing desert tiles. Like, yeah, it synergizes with the boomerang really well. If boomerang is part of your monkey team, it makes sense. It makes sense. But on a 
on a counter argument, I am bored. So, you know, how about that? So yeah, just gotta keep this game interesting for yourself when you get to these little areas. Like, Emerald's right now playing one of my favorite maps in the entire game. This one right here. Yeah, I love that one. Because that circle, if you place it right, yeah. is the perfect radius for a boosted arctic wind. You do not have that tower at all, but... No. Late game, that is a very fun map, because it's it's just the exact size for an arctic wind to freeze everything on the map. <laughs> it's... So, I want to go do that right now, oh. actually. I'm going to go play that exact tile. If I can find it, if I have any mountains nearby, I'm going to go find that tile. Now, you can replay any map you've played once, but... Oh, you can't? I didn't know that. Yeah, so there's a there's like a my track section in the menu. You do get a little bit of money for it, but you don't get the blue and stones or the XP or the land. The land is huge, by the way. When you're trying to build buildings and increase your monkey army, you do you literally need the land, which is, you know, you'll see a lot of times in the future you want to build your extra farm or another super monkey because those are two by two, and you just don't have the room. And that's doubly yeah. important because the fastest way to upgrade you two, Aura, Emerald, looking at you two, the fastest way to upgrade is to build buildings. So just spam okay. dart monkey buildings, tack shooters, snipers, bombs, ice, glue, mm. all these things. Got that, Aura? Uh huh. Okay. I'm on my way. Yeah, this game with Bloom Star Defense 6 mechanics would be so fucking sweet. I know they don't have any plans for it officially. They've stated that they're not, not really looking to do that, but... That does not stop me from wanting it. <laughs> I feel like I'm talking to save the world players, though. So yeah, I know Epic said they never do it. I still want it, though. It's like, okay, all right, well, all right, settle down. But I'm not reasonably expecting us to ever get another Bloons game. Bloons Monkey City type game, I should say. Oh, Emerald, we already talked about this. I know, I'm just trying to hurry it up because it's the last one. I'm like, okay, I don't want to lose anything if it comes around this one. I'm like, please, no! You keep losing lives on the last wave. I know. Did I get that one? I did get that one, though. Yay! So that's why... I gotta watch you play that one, though. Well, you're not gonna learn anything from me. I just start with too much money. I can build half my defense to start. Oh, look it, I got thumbs up. Yeah, okay, so right there. Um, let's yeah. let's get you leveled up. So look what you're doing. So all those extra tiles there, uh, just go to build on those, those open pieces of land. Oh, right here. Yeah, you can click on them as well. So just drag the dart monkeys in. Or the sniper. Oh, right here? Yeah, just do seven dart monkeys real quick. Yep. Just put them down. And I have electricity. I now win the game. Woo! Wait, electricity is what counts? No, he's talking about the lightning upgrade on the wizard. Oh. There you go. So I each of these, when they finish building, Emerald is going to give you 50 uh -huh. XP. Oh. The farm goes up to like 500. You don't need to collect it every time. So keep placing, you can place two more. You could do dart or ninja or whatever, it doesn't need to be dart, just darts cheaper. Uh-huh, so you built all of them you can, and I think you are out of cash. But if you click on your purple bar at the top... Yeah, 900 XP. So you just got 350 XP by placing a bunch of darts. They'll finish in a second, but... So the fastest way to level up is to spam buildings as much as you can. Could you beat a game with one monkey? Um... No. No, I couldn't. This game is just, uh... Too well balanced. 
Oh, I sat my chair back. That's what I needed. My back's been like tightening up all day and I don't know why. Turned out I was at a bad angle. It's always a funny feeling because I have a really nice chair and I always feel like if I'm uncomfortable, it's not the chair's fault. I must be sitting weird and that's what it was. Yes. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> oh, there we go. How much BR have you played? Oh, that was 13 minutes ago. Does he still care? Probably. I've played like, I don't know, a thousand hours of BR. Like, I don't think people generally even know how much Battle Royale I used to play. Because it was a lot. Like, I don't think people would even realize. Like, a lot of my subscribers, followers, they just see me as a save, a save the world guy. This season, I've played like two hours. But in total, it's been a lot. I used to be a Battle Royale streamer. I used to do 10 hours a day every day. I was streaming about 270 hours a month, Battle Royale. Holy cow. So... That's a lot. Yeah. My sleep was so fucked that I, I was streaming 10 hours a day every day, but I only slept like 27 times in a 30 day month. Because <laughs> I was staying up so much. Yeah. So, there you go. Ah, oh, this is what I mean by boring. Like, I am not innovating here at all. I am just placing, not exactly, but pretty much the same towers I've been placing uh, in the same spots as well. Ain't no way. Yeah. I should find my Twitch analytics. Show. Okay, I wasn't sure I placed my lucky backwards, but I did okay. I still won. <laughs> what is she? What are you laughing about? The, the map before this, I put like three monkeys, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna do good. But I placed them on the exit! <laughs> but I still won, I still won. <laughs> Not where the balloons first come out, but where they go to. I was like, okay, that's totally an emerald move. <laughs> well, from March 2018 to March 2019. Uh, no, I got in about January. So if I do January 1st, 2018 to the end of 2019, I guess. It says I streamed 2,800 hours. So that's about 1,400 hours a year. About 100 hours a month. So I, I took some breaks in there. Anyway. Going that going that far in analytics, I don't get complete values, so I won't even show them, but... Yeah, I really did. I My average stream length. I used to be, like, a silly guy about it. Can you imagine me teasing someone? But I, I used to... 
have a running thing where like I I wouldn't consider it a full stream if it wasn't eight hours, and I meant that. <laughs> like it wasn't a real stream if it wasn't eight hours. You're watching somebody play six and Monkey City. Fun. Did that guy submit any more ban appeals? I don't know. The last update I got was three, and he got himself banned on my YouTube chat as well. He started commenting videos like, how many times do I have to bring up the unban before it ha- So I banned him. You know, it's always an interesting strategy from children, mostly. Like, they get banned for what I consider to be, honestly, pretty good reasons. And then they... They choose to be so annoying about it that I... That they end up getting banned on my YouTube channel as well. Look, everybody, I was ready for the DDTs this time. Yep, Pretty you strong. just hide people. Yeah, so YouTube bans are really sneaky. Because people don't know they're banned. It's called a shadow ban. So... Yeah, that's it, actually. A lot of people I ban, they don't really know they're banned. And I don't like that, honestly. I think it- I don't like the idea of somebody just sending their messages into the void, not knowing nobody will ever see them. But it probably needs to be that way. Because if people could see when they were banned, they would make a new account so fucking fast. But by not knowing they're banned, they can just continue to spew their nonsense or hate just into nothing. It doesn't get filtered, I don't see it, nobody ever sees it. But it'll show on their client side. So when you're banned from a channel, you won't be told you're banned, but you'll be able to see your messages go through on your end. But if you sign out and refresh, you'd never see your own message. So there you go, little insight. Never been banned. I got banned uh, once. There's a Minecraft YouTuber who clickbaited regularly, and I let him know it. Just straight up lies, and I was a Minecraft expert, and I would fucking tell him. It's like... He'd make a video about a Minecraft elevator going as fast as it was, and I was like, that's not possible. And then he'd be like, I measured it in my editing, and then he'd send a smiley face, and I'm like, you're a fucking idiot, because editing isn't helpful here. You're recording in 30 FPS, and we're tracking something that's happening 40 times a second, so obviously there's going to be a discrepancy. He was annoying, but he stopped posting videos, so it made me very happy. <laughs> <laughs> made me very, very happy. Alright, I want to go find that ice tile. No, that was just a hook. I don't think I've played that one yet. But I was so frustrated at that guy. Eventually, I was like, is he even seeing my messages? And then I refreshed and he, nope. I'm not a fan of clickbaiters. Like, I get it. As a YouTuber, you need things to be sensational. I totally clickbait my videos all the time. But there's a difference between making a video look exciting and f just lying. <laughs> he was lying. He'd say, fastest sheep farm ever, and then it'd be a speed that was slower than the one I just posted two weeks ago. And it's like, all right, well, that's not the fastest ever. You need to take that out of your title. And he'd say, nothing. He just banned me. All right, Emerald, look at this. This is one of the, okay, this is one of the best maps for Boomerang in the entire game. That entire twist in the middle is taken full advantage of. It's so nice. Okay, when it's only red balloons, I can't really demonstrate, but... You'll see it. Look, 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 look at that. And then it also so catches it on this me. arc. So this arc, oh, wow. this arc follows the glaive and then it hits this area too. Oh. I'll wait for more balloons and we can all see it together. I have so many volcanoes on my map, good lord. I am extremely jealous. Together. You've got more volcanoes in that stretch than my entire map, I counted. No way. Oh, that's cool. So you can see, I'm already on round three. Like this, okay, this, these are easy rounds, but this will just take care of it. 
How to make YouTube comment or stream because I know I'm not very entertaining nor talk fluently. You know, Squid, those are two excellent reasons not to make videos, you know. <laughs> that's like somebody saying, you know, I don't sing because uh, I don't sing well and I don't sound good. It's like, alright, well that's... Probably a good reason not to sing. Um, that's very understandable. You're very self-aware. That's very mature. Uh... <laughs> You know, I don't want to be a YouTuber because I've never wanted to, and I don't think I'd be good at it. All right, well, those, those are... That's not what he said, but I think it'd be funny if somebody said that. You gotta want to. You gotta just enjoy it. That's why I'm streaming balloons right now. From a business perspective, this is a waste of time. But as a human on this earth who likes balloons, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. He is a human being. God also, God. Fallen, welcome. I'm a human being who's three minutes late to a message. Yeah, I think some of this arc is a little wasted on the boomerang, but... Oh, this will be a good example. There we go. Look at it go, man. And then it gets it on the return. Not perfect. I have to use some spikes, but... It does a good job. Five rounds with the one tower. So, I think I'll just do another one. And then I'll be getting ice towers soon enough. When I was younger... Oh, let me just catch up. Yeah, I am human. I know, it's hard to tell. You called somebody bald. And you got banned. I'm, I'm sure there was more to it than that. I see your messages, Orbit. I got banned once for calling a streamer a gay boy as a joke. Yeah, that's, that's a good ban. I mean, context is everything. I have to imagine, I could not dream that you said that one thing on its own and that alone was the ban. That, I couldn't believe that, but. Unavoidable, I don't know why the command is a little slow on YouTube. I'll drop it over there if you want to check it out. I definitely appreciate it. I think it's also in the description of the stream, but if you guys check out Ant Legion, the links in chat, uh, it's free to play, mobile only. And if you get the, the the stretch goals over here as well, I get uh, direct benefit from that. If you get the orange ant as well, um, that's the, the, the biggest thing you can do for me. But just getting the queen level 5 is super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Fun game where you get to control some ants. You use an Android emulator for Ant Legion? No, I use my... F oh, can you use? Uh, I won't get any credit if you do. It does have to be a mobile link. That link will go to whatever app store you use. Look at these boomerangs, man. They're just putting in work. <laughs> I don't think I've gotten banned on a streaming platform. One of my alt accounts got banned, though. I don't know if I've ever been banned in a Twitch chat, but it doesn't matter. I don't keep track of these things. I have been on a... I have. Oh, yeah, Archer? Tell the story. I don't want to name names because it's people who hate us, but I've been banned just for associating. All with, right. Uh, yeah. Those don't count. It's like, I go to that person's chat just to see what's up. It's like, you cannot chat here. You you are banned. It's like, what? You've never been a cow banned, but I've been banned in chats. My biggest ban was in Discord. Hmm. Why did I misclick? Yeah, I was hanging on to all that money for so long because I just figured... Just oh, figured I would need camo at some point. You can see why this is my favorite map though, right? Like, it's so satisfying. Oh, yeah. The boomerang is such I... a strong start. The ice shard I does so well. I love the lightning and the wizard. Yeah. Oh, it's so nice. You should try to do the monkey team, Zora, if you can. You'll get extra bloom stones for every round. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, that's where, oh, like... Sure. I don't think I've been banned for being who I am? But... I've definitely... I wouldn't be surprised. But... People get hateful, so... I've been timed out for no reason, but... 
again. Actually, I couldn't name names if I tried because I don't remember who it was. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm going to raid that person again because I never committed their name to memory. Look at this range, Emerald. This is what I'm talking about. Hey, I know. I'm like... This Arctic wind just covers all of the... I wish it could get down here, but this is fine. I'll bet, honestly, oh it freezes with the middle of the bloom. So if I put the Arctic wind, like, here, it might clip that bottom section. I'm gonna get Viral Frost just because I can. So that's when a balloon is frozen. It will freeze other balloons that get into it. You can see that line of white down there. Now, usually a wow. line of white just means a bunch of happy customers, but these are all just frozen ones. Look how impossible it is for them to advance. Whoa, what the fuck? Uh-oh. That's a Moab. All right, I'm not, I'm not wasting any time. Okay, all right, time to actually play, I guess. I didn't even road spike that. Like, that was so many ceramics, there's nothing I can do. Okay. That was cool. Yeah, that part where I died was so fucking sick. <laughs> I fucking love that. I know dude. you're gonna beat it this time. That's why. <laughs> See, that's the luxury of grinding these balloon stones with monkey teams, is I can just get hypnotized by my own defense and then fail randomly. And just not have to restart. Because I value my time and the land far more than balloon stones. So, I just want to clear the tile. No matter the expense. If I could spend 20 bloom stones to just insta beat every single tile on the map, oh my god, I would do that as much as I could. How many bloom stones do you even have? 893. God wow. damn. Yeah, that's crazy. W. Matteo, he already tore his calf muscle. Maddie went back to working out. Sounds like he's going a little hard in the paint. <laughs> well, Maddie, how about you uh, enter lazy gamer status and play balloons with us? We got a Discord call. Just everybody's streaming their game. I guess I'm not, but I'm on Twitch, so there you go. My stream comes with ads. <laughs> Oh my god, all of these have been outside of the range of the village. I'm a fucking idiot. Okay, whoops. I wasn't even paying attention. So I bought the MIB here just so they can all reach closer. I have work to do, but I might hop in. What kind of work do you have to do? What does that even mean? You a working man? What does Matteo do? What's a day in the life of a Matteo? I'm preparing 3D printing projects for a card show coming up. I have lots of questions. Do you mean a car show or, or a card show? What is a card show? What are you 3D printing? That's kind of cool, actually. And are you going to be in voice while you do it? See, look. I'm just out here watching Archer be AFK as usual. Watching Aura buy shit. Emerald is trying to get her first No Lives Lost. Struggling. Card like Pokemon cards. Wow. That's actually pretty sweet. You know, this is actually the easiest. Like, this is the lowest difficulty tile I've played all day. I was so lazy earlier thinking there was no possible way I would lose lives and then I actually did. I might not defend these UMGs. Oh my god. Now nah, we're good. Ice shards is gonna kick in and put in work. Right? God damn, right? Work. Okay. We're good. <laughs> Those boomers have a lot of peers. See? The second I am able to, I am unlocking Dragon's Breath on the Wizard. It's very satisfying. I should do that tile again. <laughs> if I can find it. Mm. Mm. 
Wish you could see what map it was without having to double click. There we go. I'm gaming. Big stretch. So what's your purpose there, Matteo? Are you just showing off your cards? Are you looking to meet fellow cardboard pushers? Are you there to sell? Hmm? Meet the ladies? Well, fight over the lady? I thought that was pretty fun. I imagine there'd be one lady at a convention like that. Be one girl who's a Pokemon nerd. Got that Pikachu backpack. With Asa, and he wants a sell sells cards. Wants me to. There's a cat named Manny. So what do you 3D print? <laughs> Archer is currently playing oh. with a cat in Fallout. His name is Manny. I didn't even know he was here. This He's level five. Well, should be an easy kill. Okay. Pokemon models, like figurines. Oh shit. Are you gonna make me a Milotic one? <laughs> He's calling it snake food. <laughs> who's Asa? I don't know who that is. Uh Errol, what are you doing? I was trying to look up what I should do next, but yeah. I was, didn't know what to do. <laughs> look up what to what do, do you, next? Yeah, like what should you do like when they get away, but there's nothing for that. Cause I didn't want to ask you while you were talking. Place more towers. Are you trying not to lose lives? More towers? Okay. No, I'm okay with losing lives because I, I know I'll be okay. But I just didn't know what to do next because I've already, I couldn't do any more of these ones up here because I put them all down. So it's okay for me to do these next, right? Or should I skip up to the higher ones? Like the ninja or the boomerang Ninjas ones? are thought... really powerful towers. So okay. they're worth investing in, in my opinion. And okay. proportionally, they're the same as the dart monkey. They're twice as expensive, but they give twice as much XP. Look. 100 XP, you can see, oh. and the darks give you 50. Ninjas are very okay. strong. I think ninjas are the strongest tower in this game. No, I'll say they're the best. I know they're not the strongest. Everybody knows the Vengeful Sun Temple is the best. <laughs> but in terms of, like, price to performance, ninjas are really, really good. They have camo instantly. They can seek... With the upgrade. Why does she sound like a robot? I don't know. We keep telling her, but she won't fix it because she hates us, so. <laughs> Do I still sound like a robot? It comes and goes. It's really weird. Huh. 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 Oh, God, no. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, don't get me started. I could have a whole conversation for an hour like that. Uh-huh. What is this one? Uh -huh. <laughs> Admiral, I think we need to work on your villager. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but I intentionally do stuff, like, wrong, because, like, with my kids and stuff, they just they just totally get bent out of shape when I do stuff wrong in the game. So oh, I, I think see. Pleasure in that. <laughs> Emerald, what have we talked about? What the fuck? What the fuck? I look away for two I seconds. I know. I put the wrong one down. <laughs> but I'm trying to do the beast method where you just put them all together and I put the wrong one there. I'm what doing that because of the monkey village. I know. I want a monkey village too, though. I want to play pretend. <laughs> Look at, but they're popping all the balloons. I'm doing okay. I figured I'm on green tiles. I'm safe. Well. You haven't played Monkey City in years? It's so good. Day. It's so good. Is there a max amount of towers you can have? Eventually, yes. I need to do a balloons tutorial. I mean, the game's like 12 years old. I didn't think anybody still needed tips. 
That is not where a boomerang... Boomerang shouldn't even be on this I map. I know. Okay. I know. <laughs> as long as you know... I'm so sad. I'm so sad. As long as you know... Look, it's my final round. Look at that. Not bad, right? But I saw that you were clustering them up, up so I just wanted to pretend I was... I was a professional gamer. So... You'll get there someday. I it's will, It's generally good to use the whole map, the way you've been doing, actually. But you, it, it's often better to upgrade certain towers higher than to spam more towers. Oh. Yeah. Go up. Oh, like a ninja dojo right on. Wow, that arctic wind just barely caught that. Mm, I don't know if that's going to clip down there. I don't think so. I tried to place my wind more efficiently, I'm what do you think? That way, like, because it freezes with the middle of the balloon, so it should barely work up there. Hmm. I think so. <laughs> I'm asking Emerald, because... Uh, I have faith in everything, huh? Yeah, <laughs> Balloon's expert. She'll just make me feel good no matter what. <laughs> oh, you nailed yeah. it! I totally know what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. I have complete faith that that thing you did will work. Yeah. Oh, you're going for a hard tile over there. Okay. Wait, wait. Um, I like to use a village just to upgrade the other villages. And then sometimes it stays cheaper. I don't know why. Oh, that's where they I go. will be back in a minute. He's okay. not coming back. Or is Aura one of those that doesn't come back? Aura, come back. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> no, he'll <laughs> probably come back. I just imagine like a really mean way to send a friend hints. It's like, oh, I'll be right back. You don't have to. Okay. And then just see what happens. What you expect to do? Oh, I love this fire ice. I love this monkey teams. I love it so much. Monkey teams is one of my favorite things in this game. Bro, you're still playing this game. I don't know how to respond to that. Was I supposed to stop by now? Yeah, I love... You, you actually get to learn a little bit of geometry just wiggling these towers in there. Just making my little hexagons. Yeah, I'll be making the daily. So I'll probably be playing balloons for... I don't know, another hour maybe. And then we'll do a little Ant Legion. I think that'd be good. Show you guys what the sponsored game's all about. And then... Daily video and I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Oh, those ice shards are so nice. You pop the first blimp and they all just fall. So satisfying. Is this Bloons Endurance? No. We're on round 29 of 33. This one will be over soon. But I was playing this specific tile just because Arctic Wind covers the whole thing. The Ice Shards do so well. The Boomerang synergizes really well. And this current Monkey Teams has all those towers I just mentioned. 
So it's just a really perfect map for this current monkey teams. We get absolute zero just to slow everything down. Because then I can pop it like that. And all the ZUMGs will go slower. Alright, Emerald, what did I tell you about upgrading towers? Oh, I haven't been there yet. I'm still doing the same one. I gotta upgrade something, right? I want well, to I mean, in-game. So, like, tap monkeys. on your dart monkeys. The one oh, without right the bandana, here? yeah. Oh! Give them sharp shots I so they can pierce that. more. Oh, there we go. Okay. Thanks for hanging out, Ragnar. Enjoy your... grilling. <laughs> You too, Fodic. Oh, they're all abandoning me, chat. They're all abandoning me. You're level 8. Oh, I leveled up. Yeah, see? Yes. Placing buildings. Yes. yes. Okay, so I should put like a water mill right here, right? You said water mill goes in the water. Yeah. Let's go. You yeah. typically want to build your power towers first. Water mills, windmills. Yeah, definitely get all of those down. Okay. Like, save up for it if you need to. Actually, you can build a windmill right now. Or another water... M Why does it... Oh, I see. No, you need money. Grab your farms. Oh, I need, like, 20. Huh? Your farm. Oh, you only have one oh, farm yeah. right now. That one, because that one's almost done. All right, well, you could wait Damn. a little bit for eight gold, or you could just put your windmill and go do another tile. I can stay if you saying abandoning. <laughs> well, you know, I'm streaming not Fortnite, so there's not as many people hanging out. If two of my most active chatters slip away, then I, it gets quiet in here. I need you guys. I need you and Emerald and Aura already fucked off. He made his... his <laughs> will clear. That's when he, like, steps back and he's like, huh? What? What did I do? I'm here. Dude, I think I'm gonna play this tile again. No, three in a row is too much. Ooh. What? That star one looks difficult. That one looks fun, though. The, this the one, the gems? One. Yeah. That's the hardest challenge tile one. in the game, in my opinion. Oh. Yeah. But you don't need to worry about that for a long time. I don't even need to worry about that. Seriously, the upgrade, the build... <laughs> The building that goes on that tile is 90,000 gold. <laughs> oh, wow. 90,000 gold. That's a lot. I'm not sure if your entire city has ever produced 990,000 gold. <laughs> no. So, and it's for an upgrade that is really strong, the Ray of Doom, but uh, yeah, here we go. A crystal fusion array. <laughs> Ah, I have returned. God damn it. Yay, you're back. You know, if you need to leave again, Aura, you can take as long as you need. <laughs> Just silence? <laughs> I thought, gee, I'll see what he does with that. And then nothing. Nothing is what you deserve. Hmm. All right, Emerald, I don't want you to lose any lives on this one. I'm dead because I can't even use my monkeys right here. Look at that. So I'm Yeah, dead. hills block your dart monkeys. Oh, yeah, I didn't know that one. I thought it was all grass and I was going to be good to go. It's really interesting how different the maps are for everybody because I did my first hill tile like two days ago. I just didn't have any hills nearby for a long time. Do you still love me even if I have the worst English in the entire planet? Well, first and foremost, I don't love you and I never have. I might someday, but we're not there yet. And two, your English has been fine. I've had no indication that your English is anything other than just fine. I have found that people often underestimate their own language skills. I get that firsthand a lot because the girlfriend's native Chinese speaker and... God, the amount of times I... She's great now. She totally gets it, but... For a long time, I had to, like... Assure her that her English was fine. <laughs> it's like, no, it's really good. I think it's cute, because she's, like, 97% fluent. But 
3% of the time, just throws in the cutest little errors that I just love. I'll tease her a little bit, because she was really, really tired. This is a rare mistake for her. I won't read the entire email, because it was super personal, but there was one little thing she said at the end that I just called out and thought was super fun. Oh, my goodness. I don't know if this is a typo. Again, I'm only picking on her because she was really tired, and this is not representative of how she normally talks, but she, um, she, was, she was commenting on her out-of-nowhere email, but she wrote out of no well email, like W-E-L-L. -L. And I just thought that was cute. <laughs> out of no well email. Um. She knows better, but when she's really tired, that was like 1.30 AM. She was having a thing. You should save up for your windmills, Emerald. So you see the blue? The windmill? Okay. Yeah, so look at the, the blue on the top left. Yeah. That's your city power. And if you go to build any other building, Go quick. Go to your normal monkeys. Where are your monkeys? This one right here? They got that lightning bolt. So they all cost energy oh. to build. It hasn't been a problem yet, and it won't be, but you got to focus on your windmills and water mills first to get ahead of that. Okay. So this is, this is like forever advice. You never grow out of this. You should always, always, always build your water and windmills first, as fast as you can. Okay, maybe okay. technically a farm is your top priority. Hey, there it is. But Yay. there you go. And you get some city gold for that, which is perfect because now you can buy a... Do you have another river tile? You don't. Okay, so how about you build a windmill? A windmill on the hilly tile, which is perfect. Again, you can just click on the map if you need buildings. There we go. Oh, right here? Yeah, you can just click Oh, there. I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. See, I was the opposite. I had to be taught that you could build them otherwise. I thought clicking on the map was so intuitive. So you might want to clear some river tiles while you can. Over here. If you can. Yeah, that looks easy enough. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. I won't have your ninjas, so good luck. But oh. those should always be your top priority towers, and later on you can upgrade them. It's expensive. Windmills are 2,500, water mills are 2,700, but you will need the power. Like right now, I am currently stuck. I I am only getting the power towers every other level. I physically could not build a building for a couple of days, actually. Because I had to level up to do so, which is... That's frustrating. Uh, I wasn't frustrated by it, but it was definitely a wall. So, you know... Obviously, later on in the game, you can't just spam dart monkeys and level up right away. Um, takes a bit more than that, but yeah, that yeah. just, that slowed me down, so. I tried doing my monkey team, but I don't think it's going to work for the current level that I am at. Well, it's worth considering. Uh, I find I'm currently doing a lot of deserts right now because I'm finding that the discounted boomerangs helps a lot. So. I don't know if I have any deserts locked. I don't think I do. Um, yeah, you just have to look at your map, see if you have any. If you don't, then, well, whatever. Oh, fuck. And I'll be... Okay. Go here. I got that one. Okay. I'm loving these cheaper boomerangs. She's from my neighbor country, nice. I don't know any of the countries around China. <laughs> I have a very traditional American education, which is that we are the only country and the rest don't matter in our school system. You know, I'm only half joking. Like, I'm really only half joking. Emerald, you were educated in America. Am I lying? No, that's pretty much true and it's barely making any moves to being anything other than that. I... We Very crammed silly. Asian countries for like one unit and then never came yeah. back. <laughs> yeah. We it's never came sad. back. Uh, I don't think they crammed like any... any units about Asian countries. 
We had yeah, a week for like Europe a, yeah. and a week for Asia when I was 11 and never came back. <laughs> other countries are mentioned. Like, obviously, we know there are other countries, but it's kind of like an afterthought. Yeah. The only That's time fortunate. other countries are brought up is when they're talking about, like, historical events. Because you have to be global history. So, like, they talk about the French Revolution, World War One, World War Two, Like, mm -hmm. all the stuff that, all the major events that have happened in global history, but you don't get, like, any, uh, geography. You don't, you don't or real-time stuff. Hmm. Pakistan? No. Yeah. Pakistan borders China. This is news to me. All right, hang on. Chinese map. Oh my god, Mongolia is right up there. That makes so much sense now. I keep hearing about Mongolia and China. He's just learning. Uh -huh. He's learning basic geography. Oh, India borders China? Nepal funny, is like, a country? Everything. European, they don't know, they don't learn anything about America, and America doesn't learn anything about Europe, and it's really funny. I don't think I've ever heard of Myanmar. Myanmar, they had a, uh, a military, it was like a military takeover of their government, like, a couple years ago. Is that why it says Burma in parentheses? No. Oh. It Burma is a, is another. I can't remember what why it's called Burma, but it's something important. That's a backwards N. Is that Russia? Yeah. Okay. Kazakhstan is way bigger than I thought. There's a Turkey and a Turkmenistan. Is that where Armenia is? Wow. Oh, that's too much knowledge. Back to balloons. That's what I'm saying. All right. Jaffe and I once did a video where we listed all the European maps. All the countries. There we go. I think half of our answers were Asian countries. And this was not a troll video. He and I are genuinely ignorant to the... <laughs> That's how you know I got a keeper, you know? Like, the amount of <sighs> about her ignorant boyfriend is just great. Like, she just lets me know nothing and <laughs> teaches me little. <laughs> I don't mean. <laughs> I know the flag of Nepal. I know that one. Oh, I don't even know that. It's like a little triangle. That's why I know about it, because it's one of those fun flags. I love this spot for the wizard. So much track. Oh, yeah, baby. Hey! Queen level 5, who is that? Was that out of Gaskar? Out of Gaskar. Out of Gaskar, yeah. I know about... Madagascar, but I don't know where the Outagascar part comes in. About the outer parts of Madagascar? I don't know. Just kidding. Maybe he'll explain it to me. I don't even know if that's true. China Pakistan border is. Have, don't well, talk to me in kilometers. Speak American. <laughs> that's another difference. That is so American right there. Just don't talk to me about metric system. <laughs> she. What the fuck is I wish we could just convert over to the metric system. She is Chinese oh, okay. and a practicing oh. scientist and refuses to use Fahrenheit. And it is a common topic. When I tell her how nice it is, she'll give me a blank stare. I'll be like, oh, it's like 70 out. She's like, I don't know what that means. I'm like, you are just. I want to fucking. I'm going to put this fist right. Onto my phone and translate this to Celsius, okay. She knows what she's doing. <laughs> she refuses to help me. It's like, I'm not gonna look that up. And I'm like, you are... something. <laughs> These things are fun. 
In America, the China-Pakistan border is 370 miles. Thank you. Thank you. I only know kilometers because of Pokemon, but my phone tracks so poorly that I haven't learned how long a kilometer is. Like two and a half miles, I think. Okay, that number means nothing to me. Like, if I started running in a straight line without instruments, I wouldn't know when I went a kilometer. Or a mile, for that matter. Maybe I should run more. I honestly think, oh, a mile is like just four times around that track, and then that's how I get in my head. Yeah. That's it. Thought about putting miles, but it's 370. Missed to being bullied because he's American. Americans can't be bullied. If an ant talks shit, is that bullying? Audio low, ready punch hello. What, you in? Speaking of ants, you guys should check out the game Ant Leash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your brother wasted all your channel points. I'll give the hydrate back since I just took a drink. And I'll give the greed point. There you go. I'll bet your brother's gonna be so fooled once you got all your points back. Oh, and I can upgrade my village because I just spent all my money on the the Brits actually started an American system, that's why it's called the Imperial System. The French made the metric system. Mm. So they forsook us. See there where you're playing Bloons Monkey City. Yeah, it's a great game! I'm- I surprised myself. I told the story earlier that I was looking for a game that was just really, really casual. And I remembered to the good old days when I was a kid. And... And I thought, oh! Oh, what happened to Bloons Monkey City? And then I thought, oh wait, nothing happened to it. It's the fucking, it's the internet. <laughs> so I, I looked up to see if it was on Steam yet, because I know I had checked years prior, and it was! It was on Steam! So I installed that shit right away. And this game is just as awesome as I remember it. As an adult, I'm better capable at making things more interesting for myself, so I haven't gotten bored of this game like I did when I was a kid. I did that thing all gamers do, where I optimized the fun out of balloons, and I had a strategy for every map. So now I follow- well, monkey teams didn't exist when I was a kid. This was nine years ago when I got into this game. So, now monkey teams exist, and I can get those extra balloon stones. It's such a fun game. So fun. I told him I was saving 10,000 I had you. Gotcha. He's getting knocked out. <laughs> so I've been doing this desert because of all the uh, bonuses. Regrow Rush of Death. That sounds fun. When I was a kid, I played Resident Evil and Conquer's Bad Fur Day, which was raunchy M-rated games for the N64. I did not know the N64 had raunchy games. Oh, Conquer's Bad? Yeah, it's a... yeah. Oh, I should just know it's all about that. You want to elaborate here, or...? You don't know- you don't know about the great mighty poo that's gonna throw a shit at you? Can't say I'm familiar, no. There's an actual boss in Conker's Bad Fur Day where he- where he sings a musical number about how he's the great mighty poo and he's gonna throw a shit at Whoa! you. Whoa! Emerald! Is that No Lives Lost yeah. I'm looking at right there? Yeah, you'll- yeah, you'll thank you. Wow, she's learning. Slowly but surely, slowly but surely. Yep. Well done. I had to take a screenshot. I'll probably lose it, but it's okay. No, you can't lose it. You got the balloon stones. No, no, no. I'll lose my screenshot. Oh. Yeah. You screenshotted that. Oh, okay. That was my first time. You know, yeah. that's very exciting. Yeah, I know. Just for me, though. <laughs> <laughs> but I put this little, like, shooter thingy right there because it just looks so cute, and I loved it. That was so cute. Well, tax shooter inside of a circle is usually a good idea. Oh, really? Okay, good. Well, it okay. shoots in eight directions. Okay. You can see it. Whoa! What yeah. the fuck? I glance over at her screen, and I'm just... Oh, no, sorry. I lived, but so many ceramics. 
You gotta take your own advice, buddy. And never look away from the game, apparently. Yeah. Yep. Oh, come on. Well, gonna fuck you up. Yeah, I think it was Dimension in Discord said Bloons Monkey City was mostly an idle game, and I was... I didn't say anything, but I was thinking, like... Uh, kind like of. You are mostly doing nothing in this game, but what you're doing is being prepared at any moment for a ceramic rush out of nowhere! You're on the edge like of your you, seat. What? I feel like you get addicted to something like Cookie Clicker. Uh, been there, done that. Beat it. Got bored. Game knows when you're not looking. Dude, that's so many times today! I glance away, ceramic rush. I eat a bite of cake, DDT. There have been other smaller moments, but... Man. Oh, this game is something. Alright, am I gonna be better prepared for this this time? Yeah, I mean, that was more than last wow. time. Is four the magic number? Plus the village buffs? Yeah, okay. I gave it attack speed and pierce, so now I shouldn't have to worry about it. But I'm gonna worry about it. Like Get that ice shard. About it is when it changes a little bit. Huh. You can't do much worse than this. I got my ice shard in place. That's when things get real comfy. Okay, unless the ice shard does nothing, in which case... Never mind. I hate that this one barely fits. Look at that! You could probably count the pixels. I... Yeah. I wasn't even trying to snuggle it in there. I was just watching it. Like... You could probably count the amount of pixels where that one fits. It's amazing. I hope this was intentional by the developers, because it's such a perfect little spot. And it actually has really good range. Like, it's not just a fun little gimmick, but like, it's actually a Oh! Oh, I didn't know you could place that one too! That was an accident! I let up on my mouse because I didn't think it would- WHAT?! That one could fit too?! What the fuck?! And these are excellent spots too! You could hardly design better coverage. Oh my gosh. Wow, that was so much fun. What a thrill ride. Not a single person in chat had any I excitement for that, but oh. I'm I'm happy. Do you see these ice? These ice shards? That's so perfect. Oh, they are. Yeah. Very in there. Good lord. Right? And it is almost literally it's not one pixel, but it is very nearly pixel perfect. Can't believe I'm not watching two seconds of Monkey City in a B stream. I'm not watching. I don't understand what that means. Can't believe I'm not watching two seconds. I don't know what that meant. I think they're referring to when you just get on the game and get your fines. Yeah, I, I let up on my mouse here because I didn't think it would place and I wanted to like l drop it down and then like nestle it in gently. Because that's what you can do. You can place it on a red spot and then go off to the side and you can get it really precise. That's what I was trying to do with the ice tower. I didn't think it'd just drop in like that. Okay, this is going to be a big deal. This is three ZOMGs, by the way. Wow. And they're just dead. Nice little leg spike from the ice shards, as per usual. I can't use the ice shards in contested territory because it tends to crash my game. Does that number on your cannon mean? Uh, that's how many I can place. 
I've only built a certain amount of buildings for each tower. So the number goes down until I'm out. Little Major, I'll drop the link in chat since YouTube likes to be slow. Ant Legion is a sponsor of the stream. If anybody wants to check it out, I highly appreciate it. I will be right back. There we go. Love those phoenixes. Yeah, the more you play, the more upgrades you eventually unlock, and it's... Very satisfying part of the process. Nice placement on the boomerang, Emerald. Thank you! Yeah! Back from the store, what'd you get? How many Zeong G's is that? Holy shit. They're gonna get eaten by the ice shard. Oh my god! I love ice shards so much! That would have been a scary amount of Zeong G's. Any other defense would have had a trouble with that. Not for ice shards. Soil, drinks, and one bag of chips. Soil. Wow. Well, are you gardening? Uh, Fodic, the fire one will do more of its damage to energy. So take 25% off the single target damage of the energy one. Like, if your energy one does 100,000 and the fire one does 75,000, they'll do the same amount of damage. So, multiply the damage from your energy one by 0.75. And if that's less than your fire one, then your fire one will be better. You do have a garden. And why have you never sent photos of this garden? So many ZOMGs again. God, that ice shard. 94,000 pops. I love it. I didn't ask about perks, Fodic. But that does make things... Interesting. You got two weapons with the same perks and ventures? Weird. Because it was winter for the past few months, so it was dead, but now it's slowly becoming. Alright. How are we going to get photos? I hate math. Take the damage of your energy copy, multiply it by 0.75. That's about as simple as that gets. I'm, I mean... So my only desert tiles remaining is a map that's a little too hard for me. This map right here is just, uh... It's just tricky. I don't... I know my current strategy with the ice shards and all would probably struggle, and I just feel like I, uh... And you can't move on the map, huh? You have to, like, make your way. Yeah, you either ignore that tile or do it later. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I'll come back to this with, like... Normal towers. Ray of Doom. Well, that's not part of the monkey teams, so... It would cost... All my bloom stones. More than my bloom stones to top up my city cash. Holy shit. Yeah, topping up city cash is almost never worth it. 
I've done it a few times, but it's so expensive. Trying to look for maps that synergize with a boomerang. Yes, energy and fire is what you said before. <laughs> That's what kicked off the whole conversation. Fodig, you're telling me so much information. I'm trying to answer the original question, actually. That's why I'm getting frustrated. <laughs> I want to know which one is better. Just send me the damage number of your energy and your fire copy, all right? I'll do the math. We'll talk about it together. Unless you already got it, in which case, well done. I'm going for the hard map, everybody. I'm going for the hard one. You know I like them hard. All right. Um. You know what? Let's get more than one. You know I like more than one. There we go. Yeah, you can see why a boomerang struggles with this map. They basically need to be on the left side, which is tough. Oh, I could do boomerangs over here, wizards over here, and then ice in the back. Shit, that might just work. I didn't got it because I already forgot the multiplication. Just send me a picture of your weapons. <laughs> That's all I need. That's all I crave in this world is a picture of your calculations. Oh, I love this game so much. I like challenging myself. I hate leaving empty desert tiles. That's why I'm facing this one. Like, it just rubbed me wrong ignoring these tiles. Like, oh, is the game too hard for you? Come on, come on. Oh, is this map not perfectly laid out for the tower you're using? It's nice to have a challenge. I don't know, Photo. Just ping me in Fortnite Save the World. Or if... You have a Prime sub, or if somebody gives you a sub, you can ping me in VIP. Although there haven't been many gift subs today, so... My day's been great, actually. I'm actually having a really good day. I think it helped me to just play some Blooms. A game I enjoy on stream. No minigun. Monkey teams, Maple. I don't know how many times I gotta say it. I don't know how many times I gotta say it. There's a bloomstone bonus for using wizards, ice, and boomers. Villages and farms are always allowed in monkey teams. This is why I hate this map. No! Okay, one leaked, but the egg thing protects me from no lies lost. So, I still got that bonus. Fuck! That's how this game be. Uh, let's just do... Yeah, pierce increase. Which is actually noticeable. The glaive started getting through with the pierce increase. So that egg thing was from the Easter event. And I love it. And I lost lives. God damn it. Well, I guess that makes things easy for me now. This is what happens when I don't use ice shards. You can see how much harder the game gets.
It actually upsets me just how much better ice shards are than like anything else. Because I feel like I have to use them then. It's like ice shards are way too strong to just not use. I don't get Monkey City at all. Modern knowledge is from 6 and 5. I understand. Well, monkey teams, like I said, you use certain towers, you get rewards. Bloomstones are like the major currency in this game outside of the city cash, and... Come on, ice shards. Come on, ice shards. Uh, did I realize something? I do not have a lot of desert top. Yeah, see, once you commit to letting yourself lose lives, things actually get a lot easier. Like, once I'm allowed to actually lose lives, then I don't have to worry about it at all. Like, when I spam fl uh, road spikes, I'm mostly just trying to not lose any lives at all so I can get that bloomstone bonus. But if I'm allowed to lose lives, then eh, fuck it. I can leak. I can leak 47 more. So that egg scrambler uh, is really, really nice because when I I did the Easter event, and when I lose a life, when a balloon gets to the end, what happens is instead of losing a life, it actually undoes one balloon, just the one. So that first balloon doesn't lose any lives, but then it triggers uh, an ability that increases the attack speed of everything. So it's a really useful thing to have, and I'm glad I got it. Busted my ass for it. I had to collect so many chocolates. That took a while. I wish I would have farmed in this game. Still can, I guess. I don't know if it's gonna make any money though. Yeah, fuck it. All right, that's all the greeting I'm gonna do. Two farms, little late, but maybe they'll do something for me. Maybe they'll do something for me. Right now, my ZOMG popping power is... pretty ineffective. You can see I'm barely getting BFBs down, so... You say ZOMG means ZOMG? Yeah. That is what they are called. Yeah, it's just I've never heard someone say ZOMG. It's ZOMG. Like 2010's humor. Yeah, I know. I know. It just feels weird to say Zomga or Ziom Ziomji Zomji. There's like a million ways you can pronounce it. A YouTuber I was watching a video on recently called them Zo My Gods, and I thought, wow, that's accurate, but weird for him to say the whole thing. I forgot. I got that uh, monkey knowledge that made my farms are supposed to give you 40, but I've got two different upgrades that come together for it to cost to give me 43 instead. Here we go. Got my ZOMG on God. Oh, you know what I should have done? Okay, I'm gonna do this right now. We're gonna sell a farm because I'm panicking. Absolute zero. Slow it down. There we go. Now I've got twice as much time to break those shells. Look at those ice shards putting in work, man. God. What? Wow. My dog. Downloading Monkey City right now. Looks fun. It really is. And it's free. Zoinks. Yeah, I should call them Zoinks. Zoinks! We got one coming right now here, Shaggy! <laughs> Look at that absolute zero. It's so much slower now. This is fast forwarded, by the way. You know. No, really. It's fast forwarded. Get it? Because he said get out like he couldn't believe it. Okay. Oh no, 
I'll be right back. Unfortunately, in this game, there is no ticker for how much money your farm is generated, so I have no idea how helpful that was, but... But it seems helpful. So, as soon as it starts taking damage, I'll slow it down. Man, that's such a crazy bonus. I love that. And then the ice shards are just way too powerful. Like, ice shards make me feel insecure because... This kind of defense only works because ice shards can just... Clap the balloons out of existence. So without ice shards, I don't... Know... With these towers and no ice shards, I'm not certain I would know what to do. <laughs> Ragged breath costs 12,000? Oh yeah, what that's not cheap. Fuck? And... And 36 hours. Jesus fucking Christ. I don't even know if my bank can hold that much. You know how to check? Yeah, you click onto your your XP bar. Seven thousand five hundred. So yeah, you're gonna have to upgrade some banks. I couldn't upload because my bad internet, and finally did. Oh, finally! I needed two number, one number, two numbers. Here we go. So we. <laughs> That's not the information I needed. Hmm? That's not the information I needed. Uh, I needed the bullet damage Zodic. Photic, sorry. I don't know why I threw a Z in there. All the Zomji talk fucked me up. I need the bullet damage. Why are there question marks in chat from people who know I'm streaming? Oh wow, I placed all my Dragon Breath. In solidarity with Aura. Once again. Yeah. <laughs> and that's not even what solidarity is. I'm using what he can't have. Solidarity would be not using it. <laughs> Dude, I love how the old Discord username system still works. I tell someone to add, add like, add Archer, hashtag 9341, and it still works. It, it, <laughs> I just, I keep telling people to do that, because it, it still works. There's no reason to tell people to add my username. I'm still a hater on the new system. You can you can tell people to add beast one two three four and it'll work. Mm hmm. Well, that was fun. Look at that, you guys. I was avoiding that map because I didn't think I could do it. I did lose lives, but I still got it. Am I already here? You got it, yeah. So these are all the special items you can get from those chests. Oh, let me see. So Ooh. you can hold extra cash. Your banana farms uh, can hold extra cash. Portable dart monkey is the free one you get. Extra 50 bucks at the beginning of the game and an extra 200 and they do stack together. So I get 250 extra gold or money per game. This is a huge one. Every tile I clear gives me 10% extra cash, which doesn't sound like much, but in the later game, they're like 900 cash per tile. That adds up so much. You know, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90. Do that 200 times, and that's 18,000 gold, I think. 90 times 200. Yeah. You can do a lot with 18,000 gold. That would fund his dragon's breath over there. So, lots of stuff. Um, do you just get to choose one, or do you get them all? Random. Oh. Yeah. 
So some of those are from specific tiles, like those fancy ones. But chests can either give you a special item or city cash. Oh, neat. Yeah, Fodic, the second page with the money, or with the damage, let me know. Or just send me the number. It's probably quicker. Finally downloaded thanks to your shitty internet. Yeah, see, even with shitty internet, this game is like 700 megabytes. You know what is also super small download is Ant Legion, link in chat. I'm going to do all these desert tiles now. I'm just going to do them all. No, 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 not this Yay. one. A hard one. Aww. What? What? You're going to do desert tiles, right? Yeah. Okay. okay. Sounds like a rewards cash back thing. Hey, Gano. We're doing great. We're out here popping balloons, being monkeys. Fora's being broke. Oh, I cannot do any of these walking. Got it. I love that, though. I love seeing a tile that I absolutely couldn't beat if I tried. I just see that as a challenge. It's like, okay, well, that's something to work towards. Well, I just took you power. three and a half hours to download Monkey City. How are you even watching oh. the stream with internet like that? You guys want to listen to this troubleshooting? I was trying to mess around with my account in Monkey City to figure out why my Steam wasn't connecting. And in the process, I had to re-download the game about 10 times. <laughs> what? Yeah, you can't log out in Monkey City. You have to go through a whole process. It's... You, you probably didn't have to reinstall the game, but you probably just had to delete a single file. I figured that out after, I don't know the number, maybe eight reinstalls. Eventually I was like, wait, they want me to delete this file and uninstall? I should only have to delete this file, right? I was right, yeah. But this was Ninja Kiwi had posted a guide on how to log out. No, actually in game, it tells you to uninstall and reinstall. So I just trusted them. I mean, if the developers tell me what to do, I just, it's their game, shit. <laughs> I believe you. Little did I know I should not have believed them. I love spamming all these basic boomers. You know, a bunch of zero zero boomers doesn't seem like it would do much, but... There are so many towers that are banned on this one. I'm gonna get the ice shards early. See if that does anything for me. <sighs> Whoa! Fuck out of here with all those camos. Oh my god, that actually got them all. <laughs> 185 hearts. I got them all. sure what to do. The ceramics are coming in hot. Fuck. Yeah, it's just alright, the ceramics. I'm just gonna restart. So, we have a little bit of camo. I really like villages. I really like them because they provide meaningful bonuses, meaningful buffs that you actually can enjoy. And 
and they make your entire defense 10 percent cheaper i mean that's just straight up the main problem is it's like i could get a second bionic boomer if i skip the village so early game it's a big expense but <sighs> But but I think it's worth it. So yeah, if I keep struggling, I'll just get rid of the village and go from there. Here are recommended for the pot shot build. There is no pot shot build. Pot shot doesn't need to load out. Uh, yeah, you and if you add me on Steam, that's fine. Almost level three, nice. Got no active power cells. The bug or feature? I have no fucking clue, dude. It's got to be a bug. We went through our entire defense without power cells either. I think they're just really rare. I think they reduced ammo because of the modifier and took. <laughs> Power cells with it, on purpose or otherwise. But of course, as we all know, that means you can't craft your melee. We ended up using random weapons the whole time. Almost failed. It was ventures, basically. Pretty much, yeah. We could craft our traps and little else. I love that, like, saw blade just stopping all the pinks. So satisfying. This is an important placement right here. Just so we can reach that right track as much as possible. Stuff likes to leak there. That's what he said. Man, I thought I could get that wizard up in time. I know pink snuck through last time. Yeah, I hate spending money on spikes for that, but... What are you gonna do? Share stream? Okay. Man... I want to just not lose lives. Hmm. Got an idea. It's here Anxi wants you or your intelligent assistant to tell oh, a joke a minute, or ask a trivia question. Wait, is this gonna, gonna be a new farm location? Please tell me. Please, Bethesda. That is a beaver. So the fire one is obsidian. Alright. So, we've got an energy... I, you, uh, okay. Doing a number so small. 44,863 to the head. Multiply that by 0. 0.75. And the fire one would have done slightly more. So the fire copy is better in a nature zone. I'm shocked that took as long as it did to figure out, but there you go. Oh my god. What? These enemies are so strong. <laughs> yeah, Bethesda finally 
So in 76, there's uh, the forest, the toxic valley, the savage divide, the mire, the cranberry bog, and the ash heap. And all of these, all of them have like recommended levels for like players to be when they go into them. But like once you hit level 100, nothing, like every everything is safe. But down here in the Shenandoah area, like every enemy is level 100 and it does like extra damage and some of the hardest enemies just spawn naturally down here and it's terrifying. That's exciting. They, they actually made a pretty difficult new area. I'm gonna try without the village. I'm gonna finally do it. Yeah, even being that low. Well, a 25% hit is huge. I think you're experiencing exactly why I always tell people not to use energy. It's just about never worth it. As I always say, if you're a new player, it can be worth it, but otherwise it's not. Didn't know how to kill that shit. Yeah, I don't know how either. I did tell you very clearly. Energy will do 75% less. I'm sorry. Energy will do 75% of its damage. So versus a fire target, your energy copy will just do times 0.75. I don't... <laughs> you know what? Hey. Some people struggle with math. I've had my moments. I've had my moments. Well done, J plays. I think you did great. Energy is universal. Yeah, energy is universal, but it's kind of worse. Now, versus a fig fig versus a physical target, your energy copy will do a lot more damage. So, Yeah. Now, generally, I'm comparing energy to... Oh, dude, how am I supposed to get a fire's breath? This is like a really early Moab tile. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. So in my mind, I feel like a Dragon's Breath would be good. Oh, that fucking got me. Photic had me going over to Discord so much that I was just used to checking it. Wow, my Discord fake ping got me. So this should hopefully stop the camo. I don't think I'm gonna make it to fire. Whirlwind's not that strong. Wow, that egg bonus just barely helped me survive. Maybe I will get fire. It's not over yet. It doesn't magically handle ceramics perfectly. Oh my God, I adjusted the screen size. Well, I'm okay with losing lives, but yeah. I think with this current monkey teams, I'm not sure that tile's possible. That's a bummer. The other one was so easy. What about the one right above it? So, physical's interesting. It's one you don't want to forget about because of certain game modes like Horde Mode, Storm King. There are times when physical is really, really what you want. Um, but that's rare. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out, Bob. Kieran redeemed a joke forever ago while I was struggling with this tile. You ready, Emerald? 
Yes. I could do this. I cannot do this one. This is not. Some of these are dumb. Gotta get you guys a smart one. My wife asked me today if I had seen the dog bowl. I said no, I didn't even know he could. <laughs> That's pretty good, huh, Archer? You get Archer's uh, heart with the kitty cat jokes, huh, Archer? Mm. <laughs> Oh, I'll do this one. Dude, these people are going like really. Oh my god, it's almost six. What the fuck? I'll be right back. You know when you're deep in a gaming session and you just don't look at the clock for a while? Maddie, hello! What up, Maddie? You know, considering what I went through last game, it reminds me just how brutal this game can be. Like, you don't get to see what's ahead, and then a tile will just be randomly really hard, even though there was no indication it was going to be like that. That's you every day. Like, I planned on playing Ant Legion at some point. I said, yeah, maybe one or two hours before shop. And then the last time I thought about that was 45 minutes ago, and now it's an hour before shop. <laughs> it's like freaking daylight savings just happened when I glanced away. See, this seems like it's going much easier, but this seems like the wave I'll hit a giant ceramic rush again. Oh. Or a bunch of camos. Uh oh. Let's watch Aura panic over camo leads. <laughs> wow, well done. That works. That did technically function. That's why I always like to keep a nice, healthy supply of road spikes on hand. Spike shack, super useful. You know, I always feel super bad panicking and spamming spikes, but it's so much better than losing. <laughs> I'm just saving up my money in this game. I don't know what I'm going to need it for. That's what, apparently. I got food. Yay. Yeah, physical is great for Storm King. I like it for Horde as well. Horde mode, I mean, you're going to be a little screwed for three waves, plus the crystals, but for most of Horde and Frost Knight, well, actually, no, Frost Knight has a lot of water, doesn't it? So, for most of Horde, you're not going to need... Honestly, it feels strange not having an Elements. Alchemist. Yeah, Alchemist is such a natural addition to the game. I know. It's so normal after you yeah. get really used to it it's like you just have an alchemist and a ninja and you can pretty much take care of any kind of balloons
Wow. Waiting for the game to tell me you can't go that way. <laughs> it hasn't told me yet. Well, fairing much, fairing much better on this one. See, last tile, same map, same supposed difficulty. But by last tile, at this time, I had already had a Moab and more camos. So I just don't, I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes they're randomly way harder than they feel like they should be. And then other times it's super easy, barely an inconvenience. There's a Moab. See, I like doing that, by the way. Just popping the Moab... ...with... ...with the road spikes. Because I have better ceramic... ...damage than Moab damage. And then Dragon Breath is really good at Moabs. And I got my arctic wind, everybody! Woo! Can I get a woo? Arctic wind. You have to do a certain amount before it allows you to use that in there, or what? Wait, I won't. Oh, this is a different one. I was like, oh, okay, I thought maybe you had to get like past a certain point for the arctic wind to be able to... No, that's an upgrade for the wizard. Uh, no, no, an upgrade for the okay. ice. It's a late game up like it's expensive, tier three. <laughs> Matteo's gonna boo me. Although Matteo on a white sheet would boo me. What is he gonna turn into a a ghost? I guess, you know. Madio in a white sheet could take over the the Ghostbusters city. You mean New York? Yeah. <laughs> Forgot the name. Gotta just spam these dragon breath wither wizards. They're like the best thing I have for Moab damage. That's outside of the range of the village, but I don't care. Ice, ice shard's too good. Yeah, ground powder is super strong. No, I actually didn't know what city. Ghostbusters is in. Um, Not a movie I'm very familiar with. Whoa. So, Aura, I might suggest some camo popping power. Okay. Oh, I might do this no lives lost. Never seen a Ghostbusters movie. Wow. Yeah, me neither. I'm sure I watched Ghostbusters as a kid, but I remember nothing. You want to see Anthony? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. After this game, after this game, we'll we'll swap over. Check it out. Check it out. Give her a gander. Quick peek -see. I hope this isn't a DDT tile. But I guess that's one of the joys of the end game is not really knowing what the hell is going to be thrown at you. Some tiles are labeled DDT, but all that means is there are more DDTs. DDTs can sneak in at any tile. It's 4 a.m. 
In the morning? I hate it when people do that. Oh. I caught that one. I should have slowed down that ZOMG way sooner. That's oh my god. This is oh my goodness. My goodness. Oh my god. Oh my god. Damn. Going ham. AM is in the morning. Yeah. People say that though. They'd be like, oh, it's like AM in the morning. Whatever AM in the morning time. It always makes me wince. Well, I guess this is my defense. I'm not getting a lot of money anymore. The amount of money you generate does trail off in the later rounds. After like mid 20s, late 20s. All right, slow it down. All right, you okay over there? Good stretch. Oh, he's stretching. Okay. It's going so well. He's getting bored. He's like, yeah, there's no way we could fail this one. Easy wave. Alright. Last wave. Staggered zoom G's. Wow. I love slowing them down because it effectively makes your towers twice as strong. They just get double the amount of time to damage them. So, yeah. One tile's barely possible, the next one's hardly an inconvenience. I don't get it. All right, what did I get? Ooh. What happened? You got another little one of those box thingies. The monkey knowledge. Oh, cool. That's what it's called. The monkey knowledge. Monkey knowledge packs. The monkey nice. chain. The monkey's fist. Oh, bloom crystal. The monkey. All right. I'll do this real quick. Archer, are you memeing about monkeys now? This is quote from, it's a scene from SpongeBob. Flying Dutchman. He's doing like rope knots and he goes, the monkey's paw. Oh. The monkey's fist. The monkey. <laughs> well, maybe I can get Ant Legion pulled up on me phone here. And my phone is done. Yay. Alright, I got Ant Legion loading up. Play that in a second. That's a kind of fun idea. I could put their streams open with like Ant Legion in front. That'd be kind of fun actually. So this is one of my favorite spots for the wizard right here. Because once you get the range upgrade on the village, it can hit so much of the surrounding track. And it looks like I got it perfectly timed, too. And 
Emerald and Ori, you guys seem to be liking balloons. Yes. <laughs> Although I did, I did open up the ant one, so I don't think I'm gonna win this one because I was. Are you being distracted? The ant game. Uh, yeah, I was. Sorry. <laughs> My bad balloon placement. What? I look like I'm... Oh, let me put this guy over here. Just in case. <laughs> Aura, you, uh, you're learning, learning over there. It's not a good early game strategy, I gotta say. I know. Yeah, I know. Obviously, give it a go. Let me know how that goes, but... Arctic Wind is super expensive, and it needs a range upgrade from a village to reach it all, but... Still, it's a fun map. I love... Well, I'm mainly doing this map because I, uh, there's a chest here. Yeah. I Definitely. The chests are super good to go after. Emerald, what is that boomerang placement? I know, but I'm like... I had to open this up because it downloaded, and I feel bad because the ant is out there all alone. Oh, you didn't lose any lives, I don't think. Oh, you no, okay? Never I mind. I yeah. It looked good. It did. Let's see. It looked and good I until mean... it wasn't. Yeah. Until it wasn't right, but we're just leaving all the stuff prior, right? <laughs> I really, really want to revive my YouTube channel, but always lose the motivation to do so. You ever lo lose motivation to upload? Yeah, I haven't posted in like two months. I haven't edited a video in like two months. Sometimes you just gotta focus on the things you enjoy. Uh, Emerald, you should get some windmills, yeah. Unless you got them already. Uh, why there we go. Okay, I was like, why isn't it letting me put them down? No, I can put one them more. right here, right? Yeah, one more? Yeah. And, and your bank. Bank lets you hold more cash. Bank. Oh wait, that's not that one, right? I have to go... Where is the bank one? Same thing, the little lightning bolt. You, you had it open on your screen. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm looking at the monkey. Them all. And you might want to clear a know. river tile so you can get your water mills down. Oh. How do I do that? Cause look at I have this one over here and it won't. I have to. I thought I had to get more money for it. No, you just gotta the thumbs up. Just click it. Let's see. It says the thumbs up on the one below it. This one right here. Yeah, you just gotta claim it. Just click it. Oh, there we go. Wait. No, the thumbs Wait, up on your map. Just jump off the right. Right here? But this is what happens. Below it, it. Below it. Yeah, you gotta click the tile. The thumbs up is... Yeah. Oh, oh shit. I, I made the time, same mistake. Man. That I fucked like, me up, what? too. I have to make that much money? Yeah. I was very confused. Okay. Yeah, thumbs up means it's done. You gotta click on the tile itself. I'm gonna fight the boss. Y'all ready for this? Oh, it's gonna be so much better now. Oh yeah, like a month or two ago, uh, Vortex was uh, out in TV6, and I was doing it on four player with a couple of people, and uh, one of like the limitations for that period, uh, it was on the lead and you couldn't use any Paragon. So we had three uh, max upgraded uh, Sun Temples and then we had a BTSG and then we just banned tier three Super Monkeys that path. It was fucking insane. That sounds really fun. Oh, Spike Storm. Spike Storm is so fun. Yeah, Moab Shredder just handles bosses at a low level. It's not even hard. 
All right, I'm gonna crack open this knowledge pack. We're gonna check out Ant Legion. Yeah, you should make videos that are fun to make. If you're having fun making videos that you enjoy making, and it's on a topic that people might find interesting, then the views will happen. Unfortunately, as a content creator, the motivation needs to happen first. Um, you need to be driven and then people will follow. So that's the direction that needs to go in. So let's do... Can I just capture Discord? Well, I guess I can just do monitor capture. <laughs> this would be so, so scum. <laughs> oh, I love it. All right, we'll watch, we'll watch Emerald, cause she's the newbie. Struggle. And then- Yeah, come watch me struggle. And then we'll get Ant Legion sized up here. It's gonna cover, um, Okay, I do have game capture. Let's do that. Wait for the stream. What if I just do this? Yeah. <laughs> this is super scuffed, but it's good enough, I think, right? Three I know I can screen capture. I'm just trying to think of a way I can show their balloons games. Okay, here I got an idea. I got an idea. We're gonna we're gonna get rid of archers. I'm sorry. Put yeah. There we go. Now I can just go straight in the middle, and it won't cover up their game. Perfect. Okay. But my overlay is covering it. That's fine. <laughs> I'll figure out like a less terrible way, probably not. Hey, Queen Level 5! Well timed! Let me switch my games. This is Ant Legion. All right, and then I'll do a ping and we'll get some games going here. Stream Ant Legion. All right. So. <laughs> I think I was upgrading stuff when I left off. Kind of just spamming building upgrades. It's like a weirdly similar experience to, uh... The Bloons Monkey City. I used to do art, but then I stopped. I don't know what happened. I just didn't find it enjoyable anymore. Yeah. It all depends on the type of content you make. I... I started with Minecraft builds, so it was kind of synergistic. My videos encouraged me to keep playing Minecraft, and by playing Minecraft, it encouraged me to make more videos. So it all just worked together. I had to go to three, right? Yeah. 40 daily quests. Sorry. 40? What? 40 daily quests is what it wants me to do. We're gaming. They give oh, me a lot of... A lot of speed ups, though. 
Hey, Noah. Thanks for hanging out, Ragnar. Appreciate you. Appreciate you hanging out in the stream. Um. Double check here. Yeah. So, just a reminder, everybody. This is a free game. You can install on mobile. You can, uh, yeah. You can check it out with the link in the stream. It would make sense if I pinned it, huh? So many buildings you can upgrade. I will use all my speed ups. I will use all of them. Upgrade, train melee soldiers. I actually need that anyway. 30 minutes. I think it's 90 that I'm doing right now. I will be right back, my future. I want food to be here. I just ate, but I'm ready for more. Yeah, I need to train these soldiers anyway. So let's do some haste soldiers right here. Quick speed up. I'm doing 90 at a time right now. That's fine. Oh, I think I just used a 60 minute for one minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I get for going quick. I think I used all my speed ups. Oh, man. Well, what can I do while the upgrades are happening, huh? Oh, there we go. I completed all the events. All right. I never understood how Switch, how Twitch gifting subs there, the whole thing. So when you gift subs, you basically just buy. I don't know what I'm doing. I hit carry. Not sure. I think you're giving somebody supplies. Yeah, when you gift, um... Are these my units? When you buy a subscription, it gives other people subscriptions. Oh, I rescued. Very nice. Oh, okay, so I did those now. So it's a survey. Then I hit rescue. Okay, and then in the upper left it says six, five, four. Okay, I got it now. So my ants are coming in to rescue the separated swarm. I see. Okay. Yeah, so you can always buy yourself a subscription or you can gift it to other people. Gifting to other people is a super generous thing to do. Adventure? I like adventuring. Aura, do you like adventuring? Yeah, me too. I need more specialized ants. That's not going to be successful. Oh my gosh. I have so many upgrades. There, does that get me what I need? Yeah, I thought so. I'm out here winning. So when somebody gives subs, it goes to people in chat. Yeah. It's a uh, really, really generous that thing. Guy, but if you, if someone gifts a sub to a Fallout 76 streamer, they get a free item in the game. Oh. So that entices you. So instead of gifting to me, they should gift it to a Fallout 76 streamer. Okay, you're not picking up what I'm laying down. <laughs> what do they get if they gifted free items in game? They get a backpack skin. 
Mm. How do I? Um, let's see. I want to hatch this ant. See, this is where the golden ant comes in. If anybody playing this wants to support me directly and improve your game immensely, this uh, first top up offer, it's like $5, but this is like the financial equivalent of like gifting me five subs. So if you end up buying that pack after downloading with my link, that'll give you a really strong ant that you can play and it supports me directly. Oh, Foda, yeah, you were probably gifted a sub. It happens. I'm hatching a bunch of ants. Oh, I got a blue ant. Hey, Emerald! Gifting to everybody but Fodic. Thank you so much. <laughs> I barely figured out how to do it off the computer. <laughs> you got it. Gifting to Krajan, Texama. Pop is Burger, I think. I, I'm sure I... Pop is Burger. Burger. Tam packs the... Oh, my God. And Nade Party. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's the name. Sorry. I gotta find that person's name. So illiterate on here now. Damn. Five good subs. Thank you so much. How do I, you know what, maybe I'll just do it on my phone, it's a lot easier. So I got one out of ten on these purple ones. But I can't hatch anymore. Yeah, level 12 predators, okay, well I don't have any of that. I gotta collect my items here. I think the queen has given me a money offer. I see. They're not even in the chat. I know. I really I wish. I had to go over to my phone to do that. I really wish when you gifted randomly, it would super prioritize people in chat. Gifting directly to Photic. Yeah. That's six gifted subs. We haven't had a single hype train this stream, and that would be a. Really good timing, actually. I'll, uh, I just got all the weapons for Save the World. Wow, what should I do with any spare weapon vouchers I get? I just save them. I just save them. I pick up new items early for videos. Um, I got about 13 vouchers just kind of there. No problem in just saving them. I return with food. Yay. Well done. I knew you could do it. Oh, I get to dig out my, my nest. Look at it go. I don't think we're going to hype train with that. <laughs> I am so sorry. But I appreciate it. I know Fodic will. So Fodic, if you have your Twitch uh, connected, you'll be able to get the VIP channels in Discord now. Aura has gone out hunting and brought food for the group. I don't know why he did that. I'm really sorry. Oh! <laughs> there we go. Okay. <laughs> oh, Inferno! What's up? Inferno! Sorry. Inferno, okay. uh, he, he knows how to gift subs. He's done that before. You have gifted 850 subs, I'm not sure. Yeah, there's no way to find out. You're just gonna have to gift some more and see what the number says. Just kidding. Yeah, I'm totally hoping somebody kicks off a hype train. Cause she just gifted f six subs and 201 bits. Thank you. He's at 874. According to that. Um... Cause that would be like an instant level two or three, but... We would need two people to cheer 100 bits or prime. So, Aura! Oh, he's tempting it. 
He's tempting it. I think her five gifted was three minutes ago. That's well within range. If somebody else cheers a hundred bits or gifts a million subs, then it'll kick off a hype train. And I think it'll go straight to three or four. If anybody wants to clutch it out, if anybody watching has a Prime sub, Prime badge, Amazon Prime connected to their Twitch, you can sub for free. That would also kick off the train. But, uh, oh, Inferno's running the command. Whenever Inferno runs that command, things happen. Um, first app hi at hype train of the casual stream today. I don't know. I'm calling it early, just to get it going. Emerald and Aura, they're just tempting it. I think Inferno, every time he runs that command. Okay, I tried the whole anonymous thing, we'll see what happens. Yeah, if you cheer anonymously, it does kick it off. Thank you so much, Emerald. Cheating the hype train, getting us started. Yeah, Jeremy, definitely check the timeline in the description of the stream. It's also in the description of every Fortnite video I post, which is pretty much every video. <laughs> Inferno gifting five subs to the stream! Gifting a sub to wife or Ventrine X of Ratio. That's a long name. To Matt, Willie J Star, Somnium Schism, Schism, and Nathan Gamer. Thank you so much! Level three complete. Yeah, straight to level four. You guys are crazy. Thank you so much. Yeah, so control F Anchors. is super useful for like every website ever. If you just do control F and type in Dennis, it highlights it just like that. June 19th is when Dennis, June 19th is when Dennis Jr. comes out. Yeah, the timeline was not made for mobile. I'm sorry. I hope it is at least easy enough to navigate. Dennis Jr. comes back around. If you want to voucher him, you'll save two months but, you know, uh-oh, camo lead, aura. Aura and those camo lead. Thank you again, Emerald. Level four, thank you guys so much. It says I'm at 875. I see 880, it's probably just updating slowly. Twitch wrote 880 right there. I don't think there's a gifted badge for 900. I don't think so. Um. It's probably the next one is at a thousand. So unless you want to send 120 gifted subs, <laughs> I don't think I don't think the badge is gonna be close. There is one at 900. What? Show me. Dingoes, girl. Thank you for the hundred bits. Getting on the hype train. I appreciate it. I'll uh, ping again. It's a pink bow tie? Oh, that's cute. That'd be funny if he didn't want a badge. So he just gifted up to 899 and then 101. <laughs> That'd be funny if anybody did that. If they just, like... Spent a ridiculous amount of money just skipping a badge. Obviously, you can just not wear a badge, but... Thank you guys so much for the live train! I'll have to just leave that on... Holy shit, dude! Holy shit! Jesus fucking Christ. Man. Oh my god! Gifting 20 for 900 total subs to Orbit Gaming, regular in the stream. Ernie, I'm not, Jakai, uh, Diamond on, done? I don't know. Uh, the Dummy, Desudation, there's a regular, one of the highest channel points in my entire channel. Shapansky, Drave, Minar, Twitch Daddy, okay. Uh, Zasisi? Zasis? Best Beaver, oh my god. Veil Tides, The Drum Factory, just another guy. Local friend of mine. Miss Puff, regular in the stream as well. Ghost, Jagrave, Tribal, and need some vowels. Thank you so much. Emerald! Yay! Emerald! See, she was chilling on that bits leaderboard for a bit. Are you back? Are you? Uh, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Regardless, thank you so much. I appreciate it. You are already in the hype train, Emerald. What are you doing throwing a thousand around? Well, Inferno always inspires me when he comes in, and I'm like, well, let's just go then. All right. Uh-huh. Yeah, level seven. Oh, no, I lost, but that's okay. I'll restart. Well, yeah, you were a little busy then. over there, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Inferno. Where is it? I see it. 
900 right there. Refresh your page, maybe? Holy guacamole. You're still shocked that she specifically gifted you a sub? I'm not, like, shocked, but always surprised when anybody gifts anybody a sub, but very generous, as usual. Just a really, really nice thing to do. It really enhances the experience of the stream, because when you get a subscription, you get ad-free viewing, you get uh, emotes from the channel, you get the badge next to your name. There's a lot going on there. It's, it's really generous. Guess I joined back at the right time. Yeah, you might get gifted a sub if Inferno keeps going. I did not expect to hype train with such a casual stream today. Thank you guys so much. Need to build a rally ground. I'm trying to I'm trying to actually play the game a little bit while I'm distracted. Orbit, you got gifted. Enjoy. Well, now I got to plug Ant Legion, you guys. Yes. Yeah. I'd rather voucher Stone Cold than wait the two months. Yeah, Jeremy. Totally rocking out Dennis Jr. Like, he's really powerful. That team perk is insane. Vouchering that is not a bad idea. Because you will get a voucher in two months anyway. I actually expected a quiet stream, though, you guys. I mean, I, I'm i playing a game that's not Fortnite. Like, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I knew we were just going to be chilling today. This was going to be one of those streams, you know, for the real ones. You know, the people who just like to hang out with me while I do my game in for here. The for the boys. For the boys. And girls. And, gr and, and the girl. Oh, um, the boys, right? right where is you honestly a chair? Well, there's a chair redeem over there. I'm I'm hiding underneath the chair. I need a good way to like cancel or speed up those cards, cause an hour is a long time to pull me away. Hey Nathaniel, what's the game? Ant Legion? It's a fun mobile game where you get to control some ants and build a hive. You can check it out with my link. Free to play on mobile devices. Oh, do I get free ones per hatchery? No. Because I have a couple of hatcheries, don't I? Oh, I don't know, actually. Let it be known that I hate camo lens. Oh, we can see that, yeah. Upgrading the sniper to tier 3 semi automatic is super nice. That's the 900 sub bet. That's insane. 50 seconds on the hype train. Ooh, Emerald pushing it closer to the edge. I think that was half of it. <laughs> Thank you so much! A thousand bits? She's not even fucking around with that tip jar on the right. Just getting it hit. Another? God damn, I have to ping again. I have to, get, I have to ping again. We went through it right. Okay, we're good, we're good, okay. Thank you so much! Just pushing it along. Holy crap. You guys are really waking me up. See, I'm just leaning back, hanging out, popping some balloons, controlling some ants, and then you guys are just going crazy with a hype train. Out of nowhere. Thank you so much. Casual beast stream. Yeah, casual beast stream. <laughs> 900 gifted. Yeah, indeed. Oh. <sighs> Maybe, Desi. Maybe. I thought this was casual. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah. It's only a level 8 hype train. It's not even a real train until level 10. He's right. So, is there a campaign? There's a quest tab. I want to go fight some stuff. Oh, I have gifts. Yeah. I have gifts. Nice. Um, three minutes on the hype train. If anybody wants to get in on the hype train, you do actually get hype train emotes. They're not showing here. Uh, we're not at level 10 yet, but if you cheer 100 bits, you can get one of the hype train emotes for uh, level 5 hype train. And if you... Um... If you prime sub for free, you get a hype train emote. What the hell was that? 
That tile's really tough. Honestly, if you wait until you have the semi-auto sniper, you can come back. It's a breeze. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you again for the hype train. Thank you guys so much. Really... <sighs> I can only say thank you 400 times, but I really mean it. I just really mean it. You're gonna tell me the ninja tile? You can't use ninjas just to get through it? Thank you. Just wait till the summer when I make some type of income. So obviously take care of yourself before you take care of me. But I appreciate it. Yeah, the VIP channels. The VIP channels are really good, honestly. I don't often advertise the VIP channels, but I am personally very active in them. So if you've ever had any interest... Okay, so I just got a superior... I just got a superior hatchery thing. I want to go and see if I can use that. If you ever want to chat with me, I'm active in the VIP channels. It's a good place to find me. Uh, we got about a minute and 50 on the hype train. Who goes there? Shut up, Or. Hey, Or, how you doing? Well, Nathaniel, I appreciate you stopping by. Who's on the call? Mario. Oh, Mario. Wow, it's been so long, yeah. I forgot his voice. I know, you me too. You forgot my voice? Yes. It's been like a day and a half. <laughs> it's all good. I know I'm forgettable to you, Beast. Phew, well, now you made it mean. That's not what I said. Exactly. That's not what I'm I said. pain, man. It hurts. Aww. Yeah, Drum Factory, enjoy! I appreciate the nice words, by the way. Well, we got a minute left if anybody wants to join in on the hype train. I don't know if Emerald and Inferno are gonna keep it going, but regardless, it's been unexpected. My goodness. If you guys want to support me for zero dollars, Ant Legion in the chat, definitely a cool game to check out. And if you want to support me with efficient dollars if you see on the screen in the top right this first top up pack oh my god emerald emerald thank you so much it's expensive at this tier though we need another five thousand four thousand five hundred for the next stage so if somebody gives nine subs i think it'll push it to the end but do come in for some casual content yeah well this top-up offer is free. Well, not free, but it's uh, $5 for every new player who plays this game. And it's like gifting me five subs. It's super efficient if you want to support me and make the sponsor happy. It's a really good deal for everybody. And it gives you a, a uh, an ant that's very strong and will improve your, your game plan. <sighs> how does armor work? It reduces how much damage you take. That's pretty much it. And that's the hype train. Thank you guys so much. Show off the emotes if you got them. Let me see them. Jeez. Oh, I forgot that I got all the uh, emotes for this. Time. Holy moly. You guys are incredible. I really appreciate it. The outpouring support of some of you people just allows me to keep doing this. That's all you're getting, though. I'm not gonna make a speech. You're not gonna. You're not gonna get me to make a. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna make a speech. 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 <laughs> I can't use a wit. Oh, go fuck yourself, game. <laughs> Sorry, get so mad. I love it. Oh my gosh. How many of these quests have I? God. Ooh, no speech. Ooh. He didn't even participate in the hype train. Listen to this one guy. Do you want a speech? Boo. <laughs> Ooh, look at all these emotes. See ya. Shut up, Archer. How you doing, man? Look at my screen share. I don't wanna. Do you know how many quests it is to complete all see the world I don't know. Too many. This is the new. This is the new expansion. I was gonna make a Marvel reference, but you wouldn't understand. I was gonna say is that. Uh, well, actually, I guess it's more of a specific. If you ever seen uh, Thor Ragnarok, I was gonna say is that the devil's anus. 
So I was helping my people in the Alliance speed up. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, I can challenge 10. So my army's 1750. So these ones should be easy. Easy. Server lag. If you guys haven't gotten Queen level 5 in Ant Legion, it's super quick. Supports me directly. It's like gifting a couple subs, but it's free and you get to play a fun game. Definitely check it out. Link in chat. <sighs> I don't remember the exact formula for armor, but... Oh, this is an easy fight. I'm going to skip that to the end. So you can actually skip the animations for these fights, and it makes it so satisfying watch. If I just challenge every armor where it's a guaranteed win. Oh, all that instant gratification. Who doesn't love some instant gratification? Are you not in your armor, Archer? No, I'm not in power armor. Uh -huh. Ooh, Inferno's running the ant command. Checking it out for me. Like he hasn't done enough. Dude's got the 900 gifted subs badge. Absolutely in incredible. I... I don't know, I think the 1000 gifted badge is a little bit better. That's true, 900 ain't shit. Uh, like, if you're at 950, you might as well just go for the 100. Are you even a thousand. real supporter at 900? <laughs> My god. <laughs> <laughs> Three to you know, the crazy people. thing is, people actually take that, like... Most people, like, some people will be like, yeah, damn fucking straight. You know what? I, I will give the hundred, you little rat. Like, they will literally, dude, it's funny. Uh, I can buy shards. That's cool. He said something about, like, gifting a thousand subs when he hits a thousand. I don't believe him, though. That's crazy. I don't remember specifically what he said. I thought it was a thousand total subs on the channel because around the winter time we got up to about 1100 subscribers, which is absolutely nuts. That's when Berlin was going crazy with those bits too. But I think Inferno meant himself, so. Oh yeah. I don't know how serious he was about that, but that'll be the day. That'll be the fucking day. I forgot about Berlin. It's me, I'm back. The chair is done. I'm here now. Done Queen level 5 and rally attack. Thank you so much, Ali. I really appreciate it. Is it Ali or Ali? Okay, Probably Ali, isn't it? Bug, and it's dry, draining my FPS. That's Cypher PK's name. Ali. I don't know how to make my army bigger. Are you training them and stuff? Oh, there you go. There you go. Never mind. Yeah, but I can't. I need my queen to be higher level. What's she need? Greedy queen. I gotta upgrade my entrance. It's gonna take a couple hours. It's gonna take an hour. Hmm. I saw that tweet about like the Save the World rumor. Which one? The one that the guy tweeted saying, uh, I'll take this with a grain of salt, but at late 2026, it might be discontinued. Inferno, you've been watching the whole morning. He's just been lurking. Been lurking my stream. So I'm running out to attack an enemy. That's what this is right now. ETA is my, my team of ants running towards it. You can see him go. Look at my army, Matteo. Isn't it majestic? Sure. This could be your army too. With Ant Legion, link in the stream chat. Free to play on any mobile device. Probably not any mobile device, but. I'm gonna go get my flip phone. Oh no, I can't download it on my flip phone, Beast. What should I do? Matteo's being a hater. I was gonna get you some instructions if you really had one, Matteo. Okay. <laughs> You know, actually, we used to make fun of my grandpa. Well, not make fun of him, but, well, I guess it was. But he'd always have a flip phone. This was, like, before, like, 2020. And every single time he'd come down to Vegas to, like, see us, he'd always have the his flip phone. So we used to call his phone the dinosaur phone. Because, like, it's, like, you know, like, anything after, like, 2016, you know, surely no one should have a flip phone. Yeah. Now, I'll have you all know, I had one of those big 
ones that look like a brick when it first came out. <laughs> and everybody thought it was cool to have one of those. Uh, you ever have a phone in your car? <laughs> uh, actually, yeah. Well, that was like the big one that was like a brick, and then like people were like, oh, I use mine in my car and stuff like that because. But my mom's friend had the kind in the car that had the little. Actually, yeah, money Pokemon is probably gonna be. It's crazy. I don't know, Nathaniel. You might want to wait till Rayquaza. Imagine Shadow Rayquaza would be nuts. Absolutely nuts. So I took some damage. I got a heal. Did I get any speed ups? Damn, you guys just came out of nowhere with all that. I don't know if you probably don't know, but did you guys hear what happened with like Bruno Mars? Mm -mm. Did a did a plane oh, land on his hair? Multi million dollar debt with the casino that he like sings at in Vegas <sighs> because he gambled so much and lost so much. So now he has to like sing a shit ton to make up for it. Did he really come out of retirement just to clear his gambling debt? Well, no. Every year he would do like a concert at the casino because that was like it was just a contract and you'd make money from it. What happened to wanting but, to be a billionaire, huh? But legitimately, right. he fucking he had an addiction and now he's making up all the money for it. Well, if anybody's only, uh, good for it, it's Bruno know. Mars. I'll bet he could sell out a stadium if he wanted to. Oh, 100%. I yeah. keep seeing freaking videos everywhere about him. Like, just insane. insane. How does anybody go to into debt with that right. amount of money? Although, the, the more money you have, the easier it is to lose it, honestly. I've heard Absolutely. of that. It is. Like, when you are spending millions of dollars, you're not really processing what you're spending anymore. It goes by quicker than you might think. Scary fast. Uh, oh wow, that's a good Wookiee impression. <laughs> he did not think that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Getting all these daily rewards. I got one like two weeks ago and my hair is already down to my ears. Talking about a haircut. Inferno, why is your sleep pattern so bad? What's a civil special ant? Alright, I don't know what it does. I just have this non-upgraded ant in the background, and I don't know if that makes a difference to anything. Oh my god, it made a huge difference. So I, I don't even fight with that ant, but it helps me, apparently. Alright. What would you think if Epic added a supercharger? I don't know, it'd be great. Why don't you post fun loadouts on YouTube? I did, like, several times recently. I've been disguising them as horde mode videos, but I posted a fun Nocturno loadout here, a fun Stormblade loadout here, I posted... I think this was a bow loadout. Uh, this has three different loadouts in it. Uh, so does- this has another loadout. I just posted a Floor Flusher loadout. This is all in the last two weeks. This is all in the last two weeks. Yeah. He has so many videos for you to watch. I got all the content. They're long videos too. You can just chill out and binge beast videos all day. That's a good weekend right there. I've done that like 30 times. Yeah, sleep. This guy used to fall asleep to my videos. There's nothing easier to watch if you're trying to get to bed. Fall asleep to videos? More like I put them on when I went to bed. But I still watch them. Got you the ad revenue. I'm really glad I didn't leave Thrite. Yeah, he kept talking about leaving the stream and then just kept staying. And now he got to get the sub. Yeah, Inferno. Yeah. Not a blackout build, but a black metal build. I need to... Probably... Sh 
show that. What is Foster? Oh. So I've had an upgrade just sitting there this whole time. This one too? This is uh, a lot harder when I don't have my wizard monkey. Wizard monkeys are tight. Wow. I had all these upgrades just sitting there. I didn't even know. Is it coming out soon? I haven't even recorded it. I tried to record it, but I had just eaten four tacos from Taco Bell and it ruined my recording. <laughs> That's a true story. I, I was like, oh, I should eat before I record. And then I just slammed a bunch of Taco Bell and it was a terrible idea. He's regretted it ever since then. Ugh. But I have spent all my recording time on running Horde mode and streaming Bloons and Ant Legion today, so, yeah. Oh, I get eight hours of speed ups in this game. Oh, hey! Oh, hey! Somebody picked up an orange ant, thank you so much! I have an assumption on who that was. But if anybody wants to claim credit for it. Wait, did I lose that even though I have a hard, a higher army? Did I just get unlucky? I did. Oh wait, what? He attacked again? What? I feel so cheated. It was not Matteo. Yeah, it was. How do you know? Prove it wasn't me. Mm, you've had a distinct lack of interest in checking out the sponsor at every opportunity. Or have I been sidetracking and pretending like I wouldn't like it to do it? You send me a screenshot, I'll thank you personally. Oh, but I already closed the menu. Mm -hmm. the weekend is this man's gonna spend five dollars on my on my. What's the word? So my orange ant counted for you. That was you. I got one in my little thing of a bobber. Thank you so much. Was that luck or did you buy a pack? Uh, I bought a pack. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody buys the first top up offer, which I assume is the the five dollar pack you picked up, well, they had special going on, so I got more than one. Oh, perfect! Yeah, if you get any yeah. pack that gets you an orange, orange ant, then makes me happy. Then I'm good to go. Makes okay. a sponsor happy. It actually greatly influences how many sponsors I can pick up, um, depending oh. on what kind of Ooh. packs you guys get. I'll be right back, you. Well, what can I do right now? I think I'm done adventuring. I fell asleep around shop reset Wednesday and woke up to a black screen of Thai baby with no sound. When I <laughs> That's what can happen when I when I raid someone. What is upgrading right now? This still has 30 minutes. A new guitar came out last night in the item shop. I didn't even know. Dude, I don't. If it's not skins or emotes, I don't care. Yeah, that can be hard to. Don't worry, I saw, I saw it. You can't use instruments in Save the World. You can't use jam tracks in Save the World. Uh, I. Like, anything you can't use in Save the World, I don't care. I literally do not care if it comes out or not. Hey! Another orange ant! Now who is that? That wasn't emerald again. No, no. I only got the one. I, I assumed it would have been back. Inferno, because... That man... Yeah, he said, I wonder. <laughs> like... Yep. If anybody in the stream has de demonstrated a distinct... Disregard for... Like, a lack of regard for... Donating to my cause. Well, thank you. Inferno, I really appreciate it. Like, I really do. Like, they, they, they can see how my community interacts with sponsors, and you guys help me more than you know. Ugh, I don't want to use a 60 minute speed up. I'm just out here training ants. I did 40 daily, daily quests. I got a bunch of speed ups. 
I got about two minutes before the Fortnite shot. Holy crap. So apparently I already did all of these challenges on page seven. I already trained soldier. I already hunted a predator. Did a bunch of adventure. Wow. That's kind of crazy. Just got some free upgrades. This is so cute. Cool. Oh yeah, we don't know if the update's gonna be on Tuesday or Monday. Because it says the festival pass ends on Monday. So, I don't know. There might be a surprise downtime announcement Sunday afternoon. Oh, that's fun. Oh, level six. Gotta get four of these levels. Is there a way of getting unbanned from your Discord? Yeah, if you let the mods know what went on and give them a chance to check out your situation, then they might overturn it. Is that in the YouTube chat? Yeah, I sent them. Well, I can just tell me your Discord name. I can just look at it right now. All right, what's the exact time? Oh, yeah, I'm glad I checked. It's seven. Okay. All right. Well, that was that was Ant Legion. Might as well queue that upgrade before I close the game, right? Let it work on that. Um, I'm gonna make my video and then I'm gonna have to get out of here. Nothing new in the item shop. That's surprising. Thank you, everybody, for checking out the app. Um, buying anything in the app helps me a lot, but super unnecessary. Just try to enjoy the game first. See if it's something you like. There's one V-Buck mission. Ooh, That's nice to see. Mythic right. lead in a mission that people can actually play. Where? Hey. 120, 124 repair and twine. Wow, huh? it's a good day today. Not shit-ass ventures like the last time it was. Jason, uh, we do your daily and pretend like you couldn't do it, so we'd have a running joke that I only do the mythic leads. No, today that ends. <laughs> I'm actually here for this one. I still think about that every like every single time. I bring it up every daily, time. I'm like, I wonder if we're gonna get a mythic survivor. Oh, it's entwined too. Wow, well, yeah. Fun. It's not a mythic adventures like it likes to be. Did Fortnite just crap? Oh, it's just loading up twice or something. Monkey City sponsor what? Dude, they're not sponsoring anybody. In fact, Monkey City advertises Bloon Star Defense 6. Like, they want you to get the fuck off their super old game. <laughs> they want you to get off their game. Oh yeah, I should probably change my category. That's so funny. Because uh, part of the obligation for Ant Legion was a couple hours on stream. And I've now streamed it for like an hour and 50 minutes. <laughs> I'll check it out more later in the week, of course. We'll look at that game played. This is the minimum like three hours? Uh, Two. Two is what I'm going to do. Two, okay, yeah. I know some are different. But I'll probably play it more than that. I like to take these sponsors seriously. Like, I don't like to just do the bare minimum two hours and then fuck off. I like to actually... No, right? Like... Play it. And it helps when I'm having fun with the game. Um, those are always oh, yeah. really good. All jokes aside, I mean, you should definitely do this, like, help beast. I mean, sponsorships are... Come and go, so... And it's honestly, I'm not even gonna lie, like, as someone that's done sponsors like this, it's not that hard. It'll probably take, like, what, like, max 30 Actually, minutes. having done, um, enough of these, I can say the Queen level 5 for the requirement on there is one of the easiest goals I've seen for some of these mobile games. Some of them take 20 or 30 minutes. Queen level 5 is, like... 10 minutes if you just tap on the queen and do exactly what it tells you to do use the speed ups it gives you you can knock that out easily and then you can quickly branch out from that 
to the rest of the game, maybe give it a little go. Give it a little, 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 little play time. It's actually not great for me if somebody installs the game, hits queen five, and then uninstalls immediately. <laughs> um, it actually helps me, makes a sponsor happy if you play the game a little bit. If you don't like it, don't do anything you don't want to do. But, you know, if you give it a try on my behalf, it really does go a long way. That's my pitch. You know, I don't want somebody to slave through a game they hate just because of me. No, 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 no. Just give it a try. That's all we're doing. We're advertising here. That's that's what we're doing. Your luck on Daily Llamas? Yeah, I got some good ones. There was a long streak. Hey! Speaking of Queen level, level 5. Level 5. That was you? Yeah. You bought the pack before 5. Emerald is so easy. If she sees a game that's kind of fun, just oh, 20 bucks again. I had to I'm stop her from. The other puzzles game. I had to stop her from buying Bloomstones in Monkey City. I was like, no, 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 no. You can get more of those. <laughs> you, you. <laughs> Monkey City, I, I highly discourage spending money because there's nothing you can't earn. The only thing that is worth any value in game that I think is worth any money is maybe the monkey farmer. Um, that was all of two dollars and it increases the capacity of your farms, which is really good uh, by 10%. So in the end game, once you have them leveled up, you can hold a thousand city cash. But with the monkey farmer, it's eleven hundred. I've um, I've been jokingly asking people to donate me eighteen dollars so I can buy nine more monkey farmers so I can double my farm capacity. I don't have the strength to do it myself, but nobody's taking me up on it, which is probably good because <laughs> I would totally buy nine more monkey farmers if somebody did that. Takedown or mouthpiece? I think the takedown is probably better. Mouthpiece is a pistol and it's not so great. Ant Legion sounds interesting. Might play it. Uh, see how I yeah, I definitely appreciate you checking it out honestly if you get to queen five rally an attack and you're not loving it by then at least you checked it out um definitely down it download it with my link if you do because then i'll get credit for your progress and you can take it from there That was like a good reason to go live today too. Like I've been wanting to just do like a casual balloon stream, but having a, a mobile game sponsor going on at the same time was perfect. It's like, all right, well, cool. I can just go live, let you guys know about the sponsor, play another game, have a good time, have a good time doing it. Lacey's actually really good, isn't she? Is she one of the combat ones. I, think so. I like combat leads. They make me do more damage. Yeah, marksmen. Oh, marksmen are tight. Will do. Appreciate it. <laughs> Working on the mythic lead. Did you take anybody with you, Sergio? Don't go solo on that. Take a couple noobs with you. <laughs> I feel like mythic leads are a great time for the community to come together. Like, I don't want anybody begging anybody for a carry, but... If you can get somebody to take you, that's, uh... It's a good way to go. Because the only way to really max out in this game is to get Mythic Leads, and they are normally only available in the end game. Um, so it it can really speed somebody's journey along in a meaningful way. Like, not just dropping them 130s, but truly raising their power level and helping them progress literally, instead of just uh, for real, instead of just fake. Please, the best 160 video helps me. Yeah, I'll definitely bring that up. Yeah, I don't always mention the best 160 to run, but if that's something you guys value, then I'll do it. Alright. I try to do that. Whenever I go through the 160s, I, like, show them. I'm like, eh, hey, this one's probably the best. Uh, I was going to drop out of Discord, turn. but I might as well make my thumbnail in the call. Okay, I'll be back when I make my thumbnail. Let's do this. Do this, do this. I'm going to mute stream alerts, you guys, just so it doesn't get interrupted.
a mythic lead is available today in the 124 power level in twine repair the shelter is actually a really easy mission so this is a great mission to bring like a lower level friend today if there's a lower level in the community who needs some help maybe drop your epic and power level down below uh, our discord is also a great place to to hang out maybe a high level can bring you there but this is a great mythic lead because she is also a marksman so not just a mythic lead in a relatively easy 124 mission but also a marksman so she's dependable personality this will go into your marksman squad and that will actually improve your damage which is great so uh yeah doing more damage is awesome and I have said this so many times, like, I think that's the one I use, and I'm wrong, like, 60% of the time, but I do actually use Lacey in my squad, so there you go. It's a really, really solid lead. I mean, all the Mythic leads are good, but there's one, and we've also got V-Bucks today available in the 140 EVAC, so... Um, if you're going to do the mythic lead later, you might want to queue the evac mission right now because that'll be a 10 minute wait before the mission could even start. The rest of the video can play out while you're waiting for that to start. Then when the video is done, maybe you can go and pick up the mythic lead. You can do whatever you want, but 40 V-Bucks are available today in the Twine mission and it doesn't stop there. So we've also got our Deco Llamas. Our Deco Llamas are great. You can get any of them with Flux, but in my opinion, extra tickets are way cheaper than Flux and there are actually some really good Art Deco weapons. In fact, I had a video that I was waiting to post for a long time recently. I had recorded this maybe six months ago and I honestly forgot about it. <laughs> and then Art Deco Llamas came out, so I posted it suddenly. It was just fully edited, fully thumbnail. Uh, you know, that happens. I, I tell you guys I'm on a break and I mean it and then I just throw together a video anyway and then I forget about it for a couple months and then the Floor Flusher is a video. You guys should go check that out. It's a really, really strong weapon. I'm trying to get to the event schematics. Go to the Art Deco section here. Floor Flusher, as I said, really, really strong AR. And in that exact video, I was using the Big Shot because it's really good for crowd clearing. Super good, couple of weapons, they pair well. Mouthpiece is a decent pistol. Sodbuster, one of the best uh, rocket launchers in the game. I would try to say like four things at once there and I had to pick one. Brush Off, decent single target shotgun, not my favorite. Uh, great Axe B, Heavyweight, all the melees are very strong. Every single one of them is really good. And the Takedown is a decent sniper. So it's a really strong weapon set. And each and every one of these actually carries with it the Art Deco 6 perk. I wanted to demonstrate this on an actual Art Deco weapon. They all have an elemental bonus where they do 44% extra damage to a specific element, and that is huge because the Art Deco uh, weapons are generally pretty mediocre, but if you're shooting at an elemental target, that matches their six perk. That 44% damage buff is massive, all right? Uh, Noir is great for lefty and righty because it can extend the duration of it. Uh, Sleuth, I think, is for Rosie, so it's kind of nice if you're using Rosie. Gumshoe is excellent for Shock Towers and Teddy because she'll improve their damage by 30%. It's Fragment Abilities in the text, but it means Shock Tower and Teddy, and I don't believe you even need a Fragment, so it's great. And Venturian was recently buffed for Crescent Kick. It's still pretty bad. I'm not going to lie. So uh, with that information in mind, go through your Art Deco Llamas. Maybe you'll pick something up. I'm going to buy this for one reason. I went through about 18 researches getting my Nature Killjoy. And um, wow, this has the uh, stacking crit rating. I know my face cam's covering it, but uh, OK. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm just going to grab that llama real quick there and purple. So I don't uh, always like to gamble away with these llamas, but Check it out, see if you guys get anything good. If you are somebody who saves up x-ray tickets, which you should, this is what you're saving it for. Art Deco Llamas are here. So there are actually some really good missions available today, but I'm gonna head to BR real quick just to talk about what's going on. And a quick word from our sponsor. Ant Legion is a super fun mobile game where you get to control where you get to build a hive and control some ants. It's a super fun game to play. Easy mobile game, free to play. Link down below. If you guys complete any of these challenges, get your queen to level five. Only takes about 10 minutes. Rally and attack shortly thereafter easy to do thank you to my community if you get an orange ant that is the best thing you can do to support me somebody just did that that's really good timing <laughs> um that might have been a notification from earlier yeah i think those two already came through earlier regardless thank you to those two i know who they are emerald and, and inferno helping me out there it really does support me financially directly so sponsor of the channel for a few days here go ahead link down below check it out in br there's really nothing too crazy so the weekend's back yeah 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 but we've also got the archetype bundle which is 
new, but like not. None of the items are new, but apparently the bundle is according to the website. Maybe I'm being lied to, but Jaeger is the uh, oldest item in the shop. He's been gone for 492 days. That is almost a year. So kind of a rare item. And then Fira was gone for 388 days and Snow Striker has been gone for 447. So not the rarest items to come back, but kind of, uh, kind of odd to see them coming back at such a weird time and uh that's it i think i'm gonna say a quick thank you to people who are using my code because i am a couple days behind and i need to drink some water because i am just uh dehydrated while talking here but i'm i'm staying strong i think this is where i left off last time because i think we definitely saw the animals i think maybe i left off up here because i read this on stream thank you everybody who's using my code if you want to be featured just ping me in here uh showing you using my code i get five percent of your purchase at no further cost to you this supports me directly in US dollars and I really do appreciate it so if you want to support me for free this is a great way to do it just use my code when you buy the Coachella stuff or whatever and uh, you got some swords here dude I, I love swords hell yeah mm. I was just thinking about swords when I was watching Avatar and Sokka got his master who taught him how to use swords but got these just gifted these emojis using my code thank you Photic he's been in the stream all day today he almost left three times but stuck around ended up getting a gifted sub so uh, yeah Thank you to these people for joining so that I can see the higher level missions and ventures. We're going to be starting off in the 46 zone right here. Four X drops of rain in the retrieve the data. Super good mission if you want to get some rain. Then we're going to be going to the 58 zone because of one mission right here. Two purple survivors, which is really useful if you're a new player who wants to level up your squads. A mythic lead is great, but not everybody has all legendary survivors. So these two purples might help out. And 4x lightning the bottle is useful to everybody. Then in the 108 four player, no, not four player, but the 108 zone, we got the seal electric field. It's a build a radar grid mission, super slow 20 minute mission, but seal electric field is one of the best traps in the entire game, so it might be worth picking up. 4x legendary perk up in the 124 four player. Then the storm played in the other one, super good weapon. I have weird perks on mine, but this crit hits cause an explosion weapon is super, super fun. I've shown this in some recent videos as well with Paleo Luna in the lead, very good weapon. 4x drops terrain in the 144 player and 4x reperk in the 144 player as well and then backing up a step to pick up uh, something i missed here legendary lead actually kind of useful if you need that as well see like a mythic lead is super exciting but that's only one of your eight leads so if you need a legendary there it is but i wanted to mention the thrasher is that yeah it's right up here best smg in the entire game super good weapon i keep saying i'm gonna use that in horror and then i just keep forgetting so uh yeah in twine we got up here neon scythe decent weapon and the anti-air trap so really good at shooting projectiles out of the air uh 4x perk up in the repair the shelter so three blue one epic which is nice as well then we got the 82 zone 4x eye of the storm in the category 4 mission then we got the 88 zone 4x reperk in the retrieve the data then we got the 94 zone over here ceiling drop trap another evacuate the shelter mission but it is one of the best traps in the entire game so really really good uh that'll drop down the enemy's heads bounce around stall them super strong then in the 100 zone we got one of the best shotguns in the entire game tiger jaw fully automatic mag shotgun super fun to use then we got the 4x eye of the storm in the 108 4 player and 4x legendary perk up in the 108 4 player and the slice and dice. <clears throat> the slice and dice. I need to drink some water, you guys. This is actually a really good melee. Um, it's not as good as a storm blade. I'm sorry, not as good as the stabs with a third. It's basically the same weapon, but it's good. It's good. Uh, I wanted to mention the tar pit in the 116. That'll stop smashers in their traps. Stop smashers in their tracks. I can speak today, I promise. That includes mini bosses, which is super effective. We already talked about the mythic lead, but hotfix or hazard helps you repair quicker. I've never needed that. I do not value that perk at all. Legendary sniper defender, super useful. Hand them a sniper, obliterator, uh, neon sniper, uh, blaster drone 9000. There we go. Super useful. Uh, already showed the V box earlier, so I'll be skipping that. Uh, and then we just got the high zone. So yeah. 4x perk up in the 144 player, 5x lightning bottle in the cat 4. This is going to give you a ton of lightning in a bottle and cat 4 missions, super easy modifiers as well. Good mission to run. 5x reperk, super easy modifiers and repair the shelter. That one might be the easiest 160 to run today. 10 times if you want that uh, survivor supercharger, which is a big get. But then 5x drops terrain and reperk is excellent in the retrieve the data because these missions are super easy and these modifiers aren't bad either. 5x reperk is great, but deliver the bomb will not count towards your weapon. I'm sorry, your survivor supercharger this week. So if you want the reperk, you can run this, but don't do that for your supercharger. And then storm shard and smoke screen is not so great, but it is our one legendary survivor available in the 160 zone. So if you want to run the ride of lightning once, then pick one of these three to queue. It kind of depends on what you need. Lightning bottle, reperk or rain. All three of these missions are super easy. Cat four is always going to 
to be like one of the harder defenses because you have four objectives, but uh, if you're queuing the 160 zones, I I have faith you can figure it out. Floor freeze the 52 zone, great trap. This will freeze enemies in place and they'll take 25% extra damage while frozen. Very powerful. And then the 64-4 uh, player down here, 4x perk up. <gasps> in the repair the shelter Whew. thank you guys so much for watching i uh you know I, I i don't know how many sponsors i can plug in one video but right at the end here advanced gg's got a spring cleaning sale going on right now so they're just a few tubs going fast at a super cheap price if you want to check them out you can go ahead uh tiger blood super delicious and tropical splash also very delicious i bought tropical splash with my own money because i was curious what it tastes like and it's one of my favorite flavors so uh yeah quick little plug at the end blueberry side is good too so uh thank you guys so much watching i'll see you guys later um subscribe and and have a good, good rest of your day go check out ants legion link down below ant legion ant legion link down below free to check it out and it supports me in the process what a mess what a mess mario can you carry me to the mythic lean i'm not even on fortnite i can't q124 on adventures <laughs> no oh i was like whoa mythic lead 40 i want to say v bond donkaroos but it's too much to talk about art no. deco llamas Great missions. I always feel like people ignore me or don't care when I say great missions in the title, but like, there are great missions, so. Oh no, forgot to plug my, my art deco videos. Is this really all I have? Four videos? It's you. Man, I guess I yep. haven't covered the art deco weapon. You wanna see much. one of the funniest tweets I've ever seen? What are the, it's in it's in meme, so I hate this so much. <laughs> This is gonna be. This is legitimately the stupidest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> what power level are you gonna be the queue for the lead survivor? 124 is the mission. I don't know what power level is required for that. How high do you need to be to queue those? 124s? Yeah. I think it's power level 100. I literally don't know, so I'm just gonna trust that. <laughs> I'll bet BR shot people are like making a comment about Kratos every single day. Oh, like waiting for him? Almost a year gets me every time. Can you believe there are people? Like, I mean a lot of people. Like, there's no way they're kidding. Who genuinely believe I don't know how long a year is. <laughs> they are... You know, I make that... They yeah. don't know you're kidding? They, they do not know I'm kidding. Yeah, I make that joke sometimes in your daily too, and they act like I don't know how long a year is either. Yeah, Whoa. some of them are mean it. about it. Like, you would think that they would understand it's a meme at that point. How could anybody not know how long a year is? I don't... Like, I tell them every time. I know it's 360 days. You should say 362 or something. I'm sorry, but if people are going to be like that, I would just kind of play back more. You know but one that they never level. caught? Hey! Huh. Queen level 5, thank you again! I really appreciate it. I really do. Um, What I did that nobody caught was I... I showed them how I got my math and like I would 
I would say I know how long a year is, and then I'd read out the decimal, but I'd show my calculator where I divided the time it was gone by 360. <laughs> Nobody, like, I got, like, one comment. I was like, really? I'm dividing the wrong number, and people just see a calculator and their eyes glaze over. <laughs> I do the same thing, though. If I'm watching a video where somebody pulls out a calculator, I'm just like, whoa, okay. You clearly did the math. Just tell me what it says. I trust you. But I'm <laughs> lying to their face. Like, they can see the calculator. You can see I divided by 360. Nobody says a word. I love it. That's how I make things interesting for myself. I mean... In these daily videos, I have had to repeat myself hundreds of times. So, like sometimes if there's two ceiling electric fields, I'll just repeat myself. There was one day there was three electric fields, and I said that it could be like two tiles up, and it was effective in multiple elements, and I repeated that verbatim like three times, and it was very fun. See, I feel like... For me, or, or actually, I don't know. For me, sometimes I just, like, say the same thing over like that. Because, you know, the eight and a half minutes kind of, like, sometimes the days aren't as exciting as the other ones. So you got to, like, fill in something. Yeah. That could definitely stretch the runtime. I don't always think about it like that, but that is part of it. And I also just, I have fun, like, messing with people. And, like, I feel like it's not even worth messing with. Like, there's no way that anybody's going to fall for this. And then they do. Every time. I get comments. I'll, I'll repeat myself, like I just said. And people will be like, bro, I thought my video was glitching. I was like, what? No. You couldn't possibly. And they are being serious. Because it's too many people. Like, there's too many of them saying that for it to be a coincidence. So, suffice it to say, I, I, I like my job. I have fun doing what I do. Makes me feel like such a pro. Yeah, I did it. I did my first... Level 5 now. Thank you, Inferno. Add 5 Art Deco to fill the thumbnail up. I think I'm okay here. V bucks are a little tight, but what am I forgetting? Art Deco, V bucks, Mythic Lead, Stormblade, Thrasher, a couple of good traps. Yeah, I don't have every good item in the thumbnail, but I don't need it. That's what the video is for. It's always funny. This video exists. This series exists with like an understanding that Fortnite DB exists. And there's always like a built in humility that I'm just like aware that Fortnite DB exists and I'm continuously humbled that anybody even clicks these daily videos and little jokes like what I was just talking about are probably why people can enjoy tuning in because you know I also do believe that there are new people who play Fortnite who you can just look at Fortnite DB and learn nothing You know, you can see like, oh, that's available, that's available, that's available. But to a brand new player, that's just a bunch of weapons and heroes and names that you don't know. Like Stormblade, is that good? Argon Axe, what's that? You know, like... I think the Daily Series adds some value there if you're trying to learn the game. That's honestly the only way I learned. Ugh. Yeah. These are just the ramblings of somebody who... I had to be convinced. Like, I needed support from friends, family, and people in my community to... I needed, like, encouragement to start this series because I didn't think it needed to happen. Still kind of don't. But people watch them. They undeniably click these daily videos, and people seem to like them, and I don't mind making them, so... We're all winning. I enjoy him. Hi, Storm God. Hello. Oh, good. Storm God's here. Well, bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> this is about right. That's so close. Probably one time where 
Matteo, Yoltron's and one other person were in a VC and made a joke where they're like, as soon as I hit the VC, they all went, Scatter! And then just all disconnected. That oh, yeah, would... we all left, and then we joined right back, like, I, th yeah. I think it was like two, three minutes later. It's, it was even funnier by the fact that I also could was only able to join for like 30 seconds. That'd be so much funnier in the moment, because it'd be a big surprise, and then you'd hear the disconnect sound of like four different people. Yeah. <laughs> dling, 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 dling. <laughs> Well, the funnier part is we literally said, like, I think I said scatter. So, like, yeah, you that's did. all he heard, and then we just all left. Oh, that'd be funny if everybody went to a different voice channel. Mm. Oh, and then, like, it would be, like, a test to see which voice call he would go to? No, just... Oh, yeah. Well... Like, when you put the kid in front of the phone and... Oh, yeah. ...with one of their parents. <laughs> Dude, there was an SNL skit, and they're in, like, go-karts, and then the dad goes to, he says to the son, he's like, Ah, right, Timmy, uh, which ones do you want to do first? Do you want to do the go-karts, hear the bad news, and then do the marigold round, whatever, it was something else, um, or do you want to do the marigold round, then hear the bad news? Yeah, tire so traps like, bounce oh, more, three now. tiles up. And then the entire, like, And even uh, higher, they like, just the don't trigger like, that way, so you need to... Them the set it up weird know that they're getting a divorce because of a a mistress and and then the dad keeps saying like shit like i sent the pack chicken like, uggs uh is it okay if i start drinking again would you like that and just like dude this skit's so funny i'd recommend watching it snl skits have actually been getting a little bit better there was a beavis and butthead one which dude, that one is just so fucking funny yeah <sighs> welcome back right oh, now the joke was though that I was gonna say is that the dad was like, "You got it too, chicken nuggets. I appreciate it." Two two in a pool, and daddy and mommy was on uh, either side. Which side would you guys go to? And the you know the joke is like, if we get a divorce, which parent would you want to go with? Yeah. Oh. The very. I wouldn't want to know. joke. Yeah. Hmm. I wouldn't either. Between Ant Legion and Advanced CG, I'm not gonna put any YouTube ads in that video. <laughs> like, I already plugged two sponsors. I don't need more ads. <laughs> okay, well, the girlfriend said be slow. And I don't know what that means. Because normally oh, I finish I these videos. Ones. Oh, that was a lot. What? I'm in that <laughs> VC. I've got to go. No, Archer, stay uh... here. Uh... Archer's so mean, man. Yeah, he hangs out with us for like seven hours, then he just fucks off. Like, does he even like us? <laughs> I'm actually convinced Wait, that he only likes us whenever he has nothing to do. That's possible. Like, I, I mean, like, I mean, like, this is just like a joke. I don't, I think he actually, like, clearly we're friends, but like, he only ever joins if he has nothing else to do. We know he has other friends. I sent it, Chicken Nuggets. Did you see it? How dare him. I mean, we did spend seven hours talking and about a game he doesn't play while playing the game he doesn't play. But I usually finish these daily videos and then bolt out of here to go pick her up. But she said, be slow, and I don't know what that means. Like, just refresh your page, chicken nugs. Yeah, I always hope Mythic Lead will bring people together. If you guys are underleveled, I always hope somebody will take you. Wow. Yeah, same. Bless you. That was a yawn. Kind of like a sneeze to me. That was a sneeze. Yeah, it was a combination. What? I didn't really feel like a sneeze to me, but probably could have been. I don't know. Well, did snot leave your nose? <laughs> no. <laughs> then it wasn't a sneeze. <laughs> Thanks, Emerald. <laughs> yeah, I'm painting these. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's like four of them that I gotta do. I always have to pull up the page of these porn bots, make sure they really are. Take a good look at them. Yeah, I got a full I, I screen, have them as, like, investigate. A you know, I had a little folder yeah. name homework. 
<laughs> New folder. Uh. Yeah, I gotta document them. Just to make sure they're uh, set aside so I know which ones are. Wow, you got a legendary purple and blue from one pack. That's... That's a good pull for stream loots. Well, now I'm kind of stun locked right now because I... Like, I'll cue a Bloons tile if she... When she tells me to be slow, I don't know what that means. Like, drive slow... Because sometimes they get there early. You know, we say 8 and I'm there at 7.56. Storm the God 519 is. is the Grinch. So, I don't... I don't know! I don't know if I should be able Maybe to she's not talking about getting there. She is. I'm trying to make a joke, man. I know. I know. Oh, I know. Oh. It's fun to stay up all night. Almost 6 a.m. Oh my god. Before going to work? When do you work? What? She said maybe 8.15. I told her, okay, I'll cue a balloons tile and check in. All right, we're gaming. We're gaming. The lady is doing something. I can get my level four boss done. That's where I tell her, honey, oh. you're really lucky. I'm addicted to balloons right now. Thanks for hanging out, Photic. I knew you'd eventually abandon us. I never expected anything else. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. Because he was going to drop out a long time ago when the stream was a little quiet, and I was like, no. Don't abandon us. He's like, I don't abandon people. And he stuck around. But if it's 6 a.m. in the morning, you're going to go get four hours of sleep. That's fucking crazy. You should have left a long time ago. Okay. So thanks to the lady being slow and busy at work, I am I am sticking around for a bit. Don't say that. <laughs> you need sleep. No, -uh, no, 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 hang on. You don't need sleep. You know what's more annoying than the bot comments? Are the people commenting about the bot comments. Because <laughs> I'll ban the bots, and then... their comments remain. And one guy can't even delete in good conscience, because he said, what are with these comments? Great video, by the way, and it's like, ah, Dude. Damn it, and I lost lives because I was looking at YouTube. I could restart, but I care more about seeing the girl than two bloomstones. Not four hours, only one to two hours. Yeah, that's right, because you got to prep and drive. That's fucked. I think you guys should check out Ant Legion so I don't have to get a real job. Does that count? Is that a good plug? Is that... <laughs> is that how you... Is that your epic also? Is... What? 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 Was well, that how you're supposed to make money as a streamer? <laughs> guys, donate to me. I don't want to get a real job. Oh, Ragnar, I see. Got a pack today and a level 5 queen. It's a good day. That is a good day. It's interesting. So, like, using channel points for stream loots doesn't benefit me in any way financially, but I really love the opportunity to let people in the community enjoy stream loots for zero dollars. Because, you know, it's fun. Watching a hosted stream in the gym right now. A goaded stream in the gym right now. Hell yeah. I don't know what's going to pump you up more at the gym than me popping balloons slowly. That's good workout. I mean, the music will. Uh, not on this tile. Uh, I need one I'm of those. On a, I'm on a... I need a really plain good. style. Is it a plain style? 
Uh, let me see. You don't know? You're desert. Yeah, you, I mean. Are you not playing the game right now? I am. I'm on a, a river tile. Hmm. Oh, that has good music, too. I play this. Yeah, I play this at a gym. You play this at the gym? I would. I don't, <laughs> but I would. Yeah, one of them is really good, actually. It's like, do, 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 do. I, I can't do it, but it's better than it should be. Hey, there's the legendary card. Somebody else got one. I love that notification they made. It's so ominous. It's like, oh shit, somebody got a legendary oh. card. And then I someone tries to counter a one hour cat oh. stream. I got a yellow uh, bomb shooter. Oh, legendary card. Hmm. Oh, nice. Well, I'm glad I'm yeah. live then, so you guys can catch the streams when you normally wouldn't be able to. Hey, another queen level five. God, I really appreciate it. That's amazing. Fine, beef. I'll do it for you. Thank you, Mario. Only takes like five minutes, too. And I always say the uh, the top up pack because if you're somebody who has cheered bits or might subscribe or does normally subscribe, buying the orange ant pack. Storm God 500 Damn! Has purchased five chests. See, if you're the kind of person who might normally do that, um, the top up pack in game is like gifting five subs. It's... I just got three of the legendary ASMR cards. <laughs> More gems. Yeah, he's like, oh great, I don't need to hear that. Yeah, <laughs> you noticed that. I get back to my desk, Kieran DMs me that, and I'm like, what is Look at this? this ice shard placement, Storm God. Isn't it beautiful? I just got oh randomly tagged by Nano, and I'm like, what the hell is going on? I love road spiking. So what, Matteo? The, okay, the placement? So beautiful. Isn't it so yep. good? Yep. That's like, big pro tip. Don't road spike the insides. Road spike the blimp, because you can pop the balloons easier. I usually then, put one at the very end, just in case. One spike, huh? Do you mean a spike factory? Oh. Yep. No, just a road spike. All those ceramics. Dude, ice shards is my favorite tower. So this is kind of a fun filter. This dragon's breath that I panic placed won't reach the balloons on this side, but it will reach the blimps. Storm God, Storm God 519 is the Grinch. I just want to skip work to go see my fiance and stick around more. Phonic! My streams are not worth losing sleep. And that's where he's like, bro, that humility is exactly what makes you the goaded. I'm I'm sticking around. I'm like, no! No. It's the opposite of what I just said. I'm gonna get the radar scanner. I've been scared by DDTs today. Oh my god, Storm God. I don't know how much you lurked. I took a not bite of I cake. And a DDT ran through my defense and I failed while I was chewing. <laughs> this could not have been more than five seconds. I picked up a fork, took a bite, and watched it fail. There was nothing to be done. I was like, well, I lose. <laughs> Damn it! Yeah, that'll happen. <laughs> that's, that's this game for you. <laughs> Another time he died, I would literally talk about the main reason people die in balloons is because they they weren't paying attention. I think that was literally it. Literally, as I was talking yep. about it, he died, and then when I looked over to my side mode, he was dead. Yep. I'm listening to Aura talking about how you gotta pay attention as I'm chewing this piece <laughs> of cake, and the DDT just ran to the end. Oh, I love this game. You're so used much. to not having sleep. That's not a good habit. That's Humans need sleep. Thing. Break that habit now. It'll be good for you. Why do you keep working a job that doesn't pay you much? I'm used to getting paid that much. That's not worth it. <laughs> like, get your sleep. I just had a, a Wednesday. I woke up at 
I, w I fell asleep at one in the morning because I was having trouble going to bed, and I woke up at five, feeling super feverish. So I gotten four hours of sleep, and then I was sick the whole day. So. It says health is always first. No, well, watching the stream is definitely first, but he's put his time in. That's right. my point. He's <laughs> he certainly established a presence. Got a gifted sub. I the only one just like once they get truck blast country music and just drive around the country. What? Not right. I think I am the only one. I once desired I to be a trucker. Seemed fun. I like doing that in my truck. That's what I'm talking about! Oh, I'm so glad I got that radar scanner. Look at me learning! Mmm! I pay attention to my mistakes. Did you guys see that DDT just get caught? Yeah, it was pretty good. I barely did. <laughs> yeah, Matteo shifted gears recently. What? Being all nice to me now. What's his angle? Oh, fuck. I used oh, absolute zero and slowed the ZOMG. Oh, God. This is fast forwarded. This is fast forward. Oh, no. <laughs> God. The lady told me to be slow. She told me to be slow. I did, not, I did not know that Absolute Zero affected ZOMGs, by the way. That's incredible. Mm -hmm. Such a cheap upgrade. It's like... It's like the ninja upgrade, but better. <laughs> well, it's like, um... Oh, sabotage supply lines, right? Yep. Sabotage, yeah. Somebody in chat said, I like men, and then he said, I mean, uh, I like the number 10. To me, that just sounds like you like 10 men. <laughs> all right. We're good. All, all of them at once? Yeah, never just one man. Like, I'm not gay, but Damn. you put 10 men in front of me. <laughs> You're make, not gonna make me choose, that's for sure. It's worth my time. <laughs> not gonna make me choose. Them all. Yeah, the amount of things that get affected when you don't sleep is insane. I learned that more recently than I should have, actually. Oh, this was a DDT tile. I keep doing this. I queue DDTs and then I just forget there's a DDT. <laughs> I queue a DDT tile and then I act all surprised. Oh, that's so frustrating. I'm 93 gold away from upgrading a bank before I leave. Oh, I guess I can stick around for a minute. Or I can just leave the game open while I get dressed. Okay, yeah, that's probably better. I'm gonna hop out of VC. No, you gotta get your, uh, your raid points. That's, I... I don't need I'm to be in voice chat for that, Twitch idiot. Chat. <laughs> okay, bye, everybody. Let's find someone to raid here. I'm willing to go... All right, Matteo's making shit. Since he was suddenly randomly nice to me, I'm gonna assume there is an angle, but... This is 1080p? All right, go tell him to focus his camera or something. Everybody get your channel points. Get some fucking sleep, Photic. If you guys on YouTube don't care about channel points, but still want to go say hi, if there's anybody even over there. Um... Anyway, everybody go say hi. Wonderful stream today. Incredible support. Appreciate you guys checking out the sponsor. I'll link that one last time if you wanted me to get out of your hair before you check it out. It's a pretty fun game to play on the side of anything. Supports me directly. Um, yeah. That about wraps it up.